what's up with a happy Roblox family. jumping on the bed and running around the room. Wee! Wee! Oh, boy, Molly. Did you eat chocolate before bed? Who, oh, me? No, never. Mmm. This chocolate's delicious. I have to eat it all. Mmm. I'm gonna eat it all! Nope. Definitely didn't eat all the chocolate. Didn't eat it all. Molly, are you lying? No, I would never do such a thing. Wee! Wee! Molly, just get ready for bed already. Ugh, I'm starting to run out of energy. Ugh. That's because you need to go to bed, Molly. Wow, you're so bossy. You're the bossiest of the bossy of the bossy boss boss. Whatever, Molly. You're the weirdest sister ever. And the most annoying. Girls, no fighting or you're both grounded. You hear that, Daisy? No fighting. She was talking to you too, Molly. Girls. Okay, Mom, sorry. Ugh, my stomach hurts. My stomach hurts. Oh, oh my stomach hurts. Ugh. Daisy, Daisy, wake up, wake up. Huh, what? What? <sighs> what do you want, Molly? Ugh, I have such a stomach ache. It hurts so bad. Um, well, did you eat the chocolate or not? Um, eh. Molly, did you eat chocolate? Yeah, way too much of it. But that's why your stomach hurts, silly. You shouldn't eat so many sweets. Oh, now go back to bed. I was having an amazing dream about a unicorn and a rainbow and a pot of gold. Well, that's nice. All I was dreaming about was Pepto-Bismol. <coughs> Ew, Molly! Quit gassing up our room! Sorry, my stomach just really hurts. Oh, I've got to go to the bathroom. Oh, I think I might have to throw up. Oh. <coughs> yep, definitely going to throw up. Definitely. <coughs> Molly, oh my gosh, are you okay? Mom, I don't feel good. Oh, honey, what happened? I don't know. My stomach's really upset. I may or may not have eaten too much chocolate. Oh, Molly. Do you are you are you throwing up then? Like really bad? I just threw up this one time. Well, let's give you some medicine so it soothes your stomach and you don't throw up again, okay? Okay, mom. <laughs> mom, what is that? Oh, it's just a cauldron. Mom, are you a witch? No, I'm a mom, and I'm making the best remedy for your upset stomach. Let's see an eye of newt. Ah! My mom really is a witch! Okay, Molly, here you go. Oh, it smells awful! All right, don't hide it behind your back, Molly. You need to actually drink it. Oh, man. This is going to be grosser than, than throwing up. Okay, Molly, now that you've taken your medicine, let's put you back in bed. Okay, I hope I can sleep. I don't feel so good. I'm going to throw up. Did you eat some chocolate, Daisy? No, and don't talk about food. Ew. Oh, girls, it seems you've caught something at school. Maybe a stomach bug. Oh, Mom, can I have a hug? I don't feel good. Um, uh, maybe I'll give you a hug tomorrow when you're feeling better. I don't want to catch it. What? I'm sorry, but I have to take care of you girls. You girls can give each other a hug. Ew, no, my sister is cooties. Never mind. Ugh. 
Yuck. Probably feel better after I just get in my warm, cozy bed. Stomach flu is the worst. Mom, can I have a bucket? Sure, Molly. Uh-oh. Here it comes again. Blech. Ew, Molly. Well, I threw up in the bucket. At least it didn't come down onto your head. Be quiet, Molly. I'm trying to sleep. My stomach hurts so bad. Tell me about it. Huh. I still don't feel so good. Dad? Dad, are you okay? Oh, I was up making poo-poos all night. Ew, too much information, Dad. Hi, hi. Stomach it hurts. So much poo-poos being made. Dad, do I need to get you a diaper? <laughs> Who gave me the stomach bug? I'm too old to go through this. Um, sorry to say, Dad, but it was me and Daisy. Seriously? You guys brought home the stomach bug? You gave it to me? Oh. Um, yeah, probably. I will feel good. I think I'm gonna throw up again. Well, better than Dad. He's got the poo-poos. Ew, gross! Okay, is everyone doing okay this morning? Molly, Daisy? Uh-oh, Mom's not gonna like this. We're still sick and Dad's sick. Not good. Are you girls still sick? Oh my gosh, Dan, what's wrong? Um, let me answer it for you. He had the poo-poos all night. He got the stomach bug. Oh, no. Good thing I put this suit on so I don't get any of your germs. Yeah, but too late. We were already in close proximity last night. Less than six feet, actually, Mom. You're catching it. Yeah, everybody knows the rules, Mom. Six feet of distance. It's what keeps the germs away. Okay, girls. Well, I I'm making up for it today by wearing this hazmat suit. Yeah, sure, Mom. Ugh. Mom, can I have some water? Sure, I'll get you some water. Ah, oh, Mom's such a good mom. Here you go, Molly. Thank you. I couldn't agree more, Daisy. Mom, could I have some chicken noodle soup? Okay, Daisy, I'll see what we have. Oh, we have a banana. How about that? Or an apple? Yeah, I'll try some food. Just eat it slow, Daisy. You don't want it to upset your stomach. Okay, Mom, no problem. Oh, can someone give me some toilet paper? Dad, don't go poo poo on the floor. What do you think you are, a dog? No, I just need to put it under my head as a pillow. Uh oh, okay. Well, as long as you don't have to go poo poo, Dad. <laughs> I can't even laugh. It makes my stomach hurt. Sure, I'll get you some, some things, honey, to make it more comfortable. Maybe a sleeping bag instead of toilet paper pillow? You're so smart. It's why I married you. <laughs> Here's your toilet paper. Oh, very funny, Laura. Do I look like I'm in a joking kind of mood? <sniffs> oh, Dad! Don't trust your farts right now. You might get into trouble. Oh, wow. That smells horrible. I need nose plugs for this hazmat suit. Here you go, Dan. Why don't you lay on the sleeping bag? That'll be way more comfortable for you. Oh, gosh. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die! No, Dad. The stomach bug won't kill you. Sure feel like it, though. Tell me about it. Ah, I'm feeling so much better. Me too. Ah, feels good to not have the stomach bug anymore. Agreed. Ah, everyone's our battle. But where's Mom? I don't know. <laughs> She's probably making herself an ice cream for all the hard work she did today. Um, yeah, uh, there's a sleeping bag in the, uh, elevator, which is kind of weird. <laughs> Mom? Mom? Oh. Mom? 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 Oh my god, Mom! Are you okay? So much sickness. Oh, oh no, Mom, you caught the stomach bug. How could I? I wore this hazmat suit. I washed my hands all the way up to my elbows. Oh. Six feet of distance, Mom. You didn't keep it. That's what happens on the first day. Oh, no. I don't want the stomach bug. Here you go, Mom. Here's the bucket. Oh. Don't worry. We'll all take very good care of you, Mom. I hope so. Oh. Today, my sister Daisy and I are playing Guinea Pig Simulator! 
Oh my gosh, Marley. I love this game so much. It's so much fun. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make an adorable guinea pig. So you get to choose their hair and their eyes. If it's me, personally, I think the red eyes are kind of creepy. <laughs> um, and those all eyes are kind of weird too, but... Um, you can also choose the color fur that you want your guinea pig to be. Like, you can be a white guinea pig, gray, um, I think that's supposed to be black, brown, light brown, and sort of this, like, yellow color. And I think the yellow color is what I actually like the best with the black eyes. So, this is the guinea pig that I am right here. <laughs> Look at me! I'm the fattest guinea pig ever! I've been eating way too much kibble, guys. <laughs> That's guinea pig food. Like, literally, what have I been eating that... Oh my gosh, those two guinea pigs are kissing! <laughs> That's so cute. They're in love. Anyway, um, I am a super fat guinea pig. Yes, I know this. Now, where is Daisy? Hey, what are you doing? Are you Daisy? That must have not have been, um, Daisy. Molly, I'm over here. I'm the jumping guinea pig. Oh, are you trying to steal all the food? I'm hungry. Let me eat it. Molly, I doubt you need to eat more food. Look at how chubby you are. Hey, look who's talking, Daisy. You're no skinny mini. You look chubby, too. Well, we're guinea pigs. We're supposed to be cute and cuddly and chubby. Daisy, stop it. Stop being in the food. You're going to make a poo-poo in the food. Come on, get out of there. Oh, well. No, not oh, well. Yucky. Get out of there. Okay, fine, Molly. Jeez. Ew, Daisy! You did! You did it! Oopsie, sorry, guinea pigs don't know any better. Yeah, okay, well, now you ruined the food, yucky. Daisy, stop jumping on me! Sorry, <laughs> I was just trying to be as annoying as a little sister as you are as a big one sometimes. Look, Daisy, we're guinea pigs now, not sisters. We're sister guinea pigs! I like all the tunnels and stuff you can go through in this game. I think it's really cute. Oh, look, it's like a toilet paper bowl. Can I go in here? <laughs> Daisy, maybe we should play guinea pig hide and seek. What do you think? I love it, Molly. I love it. Let's do it. Okay. So whoever is it has to go stand over here by this orange toy, okay? And then they have to count to 15. Who's it first? Not me. Molly. Sorry. Okay, I'm just not it. Okay, ready? On your mark. Get set. Hide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm too fat. I can't get through this. Oh, my gosh. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Ready or not, here we come. Oh my gosh, here comes my sister. I hope she doesn't find me. This when I push these buttons, they're supposed to make me like squeal, but I can't hear anything. What is on my back? Ew, it's a bug! Just kidding. <laughs> Do you guys see her anywhere? I don't think she knows where I am. Okay, all these guinea pigs are going by, but no daisy. You didn't hide very good. Well, it's not my fault. My brain's the size of a guinea pig. Okay, yeah, Molly. Whoa, you can run really fast as a guinea pig. <laughs> That's way too much exercise. I'm too fat for that. <laughs> okay, Daisy, now I'm going to hide. I mean, you're going to hide, and I'm going to count. Yeah, Molly, what are you saying? You can't hide twice in a row. One, two. Close your eyes, Molly. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Ready or not, Daisy, here I come. There's so many guinea pigs that look like my sister. I don't even know which guinea pig is Daisy. Seriously, how do I know which guinea pig is Daisy? Did Daisy have red eyes? Excuse me, are you Daisy? Excuse me. Okay, that's not Daisy. Okay. Well, maybe I should go up here. Wait, no, I don't know where I am. I'm so confused! 
I bet she's way up there somewhere. But now I have to remember how to get there. Wait a minute. I think if I go this way, I'll be good. First, I need a drink. Ah, that's better. Do, 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 ba, 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 do, do, Daisy, where are you? I love Roblox, yes, I do. I love Roblox, how about you? Do, 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 do. I love Roblox, yes, I do. I love Roblox, how about you? If you love Roblox, slam that like button. Come on, guys, give this video a huge thumbs up. Okay. I have no idea. Whoa! Wait, Daisy, I see you! I see you, Daisy! Oh, Molly, you found me! <laughs> I almost fell and couldn't find you. Hey, Chubby, get out of the way! Molly, you're talking to me right now. Oh, there's so many other guinea pigs that look like you, seriously. Come on, Molly, get out of the guinea pig elevator. Whoa, I'm gonna fall! Whoa, whoa! Whoa! Ugh. Man, that really stunk because, ow. Seriously, I'm a fat guinea pig. Okay, let's go see what, there, what other things there are to explore in here. I thought we were playing hide and see. Yeah, but now I've decided I need to get out of here. Oh my gosh! Look at this little place where you can sleep. It's like a guinea pig bedroom. This is adorable. Look at that little cute stuffed animal. Molly, we could sail this room. No! You can have that room. Let me see what's in this one. Okay, there's... there's ugh, I'm too fat! I can't fit through here! Ugh. Ugh, why am I so fat? Oh, I need to go on a guinea pig diet. Oh, I totally do. Okay, this this bedroom is like way too much effort. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck in the tube! Ah, help me! Just kidding, I'm okay. Where am I gonna go now, though? I, I don't know, should I go up there? Maybe we should go up there. Excuse me, Mr. Guinea Pig! Oh, traffic jam! Traffic jam in the tunnel, guys! Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys a funny story. One time, my family was um, going to New York City, and there's these tunnels that you have to go through to go to New York City, and our car had a problem, and it broke down right in the middle of the tunnel of New York City, and all these cars were behind us. Oh my gosh, it was insane! I feel like that time right now because I can't get out of here, and I'm stuck in this tunnel. Oh, 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 oh now I'm falling. Falling. Daisy, is that you in front of me? Nope, you have red eyes. You're not Daisy. Oh, this other kitty pig said hi to me. Hi! Okay, I'm out of here. I gotta, I gotta get out of here. Whoa! This kitty pig's jumping. Okay. Whoa! Ugh. Don't try to go in that second bedroom. It's not a bedroom. It's like a tunnel to nowhere. They're just trying to trick us guinea pigs so we can never escape. I just want to go outside. Is that too much to ask? Look how beautiful it is out there. There must be a way out. Daisy? Daisy? Molly, I think I could find a way out. Follow me. Um, if you would stop doing poopies, then I'd follow you. Oh, sorry, Molly. It's just what happens when you're a guinea pig. Whoa, Daisy, where are you going? I found a way out. Okay, well, now I just feel re really, really silly because... Um, that was so much easier than I ever thought. It's okay, Molly. Guinea pigs have small brains. It's not your fault. Whoa, Daisy! You're going so fast. Look at me. Look at me. I'm like, oh, too fat for this. Come on, Molly. Let's go. Whoa, we can't get out. What? Oh, okay. So, seriously, look at me. I'm so much chubbier than you right now. Ha! <laughs> Where else can we go in here? That's what I want to know. Oh, maybe we can escape up here. There's no way out! Daisy, we're stuck in here forever! Okay, where's my sister? Did she figure out how to get out? There's got to be, like, some way to get out. I just know it. Nope, there definitely isn't. They closed the door. We cannot get out of here. What's up here? Let me up! Let me up! Okay, I don't know where my sister went. I'm right here, Molly. Did you find a way out? Molly, there's no way out. 
was sick as guinea pigs full and Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today, guys, I am playing Choose a Slide. Well, or rather, Choose a Toilet. <laughs> Okay, I think that's hilarious. I'm just gonna say, um, there's toilet paper all over the floor, and you're gonna get flushed! Oh, she got flushed! Oh, that's hilarious! Which would you rather live in, a giant shoe or a giant pumpkin? Um, I love Halloween, but I feel like the pumpkin would rot. But then, if it was Daisy's shoe, it would probably smell horrible. Molly! Ah, I can't talk right now, Daisy, getting flushed down the toilet! Whoa, I see a light at the end of the tunnel, though. Um, all right, I won. I got giant shoe. Oh, I thought, I thought that was a poo-poo. Look at right there. Like, it kind of looked like it. I was like, oh, no. It's a cute little teddy bear. Ew! We're in the boys' bathroom. Gross. All right. Um, yeah, there is a water leak. That's so gross. All right, guys, let's go down this slide and see what's next. There's toilets everywhere. Have you ever called your teacher mom by accident oh my god so many times especially when i'm like mom is it lunch i want to go to lunch and my teacher's like i'm not your mom gosh <laughs> yes Woohoo! um there's a garbage can in here a sink and that's about it just like a place to chill if you want to like hang out in the bathroom i guess i don't know why you'd want to though um it's gonna stink like poo poo in here so don't hang out in the bathroom all right, are you, what is a better routine, early bird or night owl? Um, I don't get up early. It is totally against me forever and always. Look at me, guys. Hi, I thought Scooby Gear, that was so funny. Yes, night owl wins. Guys, I haven't lost a single one of these yet. We, we feel each other, people. We have the same answers because we are like, we just know each other so well, I guess. Um, which would be better, ice cream swimming pool or jello? Oh, man! Someone give her a swirly. I'm gonna go with ice cream, even though it would be super sticky. I just think it would be delicious. Wait a minute, guys. Where am I? Oh, um, I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Wait a minute. Guys, I spoke too soon. Oh, no! Womp, 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 womp. Oh, man, they shot cannons at me. Doo doo cannons! Oh! Ugh. Am I ever gonna like die or is this gonna shoot cannons at me? Okay, there we go. <laughs> this game is fun so far. Um oh wait, I have to choose again, I guess. Alright, fine. I'll go in the jello swimming pool. I can't even move. Why can't I move? Okay, there we go. Flush me down the toilet. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Yay! Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, Jello pool to get more. Okay. Wait a minute. She's sitting down. Are you feeling okay? Gummy bear. I've been stuck in here so long that I've started to develop a personal relationship with the toilet. We're on a first pain basis now. The better drinking straw. Paper or plastic? Ah! Um, I know this is better for the environment, so I'll just pick this one, I guess. But, um, I like the crazy bendy straws that you can, like, where, um, like, have you ever seen them in, like, glasses? Uh-oh. You guys don't like to recycle, apparently, because <gasps> Homer Simpson! Don't. Live, laugh, flush. What's he throwing at me? Donuts. Oh! <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Oopsie doodles. All right, fine. I'll pick the plastic ones. All right, guys. Here we go. Flush! Oh, we're getting a swirly. Ew! This game is ridiculously funny. Did you guys think I was going to say it was ridiculous? Yeah, it is. And that's why I love it. I love it. Where are we going now? You need to climb this ladder. Unicorn charm is up here. What are you doing, unicorn charm? Oh, wait. I got to go in through here. Um, You discover an unopened bag of chips under your bed. What do you do? This is not even a question you should be asking me. Like, look at me. Yeah, send me down there. Because I would eat the chips in a heartbeat. And you guys would too. 
No one picked to the garbage can. Actually, some people did, but whatever. Um, how do I get to the next part? Like, all these toilet doors are opening. Oh, my God. That girl's got a toilet paper head. Whee! <laughs> Worst way to spend a day. Spinach stuck in your front teeth. Palms covered in Cheeto dust. Yeah. Oh, that is the worst. But also, you would have been eating Cheetos, so um, maybe having spinach stuck in your teeth because then you would be eating spinach. No, you guys picked Cheeto palms. I know you so well, see? Okay, how do I get out of here? This is confusing. Uh... You don't go in the shower, do you? Maybe no. Maybe this other one? I feel like maybe you can swim down or something. Nope. Not in that toilet. Where am I going even? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was like a big poo-poo. Uh, guys, where am I going? I don't, I don't understand. Help me, toilet paper head! Oh, look, a secret passage. Thank you, you guys are amazing. Which band-aid is better, regular or with cute characters? This one again, a silly question. Of course, the regular boring band-aid is none other than boring! Cute band-aid, So many toilets. What do they need with all these toilets anyway? I mean, seriously, no one's in, even in here. The toilets are all leaking all over. Your toilets don't even work. Oh, look, I found the baby changing station. So cute. <laughs> Too bad this is not the way out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm, I'm like walking under the slide. That was crazy. Is this the next way out? Whoa, yep. <laughs> the better dessert, cake or ice cream. It will always be cake for me. But cake with ice cream on top is even better. All right, let's see what everybody else chose. Oh no, they chose ice cream. And now I'm gonna get attacked by Poopy. Oh no, um, just a bulldozer is going to come and bulldoze me over. Oh! <laughs> There's no escaping it. There was no escaping it. <laughs> oh, okay, fine, I will choose. Ice cream is better. I mean, I don't mind ice cream, especially strawberry and chocolate. Actually, any type of ice cream is delicious, but I still like cake better. It's all right, though. If you guys chose ice cream, I'll choose it, too. Uh, how do I get out of here? Is anyone out there? Oh, two different tunnels. And is this the wrong way? That's the question. No! Okay, best toilet paper style. If you put the toilet paper under. <laughs> Holy guacamole, what is wrong with you? Just kidding, it's toilet paper. Half the time I don't even put it on the roll. And then my mom's like, could you stop being so lazy? <laughs> and I'm always like, no. You've swirled through the first 10 stages. Wow. The golden toilet of success. <laughs> I love the golden toilet of success. Do I get to become like a poop emoji or something at the end when I win? <laughs> I think that would be kind of cool. Let, 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 let. Okay, what would you rather be? Guys, I am a professional gamer, so I'm gonna choose this because I actually love my work. I love that I get to make videos for you guys. It's my favorite thing. Aww. So that's what I picked. And apparently, a professional gamer was not what you guys picked. Stinky poop, ha ha la 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 la. What? Ew, gross! I fell outside the game. That pooper was so gross. Why is it so dark in here? Okay, there we go. It turned the lights off. It was creepy. It was like haunted for a minute. All right, let's go through here again. And see, I feel like you guys maybe chose astronaut. You know, being a gamer is a real job. I think you'd be more likely to be a gamer than an astronaut. Being an astronaut is like really hard. Oh my God. Why is there Chuck E. Cheese carpet in here? 
Oh, I'm at the bowling alley. That's why. Uh-oh, and I'm one of the pins. This isn't going to be good. I'm running. You can't get me. I'm hiding. See? What? No! Oh, look at my body. <laughs> look like that girl from Stranger Things. That was creepy. Running up the hill. Um, and that was a song from that, um, if you didn't know. But anyway, now I'm going to be the superhero. Because that's what you guys chose. And it only took me three chances. Whee! Look at me you're being flushed. Catch you! I don't know why I made that sound. That's not how a toilet sounds. All right. Um, now there's a thousand sinks. And I have to try to find my way out. But I'll never give up and never surrender. I'm not sure I can do anything when I'm waist deep in poo poo. <laughs> Which animal would you want to switch places with for a day? A bird, a cat, or a monkey? Um, la, 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 la. I'm going to pick a bird. If you guys pick a cat, it's because you're just mean. Because cats are just like, whatever! Yay! Y'all picked a bird. Must be you want to see what it's like to fly. Oh, ew. <laughs> I'm swimming in that. That's disgusting. Um, let's see. Which would you rather ride into battle with? A squirrel, a frog, a lobster for sure! Pinch, pinch! Right on the booty of my enemies. Ah! Being flushed! You guys better pick a lot. What? You guys didn't pick a lobster? What are you gonna ride a squirrel? It's gonna it's gonna throw some some seeds and nuts at you? Oh god, it's an alligator! How did you guys do this to me? You should have chosen lobster! Uh-oh. Not good. Not good at all. <sighs> I don't even know what everyone else would have chose. But I guess I'm about to find out. I gotta ride an animal into battle. <sighs> I guess it's a frog. My frog is the next choice. Here goes nothing! Whoa! Guys! <laughs> seriously? You really did pick the squirrel? I. Oh, Oh no, a giant poopy. <laughs> Your wish is flush, my flush command. Oh god, here comes a giant. Yeah. It turned me into a poop. <laughs> this game is so funny. And now I'm a giant poop. Oh no, I'm a giant poop poop. Oh no, I'm a giant poopy poop. Hey, what? It's my job to make up songs, okay? And right now, I'm a giant poop. So uh, that's the song I made up. Ow, ow, I'm a giant poopy poop. Flush me down. Flush me down, guys. I'm brown. Flush me down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, fine. You guys picked to ride a squirrel into battle. I don't know why, but now I'm a giant poo poo. Um, do any of these look like they're the way out? No. No. Secret back here? No. It's hard to run around with this giant poo-poo attached to me. All right, guys. I found the secret passage. Here we go. Okay. If you could have any pet, what would it be? Uh, guys, I don't know if you know this, but my favorite animal is an elephant. So I don't care if I die. This is what my choice is. And whatever if you don't like it. And you didn't. No. Oh, no. Ah! It's Pennywise. Well, you want to know what? I have a balloon, but I'm also a poo, so you should stay away from me. Oh, man, he's floating me into outer space. Whoa. Poop down! Poop down! Oh, wait, I'm back to myself. Yay, at least there's that. All right, guys, let's go back through here. See if I can make a better choice. Apparently, you guys want a giant panda or a talking parrot was the most popular. I love when I'm wearing the scuba gear. <laughs> it's the only way to get flushed, really. I am, I was doing so good, and now I'm just doing terrible. Rubber ducky! The best ideas are born in the bathroom. Oh, now I'm a giant rubber ducky. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't even stand up! This rubber ducky head is too, too difficult. Okay. I look adorable. Slam the like button if you think I look so cute, because you should. I look adorable. So, basically, the most popular thing you guys would want is a talking parrot. Okay, noted! I'm gonna be sending you one all for Christmas, then. Yep, and when you're trying to sleep, it'll be like, Bwah! give me a cracker. <laughs> Ooh, 
Ooh, a hot tub. I'm just gonna float around in here for a while. Guys, thanks so much for me um, watching me. I can't even talk. Quack! Thanks so much for watching me pick a slide or pick a toilet and get flushed. It was so much fun. And I think I'm going to play the rest of it, guys. What do you think? Should I? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you next time. Quack! Daisy, do you want to come outside and play soccer with me? Sorry, Marley, but I have to do some studying. Daisy, come on. Don't be such a bookworm all the time. Marley, studying is very important for my brain health and growth. And getting fresh air is also important for you. Come on, Daisy. All right, Marley, I'll come out for half an hour. Then I can come back to study. Yes! Finally, I can practice my soccer drills with somebody. La, 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 la. Where's that soccer ball? Oh, wait, here it is. Okay, Molly, what are you playing soccer so much for lately? I want to try to make it onto the soccer team at school. La, 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 la. I'm going to be amazing at soccer. Here you go, Daisy. I kicked it to you. Well, that wasn't exactly to me, but, you know, close enough. <laughs> I still need a little bit of practice, that's for sure. We could get an ice cream cone after this. Molly, I told you I have to study. I keep tripping over this. Why does it keep following me? Ah! It's like caught in a loop. That was really weird. Don't do that on soccer tryout day, Molly. Oh, man. It went to the shrubs over here. Bull, come back here. Don't go down the hill. Don't you dare. Don't go down the hill. Oh, my God. I hate when this happens in Brookhaven. Seriously. You know what I do when this happens, Daisy? What, Molly? What? I just spawned a new soccer ball. I'm not chasing it. Like, seriously, that's just ridiculous. Hey, Molly, look, it's Bucky. Oh, Bucky, hi. You want to play soccer with us? Sorry, Molly, can't. I, um, have to go home right now. Why? You got to go poo poo or something? We have a bathroom, you know. No, I just can't today. Sorry, Molly. But she always wants to hang out with me. But maybe she's just busy today, Molly. Since when has my BFF ever been too busy to hang out with me? Uh, yeah, you have a point. But I'm sure she has a good reason. Don't fret about it, Molly. Girls, come on in. I made a delicious snack. Chocolate chip cookies. Okay, soccer, pra soccer practice is over. Time for a cookie. <laughs> I love when mom makes cookies. Mmm, these are delicious. Now remember, girls, one cookie apiece. These cookies are huge. And you don't want to spoil your appetite for your healthy dinner. No, we wouldn't want to do that. Just kidding. Give me all the cookies. Molly, don't be rude. Just say please and only one. Mmm, ah, these cookies are so good. Um, can I please have about five more? <laughs> Molly, maybe tomorrow you can have another one. I have to wait until tomorrow? I better really take my time with this cookie. It's all I'm getting. It's all I'm getting! Molly, you're so dramatic. I said tomorrow you could probably have another one. That's tomorrow! Today's today! Ay, 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 Molly. Today's almost over and you still have to eat dinner. Hmm. I think chocolate chip cookies make the perfect dinner. <laughs> the next morning. Good morning, students! Good morning, Mrs. S! Today we're going to be practicing our spelling words. Ugh. I studied so hard for this, Mrs. S. Great job, Daisy. I knew you would. All right. For our first word, Molly, why don't you come up onto the um, come up to the board and spell it for me? Uh oh. What's it gonna be? Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus. Oh, I get to spell the hardest word of the entire spelling quiz. Oh. Hip. Uh. Hip. Uh, hip. Okay. And then I remember it was O. O P O T A M U S. Yeah, that's it. Definitely. <laughs> What's so funny, Daisy? <laughs> you spelled hip poop tonibus. Hip poop tonibus. <laughs> what? What? Um, Molly, did you mean to spell the word poop on the board? <laughs> Molly. Um, uh, okay, let me fix it. Is that better? Spell it out for me, Molly. H-I-P-P-O-P-O-T-A-M-U-S. Very good, Molly. And for the actual quiz, remember there's no poop in hippopotamus. Actually, if they eat enough food, there is definitely... Molly, sit down, please. 
<laughs> oh boy, lunch! We're even having bean burritos today. Hey, Brookie, wait up! Sorry, Molly, I have to get my bean burrito and then I have to get going. What? Um, yeah, I'm not gonna be in the lunchroom today. Why, do you have a doctor's appointment or something? Going to Disney World? Tell me what's happening. No, I'm just going to do uh, something else in the art room. What? But we always sit next to each other at lunch. I know, but not today, Molly. I'm really sorry. But, but Brookie, we're BFFs and we always sit together at lunch. Okay, Molly, uh, where's your school lunch ticket? Oh, I forgot it at home. I'm sorry, Large Marge. Seems that nothing's going right for me today. What do you mean, Molly? You need to talk to somebody about this? Uh, yeah. Thanks for listening, Large Marge. No, the school counselor's down the hall. I'm just a lunch lady. I, I, I'm not good at listening. But, but... Sorry, all I do is make bean burritos. <laughs> and they're good, Large Marge. Thanks for listening, I guess. Molly, where's Bucky? She's, um, not gonna sit by us today. Say what? What are you talking about? She always sits next to you, Molly. I know, but today she has something else to do. What's gotten into her? I don't know what's gotten into her. She just seems to be, well, distracted. And maybe she doesn't want to be my friend anymore. Molly, I don't think that's it. Oh, uh, it might be it. Large Marge, you said you weren't listening to my problems. Sorry, <laughs> couldn't help it over here. Well, you're not very helpful either, Large Marge. Good thing you're the lunch lady and not the school counselor. Ay, ay, ay. Marty, just eat your bean burrito. It'll make you feel better. Nothing's going to make me feel better until I figure out what's going on with Brookie. Well, you could just invite her out for ice cream. Tell her it's your treat. If she refuses that, then I know something's wrong. She loves chocolate ice cream. You've got a point, Daisy. I'm going to do it today after school. A few hours later. Oh, hey, Molly. Hey, Brookie. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Um, do you want to walk home? Sorry, I need to take the school bus. But I was thinking that... Uh, wait, Brookie, wait, I'm trying to tell you something. Oh, sorry, Molly, I've been in such a rush today. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to ask you if... You wanted to go get ice cream with me. Uh, I, I'll pay for it. My treat. Uh, two scoops of chocolate with chocolate sauce. Your favorite. Oh, that sounds really good, Molly. But I'm really sorry. I can't. I have to get right home. Bye! Oh, Molly. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. Bit an alien took over your friend. What? No, that's not it. Oh, and I missed the bus. So now I've got to walk home alone. I could walk home with you. Uh, no. Pass. Molly! Well, you're my sister and you're kind of annoying. Uh, I've been trying to help you all day! I've got something else that I need to do. I'm sorry, Daisy. Uh, that's okay. I'm going to see at the library and study a little bit anyway. I hope you figure out things with Brookie. Thanks. I think I'm going to need a lot of luck. Oh my gosh, what is going on with my BFF? Does she not want to be my friend anymore or something? I have an idea. <laughs> I'm going to go to her house without her knowing and spy on her. Okay, maybe that's not a great idea, but um, it's probably a good one. Molly, don't do it. You know that you shouldn't spy on your friend when she doesn't know you're there. Who said that? I'm your angel of consciousness, and I, I tell you to do good things. Ha 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 ha, don't listen to her. Huh, what, what? why am I hearing all these voices? <laughs> I'm the little devil that lives inside you, and I say spy on your friend. Spy, spy, spy. Don't listen to him, Molly. He's evil. What? I don't know who to listen to, but I gotta figure out what my best friend is doing, so sorry, Angel. I'm listening to the little devil inside of me. <laughs> Molly, no! <laughs> so glad we got rid of her. Come on, let's go. Okay. Probably listening to you is a bad idea, but... I do need to see what Brookie's up to. <laughs> and we're about to find out. All right, here's Brookie's house. I'm going to guess she's probably in her room. And I can't go inside, so I'm going to try to climb this tree. And ugh, I'm not very um, good at climbing this particular type of tree because there's nothing to grab onto. And what's that sound? It sounds like it's coming from her garage. All right, guys, I'm going to be very careful and sneak up so she doesn't see me spying on her. What is she doing? doing she's building something 
Wonder what it could be. Oh my gosh, I know what she's doing. She's making me a birthday present. My birthday is, well, tomorrow, and I bet she's building that for me. All right, now it makes sense to me. Of course my best friend would still want to be my best friend. She's just doing something really nice for me, and I don't want to ruin her surprise. So I'm just going to sneak away, go home, and pretend I never saw this. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to text her really quick. Hi, Brookie. It's me, Molly, and I just want to tell you that I love you. You're my BFF forever. Send. <laughs> I can't believe she's making me an amazing present. Just love her. The next morning. Woohoo! It's my birthday! Bookie's gonna give me a present. <laughs> I wouldn't count on it. Don't be so rude, you little devil! Of course her best friend's gonna give her a birthday present! <laughs> I don't think so. She was probably just building something for herself. She doesn't even want to be friends with you anymore. Oh, tell that devil to be quiet already! Yeah! Both of you should probably be quiet. You're driving me kind of crazy on my birthday. Uh, Molly, who exactly are you talking to? Oh, nobody. Who's that? <gasps> Brookie! Hi, come on in! Oh, man, I've missed seeing you. Hey, Molly, I've missed seeing you too. But I wanted to tell you something. Yeah, yeah, what is it? Happy birthday! I have a big surprise for you. <laughs> I knew it. Wait, what? Nothing, I said thank you. <laughs> Come on outside, I'll show you. What? She made you a big prize? That's amazing. Do you want to come too, Daisy? Really? You want me to? Of course. Molly, happy birthday. Thanks, sister. Come on, guys, let's go see the surprise. I hope you love it, Molly. I worked so hard on it. That's why I haven't been around as much. Where is it? Where, where'd you hide it? Right here, silly. What is this? I built you your very own ice cream cart complete with all of your favorite flavors. Holy guacamole! Whoa, Molly! Your birthday couldn't be any better. That's like the best present for you ever because all you ever think about is your stomach. <laughs> Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday to my stomach and me! Happy birthday to me! <laughs> Brookie, I love you. Thank you for being so nice. Come on, try some of the ice cream! I even put a, a built-in cooler in it so it doesn't melt. Mm. Wow! Delicious! Happy birthday, BFF. Thanks, Brookie. Thanks. I'm not late! I'm not late! Yes, you are, Molly. You were supposed to be here by now. Yes, but I still have... Uh, let me look at my watch. Uh... Five seconds to get into class. <laughs> no smiling? That's right. I'm not feeling like I'm in a very smiley mood today. Whoa. Who's this substitute teacher? I don't know, but something tells me it's not going to be a very nice day. Are you still smiling? Seriously, there's no smiling in my class. You can't help it. My face froze this way. It's so cold outside. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? Froze that way because it's so cold outside. Molly, she's not laughing. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Yes, you in the front. What's your name? Molly, um, are you calling on me? Yes, Molly, what is it? I have to go potty. I have to go, I have to go, I have to go. You had plenty of time before class. Why are you choosing to go now? Well, I can't help it when I have to go to the bathroom. It's kind of out of my control. Why do teachers always say that? Like, like you can decide when you have to go to the bathroom. Hello? Not a choice. <laughs> I really have to go. She really does. Ew. She had beans for breakfast, obviously. Fine, but make it quick. <laughs> yeah, like another thing teachers say, make it quick. Like, I can really decide when I have to go to the bathroom and stuff. Like, seriously. I'm going to text Brookie right now. Hey, don't act like you don't text people when you're going potty. <laughs> don't even lie about that right now. Everybody gets on their phone when they're on the toilet. It's just it's just like the real world. Oh, whoops. I forgot to turn off my phone. Oopsie. Whose phone just went off? This is school, not social hour. It's Molly. She's texting me from the bathroom. What? 
Why would she be doing that? Ay, ay, ay. She's just going to get another detention. It's just the way that it is. Rookie, why didn't you text me back? Excuse me, were you the one that texted her? Um, yeah. There's no texting in this school. It's a rule. Except for when you're at lunch or recess. Are you at lunch or recess? Um, uh, I'm always thinking about lunch. So I'm saying yes, I'm at lunch. Detention. But not by me. I'm a substitute. So I'll write your teacher a note. Oh, man. Rookie, that class was crazy, right? Uh-huh, sure. Crazy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, So what are you doing after school? I don't have detention because the substitute didn't want to stay for it. So we could hang out. Uh, no. I, I don't think so. <gasps> Wait, what? Rookie, we hang out every single day after school. Well, on the days that I don't have detention, that is. No, I, I'm not going to hang out with you. Um, okay. I have to get to class now. Goodbye. Um, bye. That was weird. Brookie always wants to hang out with me after school. Man, I hope I didn't do something wrong. I mean, I always text her when I, like, escape off to the bathroom during class. And maybe it got her in trouble and she got mad at me. I don't know. I'll talk to her about it at lunch. Ugh, none of this even looks like something I would consume. Hey, Brookie, doesn't everything look delicious? No, I'm not going to eat anything. Why, you got the stomach flu? No, I just don't want to eat anything, okay? Whoa, Brookie, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, um, you could drink some of this water. Whoa, be careful with that, Molly. Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to almost spill water on you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm doing everything wrong today, Brookie. It, it's fine. Just, just don't spill water on me, okay? Why? You gonna short circuit or something? <laughs> uh, no, th that's not even funny, okay? All right. Sorry. What's going on with my BFF? I mean, seriously. Hi, Large Mudge. Everything looks delish today. Oh, so glad you like it. I was gonna put anchovies on the pizza, but I know you kids don't like that too much. It's good protein, though. Ew, fish on my pizza? Don't even think about it, Large Marge. Why are you so sad, Molly? Well, you see, my best friend is... She's, she's just acting differently. Oh, well, maybe she's just having a bad day. We all have those. Yeah, maybe. I need to find out what Brookie is doing right now. She doesn't want to hang out at my house. That's so weird. She was grumpy and jumped back from the water that I almost spilled on her. I mean, well, that's not that weird, but sort of. I want to know what's going on with her. Are we not BFFs anymore? I have to make sure she knows that I'm not spying on her. If she finds that out, man, she won't want to be my friend at all. What's she working on? One more adjustment and it be perfect. What is that? Brookie doesn't work on things in the garage. <gasps> My best friend is a robot! Is somebody there? Hello? Oh, better run. Oh my god. My best friend! She's not real! She's a robot! I gotta tell Daisy. Daisy! 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 Molly, shh. I'm trying to do my homework. Big surprise there, but, 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 but. Whoa, you look like you've seen a ghost, Molly. Have you? Um, because that would be creepy and we should probably move out of Brookhaven. No, worse. Worse than a ghost? What could it be? My best friend, Brookie, sh 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 she's a, a robot. What? What are you talking about? Look, all of the signs point towards robot. She didn't want to hang out after school. Weird. She didn't want me to spill water on in the lunchroom because I think she would short circuit. Weird. Then I just went by her house to spy on her and... You spied on your best friend? I had to. And turns out she's not my best friend. She's a robot version of my best friend. I saw her building something for her robotness. Body. Whatever you want to call it. Robotness? Is that even a word? <laughs> uh, no, I just made it up. But anyway, why didn't they come to me to school people on how to speak um awesome words? I obviously know what I'm doing. What? What are you even talking about? <laughs> anyway. I'm telling you, she was working on her robot body. Holy guacamole! 
You don't believe me, do you, Daisy? You never believe me. You always say these are tall tales, fairy tales. Oh, this is no fairy tale, Molly. And yes, I believe you. Truth is, robots have come a long way in the last ten years. And I think this is absolutely a possibility. You do? Oh, I was kind of hoping you'd say that I was being ridiculous. No, Molly, we definitely have to test it. See if it's a robot or not. Yeah, tomorrow we'll spill lunch on Robot Brookie and see what happens. Good plan, Molly. Good plan. There she is, Daisy. We can prove that she's a she's a robot now. I hope everything goes as planned, Molly. Robots can be totally psycho. Yeah, here goes nothing. Hey, Brookie! Oh, hey, Molly. What's up? Hey, um, I, I just have to prove something to my sister. What are you doing with that water can? Do it look like a flower to you? No, but sorry about this. What? What are you doing? You're getting me soaking wet. Stop that. I have to go through the whole rest of the day now with wet clothes. Uh-oh. Wait, why aren't you short-circuiting? What? More water. More water is needed. Molly, it's obvious. Your science experiment has failed. What? Wait, what? What are you guys doing? My sister thought you were a robot. Yeah, you are a robot, aren't you? What? <laughs> are you serious right now? <laughs> you thought I was a robot? What? Why? Because first you didn't want to hang out with me after school. Weird. Then you did not want to eat any lunch. Robots don't eat food. And you were freaking out I was going to spill water on you because you would short circuit. Is she for real right now, Daisy? I'm afraid so. Then I came and spied on you and you were working on something in the garage. What? Uh -oh. You spied on me? That's just rude. Well, what were you working on in the garage, huh? 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 Um, my science fair project? Oh. Oopsie. Wow. They should have, like, some sort of show about this. Uh, it would be really good. <laughs> the lives of cafeteria students. Yeah, I can see it now. <laughs> Large Marge, that's a great idea. Um, we're sorry, Bookie. I'm really sorry for believing my sister's craziness. Hey! I, 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 I just couldn't figure out what was going on with you, Bookie. Well, it's okay, Molly. I'm sorry if I have been acting kind of like a robot. I guess that's what happens when you haven't slept good for two weeks. What? You haven't slept good for two weeks? Why? Well, let me explain. <gasps> that is so loud. I can't sleep. I'm so tired of this. That's it. My new band is awesome. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? It's midnight. Huh? What's, what's that, sister? I said it's midnight and I haven't gotten any sleep. Well, my first gig is this Saturday and I need to practice, okay? I want to be the best I can be. Well, practice at a normal time. Obviously, you don't know anything about musicians. We stay up late, sleep all day. Ugh! So that's why I've been acting a little bit like a robot lately. I feel like a robot with no sleep. I haven't even wanted to eat anything, really. I've just been so tired. <sighs> well, you could do what I do and just leave class and say, I have to go to the bathroom and then fall asleep on the toilet. <laughs> Molly! What? Sometimes I need a little nap. That actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. I think I'm going to go try it. I'm glad you're not a robot, Brookie. Um, yeah, me too. And I'm glad we're still friends. We're friends, right? Of course we are, Molly. I know how zany and crazy you can be sometimes, and I still love you because you're my BFF. Aww. Thanks, Brookie. Thanks. In this Brookhaven mini movie, Molly is an orphan that needs to be adopted. But every parent that comes into the adoption center doesn't adopt her. Soon, Molly is an adult and she still doesn't have a family. She is homeless until the kindness of a stranger changes her life forever. But will Molly finally get a family? Watch to the end of this video to find out. 
And guys, don't forget to slam that like button and comment in the comment sections below this video. Guys, we read all of your comments. Ugh, this crib is so, it's so small. Why do I have to keep sleeping in this? Oh, good morning, Molly. I see that you're awake. Good morning, Brittany. Oh, why the sour face, Molly? Because this bed is too small. It's meant for babies. Well, you see, all the other kids at the orphanage have been adopted. And, well, you should have been too by now. But, I don't know, we're just struggling to find you the right family. But don't worry. We're definitely going to find the mom and dad that are perfect for you. I just know it. Uh, speaking of, get up and get ready, Molly. There's a new couple that are coming today to see if you're the perfect fit for their family. Oh, great. Another one to say. Molly isn't right. Molly does this. Molly does that. Molly isn't right for our family. Uh, I think I'll pass, Brittany. Hello. Uh, we're here to meet the little girl. Oh, are, are you her? Whoa. Hi. I, I, I'm Molly. Hi. Uh, I'm Lieutenant Sean. And um, I'm his wife. My name is Heather. Sean and Heather. Whoa, you're a cop, huh? That's right, <laughs> and we're looking to adopt a beautiful, wonderful, sweet little girl. Do you fit that description? Of course she does, guys. Um, why don't you guys have a special day out just to see, you know, how you guys get along? <sighs> Listen, Brittany, this never works out. Molly, just try your best. I'm sure that they're going to love you. Come on, Molly. Um, we could go to the park if you want. Yeah, Molly, let's do this. Okay, uh, I know the way to the park. I'll show you guys which way to go. So, Molly, tell us a little about yourself. What? What is this, an interrogation? Uh, no, we just wanted to know. I have the right to a lawyer. I, I don't have to tell you anything, cop. Whoa, uh, Molly, we were just trying to get to know you a little bit. Uh-huh, sure, sure you were. Look, uh, I'm gonna go get on the swing, okay? Sounds fun. Okay, Molly, um, be careful. Sure, I totally will be. If I can ever get on this thing, ugh. There we go. Whee! Molly, don't go so high. Yeah, Molly, I rescue kids with broken legs when they go too high on swings all the time. Molly, can you please listen to... Molly, can you listen to me? Oh, boy, she doesn't listen, does she? I don't have to listen. I can do what I want. Whee! <laughs> Did you see that jump? Uh, yeah, Molly, it was really scary. I don't know if you should do that when you're at the park. Everything's fine. Now I'm going to go down the slide. But, Molly, that goes into the pool. Do you know how to swim? Yeah, I can swim okay. Do you have your bathing suit? Because you're going to get your clothes all wet. Yeah, I don't care. Molly, I don't think it's a good idea. Could you come back here? We could just talk for a little while since, you know, we were thinking about being your parents. Whee! I don't have to listen to anyone. Uh, Molly, I, I think it's time for you to go back to the adoption center. Really? Why? Um, well, Heather and I just decided that, um... We're not ready to adopt yet. Oh, okay. Well, it was nice meeting you guys. Bye, Molly. Good luck with your search for your parents. Oh, hey, Molly. How did your day go with, um, with the new adoptive parents? Uh, eh. Oh, no, Molly. Not another one that said no. Well, I was just being myself, like you said. Were you behaving? Um, well, then it wouldn't be myself. Molly, where is your manners? I had pretty good manners. I just didn't do anything that they asked me to. I don't like being interrogated. Ugh, Molly, what are we going to do with you? I don't know, Brittany. I guess I'm going to be stuck at the orphanage forever. Molly, Molly, where, where are you? Molly? Molly, what are you doing on top of the changing table? I'm pretending to be a baby. Why would you do that? Because it seems like since everybody wants a baby and doesn't want me, I'll just pretend to be a baby from now on. Oh, Molly, someone's going to want you just the way you are, I promise. Well, I don't see them lining up to adopt me. Well, it's funny you should say that because I have a new couple out front that's looking to spend the day with you. Really? Maybe I'm finally going to get parents. Hi, I'm Molly. Hi there. <laughs> I'm Rich. And I'm Debbie. Nice to meet you. Rich and Debbie. Uh, nice to meet you, too. Whoa, Debbie, are you a doctor? Uh-huh, I sure am. Whoa, cool. What are we going to do today? 
Well, we thought we would go get some ice cream. What do you think? Yeah, I love ice cream. Let's do this. Mint chocolate chip, my favorite. Mm. I think these guys could be my mom and dad. And they're going to take me for ice cream? Oh, yeah. Mmm, this mint chocolate chip is delicious. I know, right? It's so good. Would you look at that? We all got the same flavor. Yeah, and it's my favorite, too. Mm. Can't believe I ate all my ice cream already. Well, Rich, uh, I'm going to eat yours, too. What? No, you can't eat my ice cream. Give me that. Mmm, mm, delicious. That, Molly, that was rude. Do, do they not teach you any manners at the orphanage? Guess not. When it comes to ice cream, I'm going to eat it all. I'm coming for yours next, Debbie. Molly, don't take my ice cream. Rude. Oh, my gosh. Is she standing on the table eating my ice cream? Um, I think it's safe to say that this one isn't right for us. Well, I knew that was going to be the answer, but at least I got to eat all the ice cream. Bye. <laughs> I knew they weren't even going to pick me. They never do. Mm. But I got to eat all uh, six scoops of ice cream. So I'm pretty happy about that. Mm. Delicious. Brittany, Brittany, I'm back. What are you doing? Uh, I'm just tidying up the, the adoption center in case we get any new kids in. Wait, wh where are the parents who took you out? They said no, as usual. Also, do you have any Pepto-Bismol? I have a tummy ache. What? Why? Well, I may have eaten six scoops of ice cream. What? They let you eat sk six scoops of ice cream? Are you serious? No, they didn't let me. I just took their ice cream, too. Molly, what are we going to do with you? I'm trying to get you adopted, but you have to help me a little bit here. Okay, fine. I'll try to be on my best behavior. Good. I have a new couple coming tomorrow. I figured I should book a, a more than one couple because, Lord knows, you seem to just, well be sent back here over and over and over again. But don't worry, I'm going to find the perfect parents for you. I hope so, Brittany. I sure hope so. Whee! I love riding this bike. It's so much fun. I can't believe Brittany got it for me. It's the nicest present anyone has ever given me before. Molly, hello, come inside. <laughs> Brittany, I'm driving in circles around you. Molly, seriously, stop driving in circles around me. You're making me dizzy. Oh, well, Brittany, oh my gosh, I just ran you over. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Um, yeah, Molly, I'm fine. Ouch, that hurt a little bit, though. Sorry about that. Still learning how to ride a bike. It's okay, Molly. Look, I, I told you tomorrow that we were going to have uh, a new couple coming to see you while they're here. Nah, don't want to meet them. Molly, Why? Because everybody says no because I'm just being me and they don't like it. So I'm going to say no to them. Oh, you haven't even met them before. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll meet them. After this one, if they say no, I say no. Hey, yeah, I'm at the adoption center. Uh-huh, yep. I'm going to adopt a kid. I know, right? Adopt a kid? These guys look like maybe they're like 22. Hey, what's up? We're here to adopt you and stuff. Oh my gosh. What's your name? Barry. What's your name? Sherry. Wait a minute. Your name is Barry and Sherry? Barry, Sherry? Seriously? Yeah. You're pranking me, right? Molly, you're running out of options. Give Barry and Sherry a chance, okay? Yeah, come on. We're going to go to the diner. You can order a piece of cake. Well, it doesn't sound all that bad. Okay. Barry and Sherry, let's go. Hmm, this is the best cheeseburger I've ever had. Can I have another one? Sure you can, Molly. Um, excuse me, can she get another cheeseburger? Coming right up. Hmm, I love these cheeseburgers at Brookhaven Diner. So delicious. So, Molly, tell us a little about yourself. Yeah, we'd love to get to know you some more. Hmm, maybe I could tell you after I get done eating all these cheeseburgers. I'm hungry. Do they not feed you at the adoption center? Of course they do. I had a piece of pizza before I even came over here. I just like to eat food. Lots and lots of food. Cupcakes, ice cream, pizza. Wow, you sure do eat a lot, huh? I sure do. Hmm. kind of feel like I ate too much today, though. Uh-oh, here comes something special for you guys. Oh my gosh, did you just stand on the table and fart? 
Uh, yeah, I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, it's not funny. I'm dying. Smells bad. Smells bad. Barry, this kid doesn't even know manners. How can we be seen with her? Ugh, she stood on the table and farted. That's so disgusting. Ah, um, sorry. I was just trying to be funny and lighten the mood. I'm out of here. Come on, Barry. I can't breathe. I'm trying to move, but my lungs won't work. Coming, Sherry. Fine, I didn't want you to tap me anyway, Sherry and Barry. What kind of names are those anyway? They stink. Oh, wow, this is a really good book. I love it. Um, Molly, can you come here a minute? Sorry, Brittany, I'm reading my favorite book again. Oh, I wish the orphanage got new books every once in a while. And the town library doesn't get new ones either. Molly, please come here. I need to talk to you. Okay, what is it, Brittany? Well, it's been ten years, and... <sighs> I still haven't found you anyone to adopt you. I failed at my job, Molly. Brittany, don't talk like that. Just because I didn't find a mom and dad yet doesn't mean I won't. Actually, Molly, that's exactly what it means. What? What are you talking about? Well, today's your 18th birthday, and you've aged out of the system. What? What do you mean? It means you can't stay at the orphanage anymore. You're officially a grown-up. What? No, no, I'm not. I don't feel like a grown-up at all. Well, you are. I'm so sorry that I failed you, Molly. But, but this is the only home I've ever known. I know, but it's time for you to move on. But I don't have any family. You can always come back and visit me, Molly. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. When do I have to leave? Well, your 18th birthday is at midnight, so that's when you're expected to go. Oh my gosh! I, I, I never got adopted, and, and, and now I have to leave? This, this is terrible news! How can this be the law? It just is. I'm, I'm sorry, Molly. Remember, if you need any help, you can always come back. How about a place to live? That would be helpful. Sorry, can't do that. How about some food? That would be helpful. Sorry, I, I mean, I could give you the money I have... But it can't be from the orphanage. This stinks! I don't want anything from anybody! How rude. How very rude! Kicking me out of the only home I've ever known! Oh, I'm starving! I wish I had money to eat at Brooks Diner, but I don't even have a penny to my name! I'm so hungry. Well, there's only one thing to do. Look for the dumpster. Score! I'm sure there'll be something delicious in there to eat. An apple! Delicious! I mean, it tastes a little old, but why would somebody throw this out? It's perfectly good. Mm, so good. Well, I better set up my tent for the night. Next to the dumpster seems like a pretty good place. I just wish I had a place of my own. Like a real house and a real family. It just makes me so sad sometimes I don't have anyone in my life at all. I mean... I'm, I'm so lonely. <laughs> and also hungry. I have to go back into the dumpster and get something else to eat. Hmm, an old cheeseburger. That looks pretty good. Okay, there's just a little mold on the bread. I can deal with it. Uh, is that girl eating from the dumpster? Ew, disgusting. Hey, what are you doing up there in that dumpster? Oh, um, nothing. Uh, I could share it with you if you want. Just don't tell on me, okay? Share it with me? Ew, I'm not gonna eat that old cheeseburger from the dumpster. Why are you? Um, well, um, I'm, I'm homeless. What? Seriously? Did I stutter? Yeah, I'm, I'm homeless. And I'm very hungry. See, that's my tent where I live. And this is the cheeseburger I'm having for dinner. Oh, wow. I'm here. I'll give you a little bit of money and a sandwich, okay? Uh, here, here's some takeout. And I put $20 in there for you, too. Seriously? That's so nice of you. Yes, yeah, seriously. What happened? Anyway, they made you homeless. Well, I was an orphan, and I never got adopted. Really? I was an orphan, too, but I got adopted by a rich family. I didn't. I, I never got adopted, and then I turned 18, and I had to leave. Oh my gosh, that's terrible! Well, I hope things get better for you. Here you go. Oh, wow! Thank you! You're welcome. Good luck! Thanks! Bye! 
wow. She said she was just going to give me a little bit of money, but this is enough money for me to buy like a house. Holy guacamole. I mean, it won't be a really expensive house, but at least it'll be better than a tent. Wow, a house of my own. Home sweet home. It might just be a camper, but I don't care. It's, it's nicer than I've ever had. Wow, we, it even has a TV. That daisy person is the nicest person in the entire world. Well, I better get these groceries inside. Oh, I gotta be careful crossing them. Ah! Be careful! You almost ran into me! Oh, but I'm so sorry. My vision isn't like it used to be. Wait a minute. Are you that girl that was eating from the dumpster? Are you that girl that... That, that gave me that money so I could buy a little house? Yes, I can. My name's Stacy. My name's Molly. I just got back from the food pantry. You want to come inside for a hot dog or something? Oh, I, I'd love to. Let's go. Come on in. M -m my house is a, it isn't much, but um, it's mine. I know what you mean. I, I had a lot of money, but I downsized. My hips won't do the stairs anymore. Yeah, I know what you mean. I like having a house all on one level. Well, it's 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 very nice. I, I see what you did with the money was a good idea. Yeah, I never really had much in life. But I didn't mind. The one thing I didn't have, though, was family. And, well, I've always been sad about that. Oh, really? You never did find a family? No. Never. Wait, I never had a sister. Would you like to be mine? Seriously? Wow! Oh, don't get me too excited. I'll jump up and down and I'll definitely break a hip. Oh, yeah, don't do that. Let's sit down and talk about it. Now, tell me more about yourself, Molly. Um, well, I I was rejected by every family who, who um, came to see me. Wow. That sounds terrible. Yeah, well, I was kind of a rebel back then. I've learned a lot since then. Well, I would love to have you as my sister. Seriously? You really would? I think you'd be a great sister. I think you'd be a great sister too, and I finally have a family of my own. Well, I'm just one sister, but at least I'm better than nothing. It's totally better than nothing. Hey. Do you want to come over later for s'mores? Oh, I love s'mores. I'd love to. Wow, having a family is amazing. Would you mind if I brought my children and my grandchildren with me? You have children and grandchildren? Yes, that means now you're going to be an aunt and a great aunt. Oh, wow, it sounds like I have a huge family. You sure do. You're not alone anymore, Molly. You're not alone anymore. Oh, now I can die happy. <laughs> Molly? Did, 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 did you just die? I mean, I know you said you were going to die happy, but did, did, did you just die happy? No, bad hip gave out on me. Molly, should I do 911? Not for a bad hip. Get off me, Daisy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we're already fighting like sisters. Yeah, it'll be fine in a minute. It just seizes up on me. See? All better. Well, I'm glad we can spend our final years as sisters. Me too, Daisy. Me too. Wow! What a beautiful day to be at the beach! I do not Molly. Look, there's even a rainbow. Isn't that amazing? It really is. Look at the waterfall over there. This place is just so cool! I know, I can't wait to go swimming. Oh, no, you can't go swimming in here. Why not? Because there's sharks. The sharks won't bother you, Molly. Uh-huh, sure. What's that over there? Looks like a shark. Molly, that's just that's just a, a stone in the water, like a giant rock. Oh, I thought I thought it was a... <laughs> I thought it was a whale. Wait, what's that? I think it's a mermaid. Molly, mermaids don't even exist. What are you talking about? No, seriously, look. Look, it's coming this way! Maybe it, oh, it is a mermaid! Uh, what are you guys doing here? Wait, why has she got such an attitude? Ah! Why is she up on land? 
Molly, I don't believe in mermaids. Okay, you don't have to believe in one, but there's one standing right in front of you. Ugh, you're so annoying. Go away, humans. What? But aren't mermaids supposed to be nice and pretty and amazing and, and sweet? Yeah, you're not like a mermaid I've read about at all. Wait, you don't even believe that mermaids are real, so how do you know what they're like? Wow, you got a serious attitude for a mermaid. You should be trying to be nicer and um also make me some mermaid cupcakes. Mermaid cupcakes? What are those made out of, Molly? Seaweed? Ew, no! They're made out of chocolate and peanut butter and sugar and deliciousness. I don't even know what a cupcake is, but it sounds disgusting. Whoa, look, there's a shark! Of course there's sharks, duh. So how are you out of the water? Because I'm an evil mermaid! <laughs> ah, an evil mermaid! Daisy, run! I'm going to turn you into fish bait! <laughs> okay, when I thought about mermaids, this is not what I thought about. Yeah, me either. I thought, if I ever met a mermaid, I bet she's going to be beautiful and sweet and nice. Yeah, and this one's just evil! Wait a minute. I have an idea, Daisy. Daisy? Daisy! I'm coming, Molly! I just wanted to make sure we lost the evil mermaid. Uh, yeah, she was a real bully mermaid. Okay, maybe if we dress up like mermaids, she won't know. I'm coming for you, fish bait! Come on, Daisy, let's go! Oh my gosh, this store should have something. Oh yeah, look at these mermaid tails! Ooh, they're so beautiful. Okay, don't worry, look at which one's beautiful. Look at which one's gonna make us survive! Um, which tail should I choose? There's so many. Um, no, no. Those are like merman tails, yuck. Ooh, this gold one's pretty. A lot of people are shopping today. Maddie, do you have your tail yet? Um, why, well, yes, yes, I do. Ah, where's my face? Oh, there it is. I thought I lost my face. Wow, Molly! We look so cool with our mermaid tails. But should we go incognito and, like, change our hair and everything? Maybe, Molly, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna go and... Whoa, there's a pet fish in here! Ah, shark! I don't know what to wear as a shirt. Do they have any, like, shells I can wear? No. 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 Molly, hurry up! The evil mermaid will figure out where we are! Daisy, is that you? Yes, yeah, me, can't tell. No, it didn't even look like you. Very good, my plan's working. Okay, I'm gonna have this hair. Whoa, Molly! Your hair is beautiful! Now change your face. Basically change everything. Um, okay. I like this butterfly face. Oh, look at me! You're still wearing your star squad shirt. That's okay, I like it. Okay, now we can go hide. I see you, fish bait, and I'm coming after you. Ah, Daisy, we've got to hide. Hide quick, Molly. Whoa, being a mermaid's pretty amazing. You can swim places. <gasps> OMG, look at that whale, Daisy. Wow, Molly, being a mermaid's cooler than I thought. Why was she so grumpy? I don't know. Maybe she's just a miserable mermaid. <laughs> Try to say that three times fast. Miserable mermaid, miserable mermaid, miserable mermaid. You did it, Molly. Now, here's the thing. Where do you hide when you're a mermaid? I don't know, but you better find a spot quick. She's going to come soon. How about in here, Daisy? It seems safe in here. What if we become shark bait in here? No, no, I don't think there's any sharks in here. And she probably won't recognize us either. Except for you have that triton that's like glittery and sparkly. Well, I had to look fashionable as a mermaid. <laughs> Daisy, you don't need to look fashionable. You need to look alive. Do you want to be fish bait? Oh, uh, where are you, fish bait? Who are you? Ah, she found us! I mean, uh, uh, you found us! Have you seen two annoying humans that maybe dressed up like mermaids? Um, no. Wait a minute. Come out here where I can see you. Not a chance! Bye, mermaid! Hey, you're Molly! Come back here, fish bait! Oh my gosh, new hiding spot, new hiding spot. She sees us. She knows we're mermaids, Daisy. We've got to go! I do, Molly. She figured it out quick. Oh, my gosh. Can we just talk about how beautiful I look, though, as a mermaid? Like, seriously, I look so pretty. <laughs> if you think I look pretty, slam the like button. Oh, wow. Look at that fish. Okay, I've got to find a better hiding space. And seriously, I don't know. Maybe that whale can help me out. Ow, I hit my head. Ow. Still not very good at swimming. Wow, that mermaid's so beautiful. Whoa, another whale. Hi, Mr. Whale. Can I just hide next to you? 
Ow! Ow, I hit my head on a whale. Okay, I'm just gonna swim with the whale because I don't think the bully will ever, the bully mermaid will ever think to like mess with the whale. Hey, Mr. Whale! Wow! Wait, wait, wait for me! Okay, wait, I'm on his, I'm on his fin. Well, hello there! Wow, whales talk crazy slow. Um, Mr. Whale, I need to ride on your back because there's a real bully mermaid trying to get me and, and she's gonna turn me into fish bait. Okay, how do you know I won't eat you? Ah, really? No, ha, 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 just kidding. Wow, you move very slow, but you're very nice. Whoa, look at the jellyfish. <gasps> wow, being a mermaid is super cool. Being a mermaid is super cool. Oh, there you are, fish bait. <gasps> she made friends with a whale? Are you kidding me? Get out of here, bully. Or I'll make you my breakfast. What? You wouldn't dare. Take that. Oh, no. Don't hurt the whale. Oh, my God, no. Okay, I'll leave the whale alone. Just don't hurt it. Why are you doing this, you horrible person? She's not a person. She's, not a She's an evil mermaid. I've got to get away. What'd you do with my sister? Ooh, there's a magic pearl. Maybe that'll get rid of her. OMG. I've got the magic pearl! Now! It's showtime! Come on, you bully! What? Where did you find that magic pearl? Um, wouldn't you like to know? I am inf invincible! Now, now. Against the power of light and good! You evil mermaid, you! What? You actually won? Are you kidding me? Yeah! Good people always win, and you're a mean mermaid. Well, I, could, I should say good mermaids always win, <laughs> since I'm a mermaid now. You won't be a mermaid for long. You think that tail is going to last forever? Um, yeah? No, it won't. And then, you'll be in my control. <laughs> See you later, fish bait. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I actually won against her. I'm going to hold on to this magic pearl. It might come in handy. Now I have to go find my sister. Daisy? Daisy? Oh my gosh. I hope the evil mermaid didn't kill her. I think she's okay, Molly. Hey, Mr. Whale. I'm so glad you're okay. Hey, Mr. Fish. Hey, Molly. <laughs> I never could speak fish before until I became a mermaid. Hey, Molly. What's up? Hey, Molly. Hey, guys. Have you seen my sister, Daisy? I haven't seen her anywhere. Molly, I've got problems. What? Is it the evil mermaid? No, the shark is trying to eat me! Ah! Daisy! Ah! Get away from me, you bully shark! Oh my gosh, there's so many bullies in the ocean, I don't even know what to do right now. You shark will leave me alone! Ah! <laughs> Maybe throw in a cupcake, Daisy, that might help. What? Molly! <laughs> Daisy, go away. Molly, come out of that sea kelp right now. It's a beautiful day in the ocean. Don't you want to be awake so we could go do something fun? Sleeping's fun. <laughs> Get out of bed, you sleepy head. Come on. You're going to miss all the fun. Okay, fine. Ah, my sister is such an early bird. She always wakes up at the crack of dawn. Well, if you want to have a good start to the day, that's what you do. Besides, we've only been mermaids for a couple of weeks. I'm so excited about it. Yeah, it is pretty cool. As long as we don't take these necklaces off, we can stay mermaid babies forever. Well, actually, we'd go up into regular mermaids at some point, too. But right now, we were transformed into baby mermaids. <laughs> we're adorable. I know, right, Molly? We totally are. So what should we do today? Um, I don't know. Let's go explore the town first. Sounds like a great idea. Being a mermaid is super cool. 
Being a mermaid is super cool. Okay, we could go to... What? Misfortunes? Nah. My mom said never go there. A spa? Are you kidding me? That's amazing. Yeah, Marley, let's start out by going to the spa. Juice bar. I'm super thirsty and I could use some sea kelp. Ew! No, I want a cupcake. <laughs> There's no cupcakes in the ocean. Yes, there is. Of course there is. Ah, uh, should I get in this mud bath? I'm not sure. Do it, Molly, do it. I'm still learning how to swim as a mermaid. Like, I'm not really sure. It's not letting me go in there. You have to swim down, Molly. Jeez. Nope, it's closed. What, seriously? <laughs> Daisy, did you get your delicious sea cup um, drink? I sure did, Molly. Which one are you going to choose? Um, I don't know. Uh, let's see. What kind of flavors do they have? I don't want sea kelp. Strawberry. Ooh. Blueberry, raspberry. Grape. Orange. Banana. Lemon. Blueberry. Lime. Cloud. Coconut. And watermelon. Oh, I don't know which one to choose. Marty, I think you know. You're gonna want the banana one. Yeah, I think you're right. I love banana. You don't have to sing about it, Molly. I'm a mermaid. I have to sing about everything. I'm a baby mermaid. Oh, that's so adorable, Molly. You're so cute. You're cute too, Daisy. We're adorable baby mermaids. When do you think we'll turn into teens? I don't know how long it takes baby mermaids to turn into teens. Maybe the same amount of time that it takes for humans. Nah. Wow, this is a giant banana smoothie. Like, it's bigger than me. I know. I have so much energy because I drank that entire sea kelp um, smoothie. Ew, sea kelp smoothie. Gross. I'm just trying to get the full um, experience as a mermaid. Aqua Model Agency. Wow, this town's huge. Oh, look, a cafe. Molly, you just ate. But they have cupcakes. OMG. Oh, my gosh. No, I don't want to work here. I just want a cupcake. Go to work! No! Molly, will then get out behind from behind the counter. Um, can I please have a cupcake? Kindness, it costs nothing, but it means everything, Molly. True, true, true. Good morning. What can I do for you today? Whoa, 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 whoa! My head just spun around! Okay, Daisy, that was creepy. Are you sure you're not like a ghost or something? Apparently, <laughs> mermaids have some magical powers I wasn't aware of. Okay, what kind of magical power is spinning your head around backwards? I don't know. Let me see if I could do it again. Whoa! I can see up behind me. Oh, maybe that's so you could watch so no sharks eat you. Oh, good point, Molly. Good point. How do I do that? Um, if you don't already know, I can't tell you. You have to be magic. Keep practicing being a mermaid. Keep practicing. Keep practicing. Help wanted. We're very short-handed. Okay, um, but I was just wondering, could I have a cupcake? Molly, she said she's short-handed. That means that she probably, um, can't get you a cupcake right now. Oh, man. Okay, I'll be back at lunch for my cupcake. Ah, cupcakes. Barrier Boutique. Makeup. What? A pet shop? Daisy, there's a pet shop in this town. Seriously? OMG! I really wanna adopt a pet! Yeah, we should do it! Let's do it! Molly, what kind of pet are you going to adopt? Ew, she adopted a squid! I think it's kind of cute! Wow, look at this! Whoa, a gold oyster, 7,000? It's a lot of money! It is a lot of money, Molly. I don't think that we could afford it! Yeah, I'm gonna afford it. I don't have enough shell bucks yet. How do I get shell bucks? I need some shell bucks. Okay, how much is this one? <gasps> Deep Abyss Oyster. Molly, we have to go look if we want to have these pets. What? No! I'll just use some of my Robux. I don't think you can, Molly. I don't think you can. I have 330 shell bucks. I need more than that. Daisy, just go on your cell phone, go into your sand bank, and get some more money. Ooh, good idea, Molly. Um, I need to have, like, whoa, 800 Robux. That's a lot of money. I think I could get one with 50 Robux. 
Yeah! Okay, now I can get a pet! I'm so excited! Well, Molly, are you thinking about it? I know, because I'm gonna get a pet, and I'm I'm so happy right now. Wait, where are you, Daisy? I can hear you, but I can't see you. I'm up here, Molly! Let's get a pet, Molly! Yeah, let's get a pet. Daisy, did you just get a turtle? I got a sea turtle! OMG! Daisy, he's adorable! Oh, Molly, wait till you get your pet. Okay, I'm gonna go see what I'm gonna get. Basic oyster. Okay. Purchase a random pet. <gasps> I got a pet goldfish! Oh, he's so cute! Okay, I gotta interact with him. Okay, I can hold him. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, apparently my goldfish is way too fat and makes me go crazy. Okay, let's rename him. What should I name my goldfish? I think I should name him Fatty. <laughs> okay, I gotta put my pet down because, um, holy guacamole. Get out of here, you're too fat. <laughs> Poor little goldfish. Oh, yeah, you are. What am I going to name him? Guys, if you have an idea of what I should name my goldfish, let me know in the comment section below. I think I'm just going to name him Goldie for right now. Um, by the way, I'm a girl. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, well, then Goldie works perfectly. Come on, Goldie. Molly, I got a sea turtle and you. I got one that's more whale than you. Oh, well, la dee da dee da <laughs> I'm just saying, but your goldfish is adorable. Come on, Goldie. <laughs> Molly, I don't think they respond to that. Oh, I'm giving Goldie love. Did you see that? Watch when you love when I love my goldfish. <laughs> it makes Goldie so happy. I couldn't name my turtle something. I'm not sure what though, but I think I couldn't name it title. Wow, that's a great name! Yeah, and um, Tidal seems like a super happy um, turtle to me. Come on, Goldie! We're gonna have so many adventures. We're gonna have so many, so many adventures. Whoa! Wow, this cave is crazy. Are you with me, Goldie? Yeah, Molly. I'm right here. Let's go. Awesome! Whoa, what's that? I think there's another mermaid. Okay, that's cool. We're good. Thought maybe it was a sea monster or something. I love Goldie. Molly, look at Tidal. He can swim so fast. We all can. I'm never taking off my mermaid necklace. Then I wouldn't have to go back to being a human. And that sounds boring. Being a mermaid is amazing. Besides, Molly, I would be so lonely without you. Aww. Oh, Goldie, I'd be so lonely without you, too. You're so adorable. Yeah, Molly, Tidal's cute, too. I never want to stop being a mermaid. Me either. Me either. Have a great first day of school, girls. Thanks, Mom. Daisy, I can't believe it. It's our first day of mermaid magic school. I know, Molly. I'm a little nervous. Don't be, Daisy. You're going to make friends. You're going to be awesome. You're going to get good grades. I know, Molly. But I guess I'm just a little nervous because I've never been to mermaid school before. Well... Here we go. All we've got to do is swim inside. Are you ready, Daisy? I'm ready, Molly. Let's do this. Good morning. Are you Molly and Daisy? That's us. You must be um one of the teachers. Actually, I'm your teacher. Really? Wow. A teacher is so beautiful, Molly. Oh, thank you guys so much. That's so sweet of you to say. Um, So we're pretty excited about mermaid school. Like, wow. How much magic do you think we're actually going to learn? You're going to learn a lot of magic, Molly, and you're going to love this school. But you still have to do your homework and be a good student, okay? Um, I'll try my best. If you feed me a lot of cupcakes, things will go pretty smoothly. Molly, all you think about are cupcakes. We have some delicious sea kelp cupcakes. Ooh, sea kelp cupcakes. My favorite. This looks delicious. Molly, we only have 15 minutes. We have to try to eat these cupcakes and then go see the school. Mmm. Mmm. There's a delicious cupcake. Sure is delicious. Molly, it's time for school. Environmental science. Ooh la la. Wow. I can tell already I'm going to love this class. Look at the microscopes. 
Very cool. This looks like some sort of like biology class or something. Yeah, Molly, um, this is where you learn about the environment. Just like the sign says, duh. Hey, okay, I'm just a little nervous about school. Don't be mean to me. Sorry, Molly, it's just a said environmental science. Uh-huh, I know. Okay, let's go look at the other classrooms. Ow, I ran into the wall. Oopsie. Molly, what is it, your first day as a mermaid? <laughs> no. Whoa, look at this library. It's beautiful. OMG, there's a lot of books in here. Daisy, where are you? Daisy, you gotta see this library. Molly, I'm back here, duh. <laughs> Molly, you really are nervous. You say silly things. Yeah, I'm a little nervous, but I know this new school of magic is gonna be amazing. Class, hurry up and explore the school because pretty soon class is gonna start. Ooh, potions class. What are you two doing here? Oh, um, we're new students. My name's Molly. And my name's Daisy. Oh, well, it looks like you got a D on your first test. What? No, that must be a mistake. <laughs> we haven't even gone to class yet. Look, I'm just going to tell you this right now. I don't want to be bothered. My name is Sarah, though, by the way. Okay, hi, Sarah. Um, we don't have any friends yet, so maybe you could be our friend. I doubt it. I'm very busy making a potion. What kind of potion? Can we see it? Huh? Huh? Is this it over here? Whoa! It looks amazing. What does it do? <laughs> Soon you're going to find out. Let's see. Just one final ingredient and everything will go just as planned. <laughs> Is it just me, Daisy? Or does she have kind of an evil laugh? Molly, let's not be rude. It's not like we have any friends or anything. And she's the first student we've met. Okay, yeah, but her laugh still sounds kind of evil. I think she's up to no good. Molly! We're trying to make friends. Be nice. Okay, fine. <laughs> see you later. What, what do you mean, see you later? You're still here. I know, but I just cast a spell on everybody outside this room. What? What? Why? Because <laughs> I don't want anyone to bug me. So I turn all the students at Magical Mermaid School into humans and set them all the way up to Earth. Well, I'm not sure why you would do something so rude. Me either, Maddie. Why is she so mean? That's just my personality. I like being mean. <laughs> what? So you're telling me you did this for real? Like you're being honest? I think she is, Molly. She turned all the mermaids and all the mermaid kids into humans. No, this can't be. I'm gonna go look around the school. What? It's completely empty! There's, there's no one here! Oh my gosh, there's our teacher! 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 What is it, girls? And where are all your classmates? No one's showing up for school. Is it Saturday? Oh, I always mark my calendar wrong. No! It's not that it's Saturday. You're actually here on the right day. It's it's that this little evil mermaid that's our classmate named Sarah. She put a spell on everybody and turned them into humans. What? This can't be. She can't know that kind of magic. Well, she does. I saw her making the potion. And guess what? She sent them up onto land. No. Their parents will miss them. Do they know what's happening? No, they don't even know. They don't even know they used to be mermaids. Oh my gosh, we have to save them. I know, let's go, Daisy. We have to save them! Whoa, whoa, what just happened? Molly, where were we? Why do I have legs? What happened to my mermaid tail? And why am I wearing this unicorn costume? I'm wearing a bunny costume. How do you think I feel? I look like a pink nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny, Daisy. It's not really that funny, Molly. Why couldn't I be an adorable unicorn? Because I'm the adorable unicorn. <laughs> I think we're actually wearing these costumes so we blend in, Molly. You know, look like humans and not mermaids. I know the humans like to dress up a lot. Like to wear onesies and, and dress up for Halloween and stuff. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure if it's Halloween here or not. 
Maybe it is, Molly. I mean, it's not Halloween in Mermaid Land, but maybe it is in Human Land. Daisy, enough talking! We have to let everyone know that they used to be mermaids! Well, what if they weren't? Maybe they were... Mm, this sippy cup's delicious. The ice cream truck has arrived! Molly, stop getting distracted! Hey, I'm not the one that had to drink from my sippy cup. Ugh, I'm thirsty, sorry. Anyway, how will we know if they were, like, humans to begin with or mermaids? I don't know. There's got to be some sort of test. Excuse me, I think you might have uh, used to be a mermaid. What? No, I wasn't a mermaid. Wait a minute. I think I was a mermaid. Molly, she thinks he's a mermaid. Oh my gosh. Okay, well someone turned you into a human. What are we supposed to do about it, Molly? Do we have a magic potion or anything? Actually, yes. I took some from our teacher, Dora. And guess what? It's in the sippy cup. Here you go. You're going to turn back into a mermaid. Can we be friends? Of course we can. As soon as we get back to mermaid land. Here you go, baby. Molly, you're not supposed to drink it. I know. I just want to make sure that I don't forget I was a mermaid. Excuse me. I think I was a mermaid, too. I mean, I remember swimming around the ocean, and then all of a sudden I had legs, and I was dressed up like it was Halloween. Also, I broke my leg while I was here because I'm not very good at using human legs, and, well, I, I don't know what to do. Here, you need some of this medicine. Okay, um, but I can't make my legs stop moving. Oh, that must be just part of you being a human and not a mermaid. Here you go. I'll just follow you. Here you go. Okay, I'm going to sit down. Maybe maybe that'll work. Put it in my bottle, okay? Okay, here you go. Wow, I I feel like I'm going to turn into a mermaid again. Whoa! Whoa! They're gone! Well, that's because they went back to Mermaid Land, Molly. Okay, Daisy. Now we just need to do this with all the other kids at daycare. And then Sarah's evil potion will be done. I know, Molly. She really is evil, isn't she? Let's see how many mermaids we have to change back. O-M-G! There's so many here! Some of them have even broken their legs because they don't know how to use human legs. Ooh, is that a human cereal? You know I want to eat some of that. Molly, focus! Okay, but can we eat the cereal first and then I can give them the potion? Oh, brother. <laughs> hey, look it. I have a little unicorn and isn't it cute? Molly, I think you're starting to like being a human. Well, they do have, like, the best cereal in the world. We don't get cereal like that. We have to eat, like, sea kelp cereal. Molly, come on. There's so many kids left to change back into mermaids. We have a lot of work to do. Okay, but can I have a cupcake afterwards? Yes, Molly, you could have a cupcake. Woohoo! <laughs> So, Molly, are you telling the truth? Yeah, I am. Isn't that crazy? But don't tell anybody, okay? Molly, your secret is safe with me. Oh, good. <laughs> Not even my sister or anybody knows about this. Wow, just me? Yep. Oh, I gotta go. My sister Daisy's here. What are you keeping secrets about, Molly? Um, nothing. Nothing. You and Bookie Cookie have a secret, and you're not telling me. That's not nice, Molly. Well, it's just between her and I, okay? And it's not really a secret or anything, so don't worry about it. Just forget about it. Okay, Molly, but I don't think you're telling the truth. I am, Daisy. I am. Uh-huh, sure, Molly. Oh, that was a close one. I can't let my sister know what's going on. I'm just going to go out here and check on things. Make every sure everything's okay. What is Molly up to? I'm going to follow her into the backyard. Is my sister following me right now? She is! Daisy, what do you want? Molly, you're hiding something. And I want to know what it is right now. Daisy, I'm not hiding anything. I swear, I'm just going for a walk. You're going for a walk in the backyard. Yeah, we have a big backyard. Yeah, not that big, Molly. What do you think? It's like an Olympic stadium or something? <laughs> no, but look at all the woods we have. I like walking through the trees and... Liar, Molly! You're lazy. You don't go for walks. That's not true. 
if there's a cupcake on the walk, I'll go. Oh, brother. Girls, do you want a snack? I can make you something. I'm getting a snack. Bye, Daisy. Molly, this isn't over. You have to tell me what you're hiding. Nope, not going to do it. Nope, nope, nope. Mom, will you make us a snack? Of course I will. What were you thinking you wanted? Um, can we have something delicious and like a treat? Mm, yeah, you girls ate really healthy today. I guess you can have a treat. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm ready for it, Mom. So, Molly, are you going to tell me what this little secret is? What secret? What are you girls talking about? There's no secret! Daisy, shh! Oh, you don't want Mom to know the secret. Um... If there was a secret to tell, then everyone could know what it is. But there's no secret! There's a secret. And I'm gonna find out what it is! So, anyway, Mom, what are you making us? Something really delicious! Okay, let's see. There's flour, milk, and a cupcake pan. <gasps> Mom, are you making me cupcakes? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, you're the best mom ever. I love you, mom. I seriously love you, love you, love you. Okay, girls, here's your delicious cupcakes. I don't have any frosting, sorry. That's okay, mom. Who needs frosting? Hmm. These are delicious. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yum. Cheapest mom, are you going to save some cupcakes for the best of us? Uh-huh, sure. Hmm. So good. Uh, Molly, take your time. You're going to get a stomach ache. Um, I'm gonna eat this last cupcake in the backyard. See you guys later. What? Why does she want to eat it outside? I don't know. Maybe she just wants some fresh air, Daisy. Everybody needs fresh air sometimes. Oh, okay. I've got to save this. Um, you know, I want to make sure she has enough to eat. Molly, what on earth are you doing? Daisy, what are you do Why are you following me? Molly, you better tell me what this secret is right now. Okay, fine, but you can't tell anybody. Do you promise? I promise, Molly. What is it? Daisy, why are you swimming so weird? I don't know. I'm just kind of stuck in the water. <laughs> you look really weird right now. Oh, because you have an expert swimmer. Um, okay, see you later, Daisy. Molly, you just tried to distract me. Tell me what the secret is, please, Molly. Please, please, please. Okay. I found a baby mermaid. What? No, you didn't. You're a liar. That's not true. It's true. I was on my way home from school one day, and you know how you just walk past that one part of the river? Yeah. Well, there was a baby mermaid in there. What? Yep. It's totally true. And she needed my help. So I brought her home, and I made her a nursery in our pool. I don't believe you, Molly. If you don't believe me, just follow me. Where are you going? Swim down! Swim down, Daisy! Molly, why are you swimming through the filter of the pool? Whoa! What is this place? I told you! I made a nursery for my baby mermaid. Molly, I don't know what's going on right now. This nursery is adorable, but I don't see a baby mermaid. What? There's a baby mermaid! <laughs> I told you there was a baby mermaid! Oh my god, she's beautiful. Thank you, I think she's adorable too. Oh, beautiful mermaid. So now you know why you gotta keep this baby mermaid a secret. Like, I'm pretty sure everyone would freak out if they knew there was a baby mermaid in town. Everyone would want to adopt her. No, I don't want everyone to adopt her. I want her to be a part of our family. I get to do what I tell you. I get to go, Papa. Wow, Molly, what's her name? Her name's Baby Kira. Wow, she's adorable. Thank you. And also, I just can't believe it. I can't believe I found a baby mermaid. This just doesn't happen every day. No, Molly, it really doesn't. Give me a tour of around the nursery. And this is her little crib. And her cute little pictures are above. And there's a little chair that I can sit and rock her in if she needs that before she goes to sleep. Here's her changing table with her changing pad. And there's a box of diapers and wipes. Here's her little closet where she can get dressed. She has so cute, some really cute outfits. Like, well, basically just tops because her bottoms, you know, she's got a tail. So, um, she can't wear, like, pants or anything. And then over here is a dresser where I just keep, like, extra toys and stuff. Wow, Molly, this is adorable. I love the pictures and the paintings and the walls. 
She even has a pet octopus doll. That's adorable. Yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> um, so, yeah. This is basically her room. But, Molly, you can't keep her. What do you mean I can't keep her? Why not? Because, Molly, she has to go back in the ocean where she belongs. What? No! She's my baby mermaid. I found her, and, and I love her. She's like my sister. Molly, you can't keep her. Besides, Mom will find out. No, she won't. Nope, I'm going to keep her down here until she's 18. No one will ever know. Molly, you can't do that. Girls, where are you? Oh, baby Kira, my sweet little mermaid baby. You stay down here, okay? Um, And I'll bring you a bottle soon, okay? I'll be right back. Coming, Mom! Mom, we're coming! Now don't breathe a word of this to Mom! Okay, Molly. Don't tell me what. Are you girls keeping a secret? No, we don't have any kind of secret. Why would we be doing that? I mean, we were just in the pool because we wanted to go for a swim, not because we have a secret. Daisy! Wait, is the secret in the pool? Who said anything about a secret? I don't have a secret. There's not a secret under the pool. Daisy! Ugh, my sister's terrible at keeping secrets. Okay, time to see what's underneath the pool. Nothing! Nothing! Don't go in the pool, Mom! There might be a sea monster in there. Molly, don't be ridiculous. Ah, this water's cold. Mom, don't go down there! Molly! Oh, great, Daisy. You spilled the beans! Well, not technically. What is going on down here? Um, nothing, Mom. Nothing at all. Oh, my gosh. Is that a baby mermaid? Um, nope. You're just seeing things. Molly, how long have you had this baby mermaid? Um, like a week. And you set up this nursery for her? Yeah, I, I didn't want her to be alone. Oh, Molly, that's so nice of you. Maybe we could adopt her. Really? She, she doesn't have to leave? Well, it's up to, it's up to the baby mermaid. What's her name? Her name's baby Kira. Little mermaid, do you want to go back to the ocean? I don't know. No mommy, no daddy. Oh my gosh, she has no mom and dad. Well, we'll be her mom and dad. Okay, baby, I've got to go pick up some milk and diapers. No, Mom, I did all that. I I've got it all. Come on, I'll show you. Molly, what happened? I was too afraid to go down there. I thought you were going to be grounded forever. No, Mom says we can adopt the baby mermaid. Really? Yes, girls, but you're not allowed to keep secrets from me, okay? Okay, Mom, I promise, no more secrets. I did take a one by my daddy, What? When she gets out of the water, she has legs! What? Are you kidding me? No! She turns into a human, Mom! Um, that's unexpected. What's she doing? I don't know. What are you doing? I can't be out of my hungry! Oh my gosh, the baby mermaid turned into a little human baby, and now she's eating watermelon out of the refrigerator. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Well, welcome to the family, baby mermaid! <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful day in mermaid land I wonder what I'm going to do today Goldie, Goldie <laughs> Goldie, there you are Hi Molly Hey Goldie, are we going to have an amazing adventure today? Sure Molly, where are we going? Um, I don't know. First, we gotta go find Daisy, though, because I'm sure she's gonna want to come along. This is gonna be an awesome Saturday. Where could she be? Mermaid Land is huge, so I'm not really sure. Wait, is that oh, her over there? Molly, I'm over here. Oh, you brought your turtle. Of course, Molly. My turtle goes everywhere with me. Hey, Title, what's up? <laughs> you and Goldie are the cutest pets ever. Molly, what are we going to do today? Well, I'm kind of hungry, so I thought we could go get a smoothie. Sounds good. Let's go. Mmm, I love smoothies. What should I get today? Bananas and cream, strawberries. I'm not even sure yet. Okay, Goldie, what kind of smoothie do you want? Um, I want orange juice. Okay, I'll get you some orange juice. I think I'm going to have orange juice, too. That just sounds good. What are you going to have, Daisy? Um, I haven't really decided yet, but Tidal is standing next to the green juice because I think because Tidal is green, Tidal wants to have a green juice. 
That makes sense. <laughs> okay, Goldie, here's your orange juice. Oh, thank you. It's delicious. Mmm, this is the best smoothie ever. Mmm, so good. Mine's really good too, Molly. What do you think of the title? I love it. It's delicious. <laughs> so the f whole day is ahead of us, Daisy. What should we do? We could do anything at Mermaid Land. It's the most magical place ever in the entire universe. I have to agree. I never want to be a human ever again. I want to be a mermaid. I want to be a mermaid forever. Hey, look, Daisy. There's misfortune. Marty, Mom told us never to go in there. Evil things happen there. What? Nah. <laughs> I think that's just made up. Well, she said she gets in all sorts of mischief. She's a bad mermaid. Nah, nah, nah. Mom's probably just not wanting us to spend our allowance on it. Molly, I don't think we should go in now. I really don't. Yeah, I'm going in, Daisy. Come on, chicken. Are you coming or not? Molly! I don't like this place. It's really weird, Molly. It's okay, Goldie. Don't be afraid. It's just all for show. Well, hello there. Hi, Miss Fortune. Um, nice to meet you. So, this is your first time here? Um, yes, it is. And we're just leaving now. Come on, Molly. Yeah, Molly, let's go. No, no, no. Guys, stop. Oh, my gosh. Goldie is trying to hide behind me. Tidal. Tidal is hiding underneath my tail because I'm too afraid to be out here. Oh, there's nothing to be afraid of. Miss Fortune is very good at magic. Uh huh. That's exactly why we're here. Molly, I have a bad feeling about this. Come on, let's go. Daisy, no! I want Miss Fortune to read our our palms or tell us something with the magic crystal ball. Okay, Miss Fortune, we're ready. Oh, <laughs> I'm not Miss Fortune. I'm just her secretary. I'm Miss Fortune. Whoa! Uh, Miss Fortune? You look, uh, well, uh, she's creepy! Molly, are you really trying to get your fortune read by her? Oh, hey, Jay, uh, yeah, I am. Uh, Molly, I think that's a really bad idea. Okay, okay, I know, everyone says that. Having your fortune read is a great idea. <laughs> Okay, that sounded really evil. Yeah, I have to agree. That did sound a little evil. Um, I think we'll be going now. I don't think so. I've already started reading your fortune. What? How do you do that? You didn't even look at the crystal ball. I'm so magic, I can see things with my eyes. Like the future. Well, I have to admit, your eyes are slightly creepy. And, um, yeah, they probably can see futures. I bet my future is beautiful and sunny. Just so happy like a flower, since my name is Daisy. Actually, I see you're both in grave danger. What? Grave danger? What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? I see. I see you both might perish. Perish? What's that? Is that some sort of food? No, Molly, it means die. Oh my gosh, Molly, what are we going to do? Thankfully, I have a magic potion, and it'll make your future happy and dreamy and wonderful. Um, okay, but does it taste like cupcakes? <laughs> Molly, I think this might be a bad idea. Daisy, we can't let our future be all ruined now, can we? We're going to perish. You two should listen to Miss Fortune. She knows what she's talking about. Thank you, Miss Fortune Secretary. Well, do you want the potion or not? Um, uh... Okay, we'll do it. Molly! Okay! So, um, do we have to drink it or eat it? Like a piece of cake or what? Actually, you just stand here, and I am going to sprinkle it over you. What? That's a weird magic potion. Well, Molly, she's the sea witch. She should know. Uh, calling her a sea witch isn't very nice. Maybe she'd rather be called Miss Fortune Teller. I don't care what you call me. <laughs> now let's get started on this potion. I've got to say, my stomach is growling a little bit. 
So I'm kind of wishing that you were a sandwich instead of a sea witch. <laughs> Money! A sandwich instead of a sea witch! <laughs> Hold still! I'm trying to give you this magic spell. Okay, okay. Here you go. We're standing still. Go for it! Daisy? Daisy, what happened? Buddy, I don't know, but that spell put us somewhere different. It put you in prison. What? No, this can't be. Yeah, no, we're not in prison. Look, I can go right out the side. Wait, no! I, uh, the sides are made of, of glass and, and magic. We're stuck in here. What? It's like a giant fishbowl, Molly, and we're stuck inside. And so are we because we're your pets. Oh, no! I told you it was a terrible idea to go see her. It's okay. We still have our magic necklaces. Maybe we can make this uh, work out for us. We, we could get out of here. Yeah, right, Molly. We're just baby mermaids. We, we don't know how to do magic yet, even with these magic necklaces. Okay, well, we've got to try something. <laughs> oh my gosh! I hear the evil sandwich! I mean, sea witch. Oh, brother Molly, you're still thinking about your stomach? Well, I'm sorry! We've been in here a really long time! I'm hungry. Molly, we've been in this prison for like two seconds. Okay, well, I, I, I need something to eat. All I had was a smoothie for breakfast. I need a cough cake! <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> I see you fell for my trap! <laughs> Molly, do you notice something about her? Um, that she's evil and she has horns and she has the creepiest eyes on the entire planet that I've ever seen? Uh, yeah, besides that. Um, not really. She just seems evil. Look at her arm, Molly. Wh what's that? It's a chain, Molly, from prison. Don't you see? She was so evil, she was in prison. That's right, silly, silly babies. <laughs> I broke free to wreck havoc on Mermaid Land, and I've started with you. What? No! Daisy, we have to use our magic to get out of here. Come on, Daisy, we can do this. Just think so hard. Think good thoughts. Think of the happiest things you can think. Okay, Molly, I'm doing it. Okay, now push on the glass. Push on the glass. Daisy, it's working. It's working. What? No, get back here. Daisy, Goldie, Tidal, swim as fast as you can. Molly, this is crazy. Get back here, you little mermaid baby brats. You were supposed to be my first victims. Get back here. Oh my gosh, I have to go into the cave of light. She'll never be able to go in there. Wait a minute, where's Goldie? Where's Goldie? Molly, here I am. Goldie! Oh, that evil sea witch. She can't come in here. This is where all the good mermaids go to collect their good energies. Molly, I told you we should have never gone in there. And next time, Daisy, I just might listen to you. Now should we go get a sandwich? No, no more sandwich! Yeah, no, I really mean like a, a real sandwich. Oh yeah, then we definitely should, I'm starving. Oh, I'm starving. Let's see what I can have to eat. <laughs> I don't want to really cook anything. I think I'll just have like... No, no, no. Ooh, a black tart. I love these. Molly, what are you doing? Aren't you supposed to be doing your homework? Um, yeah, but I need a snack. Molly, you're always full of excuses. You better actually do your homework. You don't want detention again, do you? Ugh, detention. Yeah, that was pretty awful. <laughs> I had to stare at this blackboard for like an hour. And then I had to write this big long thing that kept saying like, I will do my homework, I will do my homework, I will do my homework. Like a million times. Yeah, it was awful, right? Yeah, it was like prison! <laughs> you could go do your homework so you don't get detention. Ugh, I hate doing my homework. I mean, can't we just finish all our work in school? Mom doesn't come home from work with homework. I know, Molly, but we have to do it. It's what the teacher says. Okay, fine. Homework. I hate homework. Ooh, well, I could just play a video game. 
I think playing a video game is the perfect idea. <laughs> Who said that? Who's there? Me. <laughs> Your best friend. Yeah, I think you're right. I think I think I should play a video game. Sounds like a lot of fun to me. <laughs> what game should I play? Ooh, Blacksborn. Yeah, play Blacksborn. Blacksborn looks like lots of fun. Who needs to do homework? Homework, small work. So boring. Molly, what are you doing? You should be doing your homework. Who said that? I'm your guardian angel, and, and I really think you should do your homework. She doesn't want to do her homework. She wants to play more games. <laughs> but Molly, if you keep playing games, you're going to get detention. Ooh, detention. Is that a threat? Why don't you just go back to where you came from, little devil? You keep telling Molly to do bad things. Hey, can you two keep it down back there? I'm trying to play my video game. <laughs> Molly, you know your sister Daisy was right when she said you should be playing. You you shouldn't be playing a game. You you should be doing your homework. Oh, why don't you buzz off, little angel? <gasps> I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> That's better. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> playing that game was so fun. Who cares about homework anyway? <laughs> playing games is so much more fun. Molly, what exactly are you doing right now? I'm playing a game. What does it look like? Molly, did you not remember how bad detention is? Who cares about detention? Molly, do your homework. Oh, I don't want to do my homework. Ew, you didn't do your laundry either. Gross. You're going to get in so much trouble, you're going to have detention, and you're going to be grounded for not doing your chores. All right, fine. I'll do my chores. And then your homework, Molly. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I'll do my homework. Good job, Molly. I'll see you later. I gotta go back to doing my own homework. <laughs> Why would you do something so stinky and boring like laundry? Um, uh, because I need to have clean clothes? Who cares? If you smell and someone doesn't like it, tell them to plug their nose. Whoa. <laughs> the little devil side of me is really devilish. <laughs> I guess you're right. I guess I don't need to do my laundry. Molly, you know you should do your, your laundry. You don't want to be smelly. I mean, who wants to sit next to somebody who hasn't done their laundry in three weeks? Oh my gosh, you're back. Yeah, I'm your little angel. I'm, I'm supposed to tell you the good things to do. Didn't I tell you already to buzz off? Listen, little devil. You need to stop telling Molly what to do. It's rude. I know. <laughs> Rude is my specialty. You guys are driving me crazy. Should I do this laundry or not? Absolutely. That's the right thing to do. No, Molly, don't. Ah! You guys are driving me crazy. Just make up your minds. Ah! Molly, are you okay out there? Ah, yeah. Okay, I gotta do this laundry. I don't want to be stinky. <laughs> she chose me, the good side. This time. But don't get used to it. Huh, maybe I should have listened to the little devil inside of me because literally doing laundry takes so long. Molly, you're doing your laundry. Good job. Jeepers, creepers. I thought maybe you were going to be bad forever. What, me? No, I'm not that bad. I gotta do some chores and then I have to go to bed because I need to get up early for school so I get a good grade on my test. Test? What test? Molly, you didn't study? Oh, brother. You better go study right now so you can get to bed on time. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure, I'll do that. After I put all this laundry away. Wow, look at this pile of homework. Oh, I really don't want to do it all. Aw. Oh, I guess I better get started, though. Congratulations, Molly. You're doing such a good job. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Guardian Angel. <laughs> uh, this is a lot of homework, though. But the reward will be great. You'll be so smart and full of knowledge. And, well, you won't get detention. And we both know you don't want that. <laughs> yeah, well, Angel, you're right. I wouldn't want that. <laughs> you really did your homework? Lame. Listen, little devil. It's lame to have detention. It really stinks. Well, since you did all that homework, I think you could stay up late and play some more of your video game. But 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 if I don't go to bed early, I, I won't get a good grade because I'll be exhausted. 
Who cares? I'm sure you'll be just fine. Besides, you did all that laundry and chores, and then you did your homework. You deserve to play a game. Yeah, I deserve to stay up late and play a game. I don't care if it's a school night. Ha 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 ha. Exactly. Ugh. Wow, super tired. What time is it? 2 a.m.? Holy guacamole! Uh, I need to go to bed, like, right now. <laughs> Molly! Molly, wake up! Your alarm clock is going off! You're gonna be late for school! Molly! Molly, wake up! No, Molly. <laughs> Sleep as long as you want. What are you talking about, little devil? She, she's she's going to miss school. Well, little angel, who cares about school? We care about school. School's important. Well, apparently school's not too important to Molly since she's sleeping through her alarm. All that work you did last night having her do her chores and homework. <laughs> I messed that all up. Now she's going to have detention forever. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Today I'm playing a mobile game called Good versus Evil. So now I got to some decisions because I'm a cute little angel. Would I rather... Oh, somebody's scolding me. Would I rather dance or throw up? Throw up! <laughs> oh, guys! I threw up candy. That was awesome. Oh, I'm going to go see the the demon. Oh! <laughs> Level one success. My turn, Molly. My turn. Okay, not now. Cheapos. Okay, um, I'm gonna work hard because I'm good and, like, I'm not gonna be a demon. Should I read a book or should I be naughty? Oh, I've got angel wings and a halo. I'm gonna read a book. Oh, he's saying, very good job, like, on my teachers. Throw a rock or play with it. Oh, uh, probably wouldn't play with a rock or throw. Oh, throw it, um, no, I'm gonna play with it because throwing it might hurt somebody. Look, everybody said, you're an amazing angel. So, uh, basically, this is the angel that takes me to heaven or whatever. <laughs> Let me try again. I want to I wanna see if I can be better. Okay. Oh, look at all this money in this safe. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is be greedy. <laughs> uh, oh, I punched that kid. Oh, my God. That was horrible. <laughs> okay, well, I punched him. Oops. Am I gonna marry or make a divorce? Oh, come on. I believe in love. I'm gonna marry. I'm definitely not, I'm I'm not gonna be a demon. Oh, they asked her to marry me. Marry me, I'm doing a marry me dance. Oh, marry me, marry me, wiggle those hips. <laughs> okay, where am I gonna go? What? Oh, I died and I'm going with the demon. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, the demon wins. Start a new soul. I gotta start a new soul because you're just horrible. Okay, I'm gonna catch the bus. Let me grab my school books and um, clean up my room. Oh, mom, I'll definitely clean up my room. Don't yell at me, okay? Don't yell at me, I'm gonna clean up my room. Okay, clean up my room. Um, now, uh, I'm, what, I'm a demon? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna play with the, oh no, I went through the wrong door. <laughs> Oopsie, uh oh, Molly, I'm a demon too. I always knew that about you, Daisy. I always knew it about you! Alright, so next is my turn. Molly, can I try again? No. Okay, am I gonna play her the guitar or break it? I'm gonna break it like a rock star! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! That was so ridiculous. Greet your ex or beat him? Um, I'm definitely gonna um just say hi. I mean, I don't need to be violent, right? Wait, he's with a new girlfriend? Oh, I should have hit him over the head with a frying pan. Share your leftovers or dump him. Dump him. Dump him for sure. 
dumping all my leftovers and you're dumped too. You're a terrible boyfriend! I'm definitely gonna be with the demon this time. You've always the demon, Molly. Going with the demon. My turn, Molly! Okay, am I gonna feed my child a save for my... Oh my gosh, of course I'm gonna feed my child. Holy guacamole, that's terrible. Here you go, your little old full bottle, but that's okay. Am I gonna chit-chat with her or make a scene? Make a scene! Uh, Daisy, that means you're gonna fight. Really? Uh-oh, I didn't mean that. Uh, Daisy, you're fighting with her right now. Oopsie! <laughs> we could be friends. Oh no, you don't want to be my friend? Okay, whatever. Should I make him happy or he does not deserve it? I'll make him happy. I'll give him the present. He's probably a pretty good boyfriend. Yay! Okay, wait a minute. Oh! Wait, I died and I'm gonna be with an angel. Oh! The good always wins, Molly. No! Evil wins. That's because you keep playing half of the game. That's no fail. Okay, well, let's just do a complete round by ourselves, and then you can do a complete round. Sounds good, Molly. You go first. Okay, I'm starting a new soul. Here we go. Should I drink the milk or make a fuss? Make a fuss! Make a fuss! Wee! Wee! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. Throwing up. Okay, should I share the candy or throw it? Throw it! Molly, you already know you're gonna be a demon, right? No, I'm not that bad. Here, have this candy. Blah! <laughs> oh boy, Molly, you really are evil. Come on, demon! Let's go have some fun! Your sword is going nowhere good, Molly. Okay, next, should I read the book or be naughty? I actually like, like reading, so I'm going to pick read a book. Oh, look. We, we, I read a book. I got a good grade. Should I throw the rock? Yes, definitely. I'm going to throw the rock. Molly, don't do it. Oh, boy. Oh, Molly. Holy guacamole. Should I work hard or cheat? Um, I don't really want to do either of those, but I'm going to pick cheat. Molly. It's just a game, Daisy. Relax. Let me see what you got on your grade there. Let me see what you got. Maybe she didn't get a good grade either, Molly, and then you cheated off somebody who failed. Yeah, good point. That's always a risk you take if you cheat off people. Let's see what your soul did. Okay, should I marry them or make a divorce? Make a divorce! We're never going to be together. Here's your ring. I don't want it. I want to be greedy with the money, too. Molly, you're just trying to... Oh, cheap was you threw money at them. Okay, I'm going to be respectful. I would not punch. Oh, I went through the wrong door. Oopsie. Oh, I didn't mean to punch you. Seriously. Yeah, sure you didn't, Molly. You're definitely going with the demon. Okay, I pulled. A, I played a full level by myself. And dun, da, 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 definitely a demon. Okay, guys. Do you think I'm going to be a demon or an angel? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to start my new soul now. I'm gonna clean up my room, obviously, duh. Okay, here's the thing. When I get a new toy, like, I don't want to shale, so I'm sorry, but I have to pick don't shale. Oh, my gosh! Ah! Daisy, that was evil. I'm gonna catch the bus, of course. I'd never ditch school. Ah, I'm gonna keep running into that. Oh, no! Look, I had, like, a little demon above my head. What's that mean? It means you're a demon, Daisy. Oh, my God. I got to try harder on the next round. I'm going to be a demon and my soul will be lost forever. I think it's fun to be a demon. <laughs> okay. What would an angel do? Share her leftovers. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Here you go. Creep my ex or beat him. Uh, well, I guess I'll creep my ex. Uh, and I'll be glad that you actually get to hang out with him because he's a loser. Okay, play with her or break it? Oh, play to her. Okay, I'll play to her. La, 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 la. I'm a rock star. Now pick me. I'm an angel, right? Oh, thank goodness. Daisy, it's going to be a hard one to tell if you're an angel or a demon. That's because I learned how to be a demon from you. Okay, I'll give him the present and make him happy. Oh, my gosh, guys. I'm split right down the middle between angel and demon. Of course, I'd feed my child. I already got this question. And also, we're going to start potty training. You're seven years old. Okay, chit-chat with her. Yes, definitely. 
Hi, I'm Daisy, just like the flower. How are you today? Okay, I'm an angel because I talked to you. Daisy, I think you're going to be a demon. Demon, 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 demon. Yeah, Molly, I'm an angel. What? No, it says you're a demon. <laughs> what, this game is so messed up. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe. And um, if you guys like these mobile games, let us know in the comment section below the next one you want us to play. Yeah, and by the way, I'm an angel, not a demon. Sure you are, Daisy. Sure you are. <laughs>
Don't let her do this. It's not fair. Sorry, Molly, but I agree with your mom. You're grounded. No! We're staying off of! <laughs> oh, Molly, I'm very sorry. But you you just you have to you have to do what you say you're going to. You have to get good grades. Can I have some um can I have something delicious? No, you can have something healthy. You're grounded. Oh! How about a yogurt? Can I have that? At least can I have that? Or do I have to starve? Of course you don't have to starve, Molly. You can have a yogurt. You can only have healthy things. No treats. You're grounded. Oh! Mom, can I go swimming in the pool? That sounds like a great idea! Yeah, I'll go! I'll go! Of course you can, Daisy. But I'm sorry, Molly. You're grounded. Oh! This is terrible! I'm just gonna watch you, Daisy. You can watch, but you're not allowed to go swimming, Molly. I hope next time you've learned your lesson and you study for your spelling test. What if I studied and I still got a bad grade? Well, then your mom and I would work with you so you didn't get another bad grade. And that wouldn't be your fault because you actually tried. But did you try this time, Molly? No, I didn't try. And did you promise mom that you would? Yeah, I promised. And do we lie in our family? No, we don't lie. Then now you know why you're grounded. Oh, this is terrible! Ah, this is the life. Just relaxing in the pool, having a great day after school. Could I at least get on the slide, Dad? No, Molly, you're grounded. Oh, Daisy, you get to have all the fun. Actually, Molly, I didn't have any fun last night because I was too busy studying for the spelling test. So this is a well-deserved break. Ooh, I'm gonna get on the slide! Woo! Oh my gosh, is she okay? I have to go in and help her. I have to go in! Molly, get out of the pool! You're grounded! <laughs> that was so fun! Wee! Wee! <laughs> Molly, now you're grounded two days instead of one! Oh, worst day ever! <laughs> well, maybe I'll just play with my cat. They don't want to tell me I can't play with my cat, do they? Mr. Meow's a lot. I'm grounded. It's terrible. Molly, no playing with toys. You're grounded. But it's Mr. Meow's a lot. No, Mr. Meow's a lot until you're ungrounded. Well, what am I supposed to do? You can study. Study? Ugh, yuck. Stay out of trouble, Molly. Okay, I won't get into any trouble. The burly colored unicorn, the burly colored unicorn. The burly colored unicorn, the burly colored unicorn. I love this TV show. Molly, I've got to watch. Hey! Molly, you're not supposed to be watching this. You're grounded. Besides, I want to watch the news. The news? That's so boring! Why can't I watch the brightly colored unicorn? Because, Molly, you're grounded. Oh, can I at least watch the news? Well, Molly, you must be desperate if you want to watch the news. But no, no TV. Oh. Mom, can I have some ice cream? I'm having a terrible day. Molly, no, you can't have ice cream. Besides, it's almost time for dinner. Am I allowed to have dinner? Don't be silly, Molly. Of course you are. Mom, I'm really sorry that I didn't study and I promised you that I would. That's okay, Molly. <sighs> I just hope that you've learned your lesson. School is really important. It is? Well, I don't think so. Except for recess and lunch. Those are pretty important. Molly, school sets you up for success when you're a grown-up. You have to learn these things. You're going to use them every single day. Why? Um, my computer just spells for me. Okay, yeah, but you still need to know how to do it, Molly. It's called being smart. Now, come on. It's time for dinner. Ah! Woo! This book is so good! I love it! Can I at least read a book? Um, that is one thing you could do, Molly. Really? I can read? Yeah, Molly, but you always don't want to. That's not true. I love to read. That is true. Molly does like to read. And yes, that is something you can do to pass the time while you're grounded, Molly. Now, why doesn't everybody say one thing that they're thankful for today? 
Well, I don't have anything to be thankful for because I got grounded. Oh, Molly, there's always something to be thankful for. Why don't you try? Um, uh, skip me, please. Come back to me. Um, I'm thankful that today at work, I won an award. You did, dear? That sounds wonderful. Yeah, I was the best pizza eater of all of lunch. <laughs> uh, that's the award you won, Mom? Best pizza eater at lunch? <laughs> Man, you sound just like me. Yeah, Molly, you'd be surprised. You're just like me in a lot of ways. Well, Mom, I didn't know you could eat that much pizza. That's awesome. Okay, Daisy, why don't you go next? I'm not being thankful because I got a good grade on my test. That's a great one. Okay, Molly, you're next. Um, I'm really struggling here. I don't know. I mean, I'm grounded. What's there to be thankful for? You could be thankful for the lesson that you learned to not lie to mom. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. So grateful for that. Okay, Molly. I guess you get out of this one free this time. But next time you have to think of something you're thankful for. I know something I'm thankful for. What is it, Molly? I'm thankful that I can read books because I might go crazy during this grounding if I couldn't. That's a great one, Molly. Let's see. What am I grateful for? I'm grateful for this delicious smelling cheeseburger I'm about to eat. <laughs> that does sound good, Dad. Okay, everybody, dig in. Um, Dad, you ate all of the hamburgers. I did? Oops, I was really hungry. Oh, man! Excuse me, I have to use the restroom. Do, 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 ba, 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 do, do. Well, today I learned my lesson. Never promise your mom that you'll study and then not do it. You will get grounded and you'll make your mom really sad. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this awesome episode of Happy Roblox Family, guys. Let us know what you thought of it in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel where we put out awesome videos just like this one every day. Molly, I can't wait till you're done being grounded so we can play hide and seek. Yeah, me too, Daisy. Me too. Whoa, look at this place. This beach resort is amazing. I couldn't agree more, Molly. Wow, this is going to be the best vacation ever. Well, it's, it's a little crowded, don't you think? Never! Everybody's coming here because it's so cool, Dad. Everybody wants to have a vacation here. Yeah, Dad, duh. I mean, this is the place to be in Roblox. Hey, w where's Mom? Your mother didn't think this was the place to be. She decided she wanted a vacation by herself. Apparently, being a mom all the time is kind of hard work. Are you serious? She went on a vacation without us? <laughs> Just kidding. She's putting the baby down for a nap in the hotel. <laughs> She'll be out later. Oh, I thought you were serious. Hey, guys, let's go check it out and, and see the beach and stuff. This place looks so cool. Molly, did you just stop and check for cars? Yeah, there's cars at the beach. Duh, you don't want to get run over. Like, oh, hey, I'm on my beach vacation. I've been here for five seconds, and I got run over by a Jeep. That wouldn't be a very good vacation. Okay, she does have a point there, people. This is the nicest sand I've ever been on, seriously. Ooh, is that a boat out there? Oh, my God, someone's drowning! All right, um, I'm not a lifeguard, but I'm a really good swimmer, so maybe I can help out. Just, are you okay? No, I'm drowning! I'm drowning too! Okay, well, let me just help you out. I'm rescuing you. Still rescuing you. Still rescuing you. Okay, I think I rescued you. Yes! That makes me so happy. Okay, guys, let's go and explore under the water. This is snorkeling. Buddy, you need snorkel kill! Oh, my sister is so annoying sometimes. Ow. What is that? Ooh. Oh, wait, I have to come up for air. Oh, my God, I'm drowning! Um, can I rescue myself? Um, guys, I'm having a out-of-body experience. I'm seeing my life flash before me. Hello? Dad! You're, you Dad! Okay, I'm floating on top of the water. That's probably not good. Okay, maybe I can just get some air while I'm up here. Molly! Molly, I'm coming! M Molly, are you drowning? No, I'm already dead! You took so long to get here! Just kidding. 
Uh, that was horrible. Okay, now I'm sinking to the bottom. Dad, uh, do you know how to rescue me? Because if not, I'm about to die. Please, let's not start the beach vacation this way. Okay, Molly, just hold on. Hold on, okay, I got you above the water. You're okay, everything's gonna be fine. Okay, I'm just, I'm rescuing you now. Molly, that was terrifying to have to rescue you. You do know that when you're swimming underwater, you have to come up for air, right? Um, well, I haven't gone swimming in so long because we live where the snow never ends. She has a point, Dad. We do have very long windows. She probably forgot how to swim. Yeah, and you make me go to school every day. It's not like I have time to practice anything except for homework and detention. Oh, Molly. Oh, I'm just saying, if you go back in the water, make sure you can actually swim and come up for air. Yeah, Molly, you definitely need to know how to swim if you're going to go into water. Okay, well, I'm going to try that again without the drowning this time. Daisy, you want to come with me? Sure, Molly. I actually am a very good swimmer. Of course you are, Daisy. You're good at everything. Everybody knows that. Oh, wow. The water is crystal clear today. I want to swim out to Flat Rock. That looks amazing. And guys, look, I think the water is just going to keep getting deeper and deeper as we get farther out. That's what happens, Molly. The water just gets deeper and deeper. And you're going to drown cause, because you're too far out and you can't swim. You literally cannot swim. I can swim. I can swim. See, I'm swimming. I'm swimming. Oh, boy. I think maybe she needs to ride a boat. Whoa, there's an ambulance. You have all the other people who can't swim. I'm going to go get on this boat, guys. I don't know if they'll care or not, but I'm definitely going to get on it. Hey, wait, come back here. I need to go for a ride. Why can I not get out of the water? Ow! I'm <laughs> drowning on the side of the water. That was crazy. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I'm with the lifeguards. Cool. All right. Can we go out to, like, see some things, like dolph dolphins or something? Because I'm on my first vacation of the summer, and I want to see all of it. I don't know where my sister went. She's... Somewhere out there in the water, but it doesn't matter. She's fine. Girls, stick together. Uh-oh, my dad said stick together, and I don't know where my sister is. This vacation is kind of crazy. Get in the back. Whoa, the lifeguards are cray-cray around here. Oh, man, she looks like she's having a horrible vacation. What happened? Did you, Are you having a bad vacation? Is everything okay? Don't even talk to me right now. I'm having the worst day of my life. Oh, man. Daisy, oh, there you are. Hey, Daisy. Hey, Molly, oh, so you didn't tell me that you weren't going out to Flat Rock. I swim all the way out there. Oh, sorry, but I want to go on the boat. But this boat just never seems to move. Oh, wait, there we go. It's moving. Sunset Cruise. Oh, Daisy, you're going to fall off. Be careful. I'm trying not to fall off, but there's not really a seat for me. This vacation is crazy. Yeah, it's because there's so many people on it. Do you guys see any dolphins? There are a lot of people on this island, Molly. I don't see any dolphins. Maybe we'll see a shark, Molly. Jump over the edge and let's find out. Are you serious? Uh, if this is shark-infested waters, that's probably a bad idea. Nonsense, Molly. You're an expert swimmer. <laughs> Not. Oh, whoa, look at we're out on this little island and we crash on it. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. I love going out on this island, though. I don't know. This vacation so far has had good moments and bad. Time to go look at some fishies. Uh, Molly, you just gotta be careful. Remember, you need oxygen. I know, I know. Wow, I don't see a single fish. That usually means there's a shark nearby. Wait, what? Yeah, it scared off all the fishes. That's the way it goes. Holy moly! Um, that sounds terrifying. Molly, it's not a good idea to be swimming after dark. The sharks will be very active then. Okay, going back on the island. Um, how do I get up there? Ah, I can't get out of the water! Daisy, can you give me a hand? Uh, no, Molly. What are you doing, Molly? Get up here. I can't. I just keep going down, down, down. Okay, there we go. Oh, finally got back up onto the island. Uh, Molly, let's get on their boat before they leave us here. And then we'd be stuck. And that would be crazy. Yeah, there's no coconut trees to eat coconuts or anything. Okay, they're saying we are going. Well, wait for us, okay? Don't leave without us. Jeepers. That one lifeguard looks like he was on Castaway. Look at him. He looks like he's been on a deserted island for a really long time. He's got, like, a crazy beard going on. Yeah, and he kind of smells, too. Don't think he's taking a bath in a while. He was probably abandoned on that island. <laughs> oh, man. That's some crazy stuff right there. Molly, where are we going? I think we're going back to the shore. Yeah, we definitely are. The next day. Ah, this is the life. Oh, honey, I'm so glad we got to do some relaxing. And we found that amazing um, kids' daycare at the beach. Ugh, I bet baby Kira's going to love it. Yeah, she gets to hang out and with kids her own age and stuff. Well, you guys get to relax. 
Yeah, it's gonna be great. Seriously, I needed this vacation. Hey, Bali, I found a golf cart. You wanna go with me on it and go for a ride? Yeah, can we, Mom? Can we? Oh, I don't know, girls. Come on, honey. We could use a little bit of just us time. We'll let the girls go have fun. Besides, Daisy's driving, right? Um, of course. I'm the responsible one. Blah, blah, blah. Responsible, responsible. Okay, where's the golf cart? It was just right here. Oh, my God, someone stole it. Okay, this beach vacation has turned into something totally crazy. <sighs> um, all right, maybe we could take this. Molly, that's not ours. Hey, hey, get get out of here. We're going for a ride. No, no, I claimed it first. <laughs> oh my God, we're all fighting over it. I can't even get in the seat. It like won't let me. Come on, Molly. We'll go see if we can find a different one. Okay, let's go see if we can find um a different... Ooh, look at this. We could go on a jet ski. Want to? Molly, that's for the lifeguard. Are you crazy? <laughs> I was just thinking it would be fun. What? Where did you get that rainbow? Ah, uh, well, I just got it for vacation. I want a rainbow. Look like a sparkly unicorn and I didn't get one. Don't be such a grumpy Gus. You want vacation, Molly. <sighs> well, I guess we're not going for a ride in the, um, in the golf cart or anything. Nah, I'll find another one, Molly. Daisy, I found an abandoned golf cart. Okay, I don't know where Daisy went, but I've got a golf cart. Wait, does it run? Okay, there we go. I thought maybe it was broken. That's why someone left it here. Oh, my God. This is fun. Wee! <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. Should I try going up those stairs? Whoa, it's a little bumpy. I don't know where Daisy went. She went to look for a golf cart, but I'm the only one that found one. Oh, my God, guys. Look at that. There is actually a water slide at this place. I didn't even know that. Okay, now I have to go down the water slide. That looks amazing. Hope nobody steals my golf cart while I'm up there. What? You have to go all the way up here on the cliffs, and then you can go down it? Oh, um, gee, you can see the entire island. There you are, Molly. Daisy, look. Oh, my God, this is going to be so much fun. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that was seriously fun. <laughs> oh, man, I've got the hiccups. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. She's got the hiccups. Did you eat a hot dog for breakfast? What? No, ew. Hot dogs always give you hiccups. Yeah, sometimes when I eat um sushi, it does too. I don't know why. Okay, Daisy, <coughs> let's go. Oh, you ran into the golf cart. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Was that Molly I just saw fly by? I thought Daisy was doing the driving. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on with the steering? <coughs> ah! Okay, um, I just got thrown completely okay uh, that was crazy town i don't know how that happened i got in an accident it threw me all the way over here did you guys just hear that sort of sounded like a shark and i'm really really far from the shore oh my god guys i gotta swim really fast really really fast holy macaroni it's one of those fish with those weird light things on the front of its head do you guys see that uh, i don't think they're very friendly i'm gonna swim away and hopefully I don't run into that shark either. Ah! Whoa! There's a shark! Oh my god, guys. I'm in so much trouble right now. That shark looks hungry. He doesn't see me. Oh no, he definitely sees me. Ah! I met a shark on my vacation! Ah! Okay, don't follow me, please. Please. Wait, is he sinking? Is that shark in trouble? Well, at least I'm not in trouble because I don't want to get eaten by a shark! Ah! I don't know if this is the craziest vacation, worst vacation, or coolest vacation. All I know is, is that I'm almost back to shore. Wait, is that whales over there? Oh no, wait, guys, they're not whales at all. They're, they're, they're dolphins. O-M-G. Um, can you guys give me a ride back? Uh, no, no, I think those are orcas. No, the, those are orcas. I should have paid attention in, 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 in into science class because I don't know what that is. Guys, can you tell me? I think that looks like an orca. At first I was like, no, it's a whale. Then I was like, nope, it's a dolphin. But now that I look at it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm up close. It's definitely an orca. What's down here? More whales, guys. But none of them want to seem to eat me. So that's probably a good thing. But I'm going to go back and find my family because right now I am just really hungry for lunch. And I was thinking about maybe I'd have some fish sticks. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you when I get back from my vacation. Bye! Maybe kicking the soccer ball around will make me feel better.
I don't know. I'm just, I'm gonna be so weird at school tomorrow. Everyone's gonna tease me, I just know it. Oh no, there's Sarah. Hurry, sit down before she notices. Oh, look who it is. What? Why are you sitting in the road, Molly? Duh, that's dumb. You're gonna get hit by a car. Um, okay, I I'm just gonna move over here. Uh, Why don't you stand up? Are your legs broken or something? Um, no, I'm just, um, uh, my feet fell asleep. Yeah, and uh, I, I can't stand up. Why are you acting so weird? Um, I I'm not. I'm just sitting in my yard. Why are you bothering me anyway, Sarah? Oh, that's all you do is bother me. Oh, you're not very nice, are you? Oh, look, your soccer ball's running away. <laughs> it's gonna get hit by that bus. What? I spent my allowance on that What? Oh, no! What? Why are you so tall? Do you have, like, bricks in your shoes or something? What? No, I'm not that tall. <laughs> you totally had a growth spur, and now you're taller than everyone else at the school. So what? So? It doesn't matter if I'm taller. <laughs> you look like a total snork. What? What's a snork? <laughs> Google it, loser. Bye. It'll be fun teasing you tomorrow. You tall freak. What? Oh, I just knew that Sarah was going to tease me about being taller than everyone else. <laughs> She's so mean. <laughs> Hey, Molly, did you know that whales... I don't care about whales, but it's an amazing fun fact about whales. I just have to tell you, I'm so excited. Daisy, does my face look like I care about whales right now? You should care about whales. They're amazing creatures that live on our planet. Daisy, just leave me alone, okay? Whoa, something made her awfully grumpy. My life is over. Sarah's going to tell everybody I'm a snork. <laughs> hey, Molly. Oh, Bo, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Oh, but Mom wants us to do chores, and it's your turn to vacuum, so you better get on it. I'm not vacuuming today. I'm having a horrible day. Well, I'm not vacuuming again, Molly. I always do your chores for you, so it's your turn. You need to vacuum. And also, can I tell you about that amazing fact about whales now? No, no, and no! You are the most annoying sister ever. Well, that's kind of rude. Here's the vacuum anyway, so you can stop vacuuming. Molly, you missed a spot. You missed a spot. Daisy, stop telling me I missed a spot. I'm not even done vacuuming yet. Well, usually you miss a lot of spots, and then one of us has to clean up after you. Well, I'm sorry I'm not the perfect vacuumer. Ah, uh, right there, Molly, you missed that spot you already went over. Well, maybe this vacuum is just broken. I mean, if I already went over it and didn't suck up the dirt, then it's the vacuum's fault. Buddy, what has gotten into you today? You're super grumpy. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I want to be left alone. Something made you grumpy, Molly. Wait a minute. Holy guacamole. I can't believe I never noticed this before. What? You had a growth spurt. Don't I know it. Well, I mean, you will be the tallest girl in school. And, um, Daisy, stop talking about how tall I am. But you are, you're tall. Did you know that whales are tall? Daisy, I don't care about whales. You are such a snork. A, a what? What did you just say? A snork. You are a snork, a snork, a snork. <gasps> Wait, what's a snork? It's a... It Google it! It means you're a snork! I, I can't believe you called me a bad word! Mom! Whoa, one of you's crying, one of you looks mad. This can't be good. What is going on here? Molly said a bad word! What? Molly, is this true? I don't know, it depends on what you consider a bad word. I mean, is, is b a bad word? Oh my gosh, Molly, yes, that's a bad word. Don't ever say that again. Um, is b a bad word? Yes! Molly, are these the words you called your sister? No! Mom, she called me the worst word ever. I can't believe she even said it. Okay, well, 
Do you want to tell me what it was? I, I can't say that now, Mom. I can't even say it. Okay, well, stop crying and come whisper it to me. Then I'll be able to tell what Molly, Molly's punishment should be. Punishment? <sighs> this whole day has been a punishment to me. Molly, you, you should really be nice, you. Mom, she caught me a snog. A what? A dork? No, was a snog. <gasps> Molly, you did not call your sister a snork. Wait, what's a snork? Is this some new swear word that I don't know about? Yeah, Google it. I don't have to Google it. If you said it with mean intent to your sister, then it wasn't a nice thing to say. I could even say, Daisy, you're so Daisy. And see, that sounds mean, even though I just said her name was Daisy, basically. Whoa, why is everybody being so mean to me? Oh, no, no, Daisy, I didn't mean it. Okay, Molly, go sit in the timeout chair. What? I'm not four years old. I'm not sitting in the timeout chair. Molly, if you talk to me that way, you're also going to be grounded for a week. Go stand in the corner. Fine. I don't know why Sarah gets to call me a snork. I wasn't even annoying. But when Daisy is annoying and I call her a snork, then I get into trouble. <sighs> Whatever. Standing in the corner is boring. <laughs> Good thing I have my phone in my pocket. Na, 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 na. Ooh, look at this TikTok video. <laughs> oh, man, that is hilarious. Molly, you are in a punishment. You can't have your phone handed over. What? But this is my phone. Not anymore. You're grounded. Oh, man. Molly, turn around. Stand in the corner. Fine. How long do I have to stand here for? Until you decide to not be mean to your sister anymore. Oh, great. I'm going to be standing in the corner for the rest of my life. Hmm. I'm kind of hungry. Good thing I had this bean burrito in my pocket. Mm. That's delicious. It makes time out bearable. Whoa! <laughs> Those beans work fast! Ew! What's that smell? Wait a minute. If it smells like that, it means Molly has eaten a bean burrito. Molly, are you eating a bean burrito? Um, no. Molly, I see you eating the bean burrito. Oh, um, uh, yes? You can't eat a bean burrito in time out. What? I'm not allowed to eat? I'm hungry! No, you can eat. You can't eat anything super delicious. You can only have an apple. This is a punishment. But, Mom, I'm just going to hurry up and eat this bean burrito. Then you can't take it from me. Molly, give me that bean burrito. Mom, you took my bean burrito? Ah! If you're hungry, Molly, you can have an apple. No, I'm not even that hungry anymore. This time out is terrible. Hmm, I've never heard of snork before. I'm just going to have to Google this. I mean, how can I not know a word? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Nothing actually comes up when I type in snork. Molly made up her own swear word? Oh, I'm not sure I can ground her. I mean, it's not actually a bad word. Oh, what do I do as a parent here? I mean, it's not actually a bad word, but she said it kind of mean. Oh, why is my kid so hard to be a parent to? I did the crime, so now I have to do the time. I can't be in timeout anymore. I'm going crazy! Well, Molly, good news is, is I can't actually ground you. Say what? Am I hearing things? I'm not grounded? Seriously? No, turns out snork isn't really a swear word, so uh, you get out of jail free this time. Hot diggity dog! <laughs> I don't have to be punished. Molly, where did you even hear the word snork? Uh, well, Sarah called it to me today, and um, I don't know. It just seemed like something to say when someone really annoys you. Molly, I will not ground you under one condition. You cannot say mean words to your sister, even if you made up the mean word. Well, um, I can promise you for today I won't. Tomorrow's another story. Oh, Molly, oh, why don't you go outside and play? Your mother needs some, you know, downtime. Sure thing, Mom. Thanks for not grounding me. Hey, can I have my bean burrito? Sorry, Molly, I ate it. Oh, figures. What a terrible day. Well, at least I'm not grounded. Woohoo! Sparkles, what are we going to do today? There's so many fun things we 
could do. You want to play with Mr. Kittikinums? <laughs> Isn't he adorable? I love this stuffed animal so much. I've had it since I was a little tiny girl. Oh, and even though I keep growing older and older, I mean, well, I'm not like 80 or anything, but <laughs> even though I keep growing up, I should say, I still love my stuffed animals. Molly, did you know that this math problem in her homework is super hard? Daisy, why are you in my room right now? Uh, because I was asking you about this math problem. No, Daisy, just no. But Molly, how am I ever going to be ready for high school? Um, because the teacher will teach you and then you'll leave junior high and you'll go to high school. I know, but I want to be extra prepared. Daisy, get out of my room! Fine, Molly, cease. Sorry about that interruption, Sparkles. Now we can play a game. Which one should we play? Ping pong. Ooh, Blacksborn. This looks fun. Do, 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 do. Sparkles, you're a unicorn. Do, 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 do. And I love you so much. Do, do, do. You're my best friend. Wow, Molly, you sing really loud and it's kind of bad. Daisy, why are you back in my room and insulting how I sing? Rude. Because I'm your sister, it's my job. See, that singing was much better. Hmm, this painting looks a little weird too. Hey, I painted that of sparkles. Stop it, stop it, you're gonna ruin it. I'm not gonna ruin it, I'm gonna make it look not ugly. It's not ugly, Daisy, take it back. Nope, not taking it back. Fine, Daisy, whatever. I'll just do the painting again. Leave me alone. I'm trying to hang out with my unicorn, duh. Whee! Sparkles, I hope you like to swim. <laughs> Look at, she's got a smile on her face. She loves it. Oh my gosh, she's diving underwater. Oh, now she's floating on her back. Ooh, the pool. I love to go in the pool. Ah, my name is Daisy, just like the flower. Is my sister for real right now? All she's doing today is driving me absolutely insane. Oh, do you have a sister or a brother that drives you insane? O-M-G. I know what I'm going to do, though. This will definitely get rid of her. I'm just going to ignore her. I'm going to ignore her for like 24 hours. She'll get so upset that I'm ignoring her. She'll finally leave me alone. What are you saying, Molly? Can I know? Molly! Molly! Someone talking to me? I don't I don't really hear anything. Sounds like a ghost. Molly, I'm not a ghost, I'm your sister. Ah, nope, didn't hear anything. Molly, you're being so weird right now. What are you doing? Come on, Sparkles! Do 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 Ooh, this looks like the perfect spot just to relax and watch the stars. I was standing on the table, though. <laughs> I just sit down because I was literally standing on the table. What has gotten into my sister? Hey, Molly, I'm over here. Okay, I'm totally ignoring her. Well, it's, this, this is going to drive her crazy. Molly! Okay, we we'll play hide and seek, Molly. Come on, we can play hide and seek. Uh, no, still going to ignore her. I was going to respond, but no, I'm not going to. Molly, obviously you could heal me. You're not 80 years old and deaf. Why are you saying anything? Huh, sounds like someone's talking, but I don't see anybody. Molly, I am not a ghost. Stop pretending I'm not here. Molly, say something. Oh my gosh, my sister is just ignoring me. <gasps> is she doing the ignore me for 24 hours challenge? Nah, she wouldn't do that. Ooh, I'm starving. I could have a snack right now. What should I make? Cookies! That sounds delicious. There's really never a bad time to eat a cookie. Seriously. There's... I, can, I like... I can't even think of one single time ever that it's bad to eat a cookie. You're hungry? And when you get home from school? Cookie sounds good. You wake up? You don't have your favorite cereal? Eat a cookie. Ah, uh, you get a good grade in school? Eat a cookie. Oh man, I failed that test. Eat a cookie. You wake up in the middle of the night and you stumble out into the kitchen and you're starving. Eat a cookie. See, there's never a time when you don't eat a cookie. 
Do 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 do. Oh, my sister's in my room right now, but I'm trying to ignore her because if I say anything, then she wins, and she will not win. Okay, time to bake these delicious cookies, which she can't have any of. Sparkles, you want a chocolate chip cookie? Of course you do. All unicorns love chocolate chip cookies. And eating homework, because they're naughty like that. Woo, is somebody making cookies that smell delicious? I think I'll eat them all. Molly, I said I was going to eat all your cookies. <laughs> Whatever, Molly, I know you're going to be mad if I eat all your cookies. And you can't ignore me, Ted. Do, 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 do. Oh, are the cookies done yet? Oh my goodness, I can't believe she's ignoring me. This is terrible. <laughs> my plan is working perfectly. Now she'll know and realize just how annoying she is. Come on, Sparkles. She's gone. You can totally eat some cookies. Mmm, these look delicious. Mmm. Ooh, cookies! Uh, how am I gonna ignore her? She just took my cookies! I wanna scream right now, but I can't because then she'll know! Did you say something, Molly? Ooh, I can't wait to read your diary! Ah! What, Molly? Did you just scream a little bit? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just go in the living room. Not gonna say anything. Turn on brightly colored unicorn. I at least got to eat one cookie. I'm not giving in. I am ignoring my sister for 24 hours. It's gonna be difficult though. She's really annoying and I just wanna tell her, stop being annoying! The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. <laughs> beep beep, Molly! <laughs> oh my gosh, Daisy! You drove your scooter into the house? <laughs> you stopped ignoring me, do da, do da. Oh my gosh, Daisy. I don't know how anybody can stand living with you as a sister. Literally, I cannot stand living with you as a sister. But at least there's one cookie left that she didn't get, so. <laughs> Even though I didn't win at ignoring her, still get to eat this cookie. Don't eat the last cookie, Molly. Oh yeah, totally gonna. Hey, get that scooter out of my room. No way, Jose. Do, 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 do. O M G. My sister is the most annoying human in the entire world. And by the way, do your stinky laundry, Molly. It smells awful. Fine, I'll do my laundry. But only because Mom said if I did my laundry all week, she'd take me to Chuck E. Cheese. Molly, Chuck E. Cheese is for babies. Yeah, but it's also for awesome people like me. I love Chuck E. Cheese. They have the best pizza in the world. And they have that little, all those little, like, games you can play, like, skee ball and stuff. Ooh, yeah, that is fun. Even if you're a grown-up, that's fun. Yeah, I have to admit, this is super fun. Huh. See, Molly, you're talking to me again. Don't you feel happy? No, I don't feel happy about it at all. Then how come up here it says you're happy? You can't lie if you're happy in Roblox. Oh, man, she knows it. Guess I'm not as annoying as you say I am. Actually, Molly, I think if I just disappeared one day and you didn't have a sister, you would be so sad. No, not true. Yes, it is, Molly. It's true, it's true, it's true, it's true, it's true. Oh, brother, don't tell me you're ignoring me again. Molly, stop it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Molly, I, I'm just going to leave my scooter in your room forever. Molly, going to leave it in here forever. Somebody talking? I didn't hear anything, Sparkles, did you? Molly, seriously, I already won. Fine, you won, but I'm just saying, get that scooter out of my room and stop annoying me. I'm locking the door. You can't lock it, Molly. There's no locks on the doors here. Oh, my gosh. Sparkles, what are we going to do? Can we go live in Unicorn Land with all the other unicorns without Daisy? No, Molly, I go to Unicorn Land, too. Oh... Why does it happen so early? Why? Molly.
Daddy. Oh, today's a brand new day. I can't wait to go to school. Seriously, Daisy, you can't wait to go to school? You are crazy. Insane. Totally psycho. Whatever, Marty. Just because you never do all of your schoolwork doesn't mean that all of us are bad students. I'm not a bad student. Okay, yeah, I can't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> I sort of am. But I'm smart and I like to read and stuff. Yeah, you just don't like homework or tests or any of the work part of school. Um, yeah, duh. Mm, I do like the work of eating the pizza at school, though. Molly, school lunch is not the important subject. It is in my eyes. <laughs> did I forget to do my schoolwork? Oh, man, I hope I did it all. I hope I did it all. I'm really trying to turn over a new leaf. Okay, math homework check. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait, I did that. Yes! I actually wrote my school paper for a minute. I thought I forgot to, but nope, totally didn't. I'm going to go have some breakfast. <laughs> Uh, Dad, why is your head stuck in the oven right now? <laughs> That's a funny one, Molly. <laughs> um, well, your dad is fixing the oven. Hold on, I almost got it. Oh, man. Does that mean we can't have any pancakes today? I think I fixed it. Oh, um, what's that smell? Ew, Dad, did you fart? No, I think the oven's on fire. <laughs> ah, abandoned ship. Just kidding, I think it's gonna be okay. Oh, Dad, seriously. <laughs> you really freaked me out there. Where's Daisy? Daisy! Just making sure all of my T's are crossed and my eyes are dotted for my schoolwork. Wait a minute. What's this? There was a school paper due today? How did I miss this? Oh, my God. This is terrible news. Oh, my God. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Okay. What would Marley do? She always is terrible about doing your homework, and, 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 and I can't fail, so maybe I'll use her as an example. I know what she'd do. She'd fake being sick. That's how I can get out of this. I I don't feel good. Achoo! <coughs> yeah, that seems really believable. Daisy? Daisy, where are you? Da Daisy? What, what's going on? Oh, Molly. Achoo! I'm sick. You just got out of bed five minutes ago and said you felt great. I know, but it just hit me that quick. Sometimes the flu does that. Holy guacamole. You have the flu? Stay back, Daisy. Stay back. Marty, I'm laying in bed. You stay back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I have my mask on because I do not want to catch what you've got. Girls, uh, what are you doing? You're going to be late for... <gasps> Molly, why are you wearing a mask? Is everything okay? No! Mom, put on your mask! Wear your hazmat suit! What? Why? Because Daisy's come down with something! What? Oh, no. Daisy, are you okay? No, Mom. I feel terrible. I can't go to school. You better put on your mask. Oh, don't worry. I have a really high immunity. I'll be fine. I've caught every childhood bug from, well, going to school for so many years. No, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. It's going to be okay. I'm sure it's just a little sniffle. Yeah, probably, but <coughs> I think I need a popsicle. Okay, Daisy. Well, I'll call the school and tell them you won't be in today. Thank you. Can I stay home too, Mom? I want a popsicle. Absolutely not, Molly. Get ready for school. Oh, man. Woohoo! My fib worked. And now I won't get detention. And now I won't get detention. Daisy, we didn't have any popsicles, but we did have ice cream. Daisy, why are you dancing? Oh, um, no, 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 no reason. It just helps me to feel a little better. Are you crazy? You need to get in bed. You're sick. Here, I brought you some ice cream. I only licked it about mm, ten times. Ew, Molly, it's all over your mask. <laughs> Oopsie. Well, I've got to get to school. Feel better, Daisy. Thanks, Molly. That was strange that she was out of bed dancing. Who does that when they're sick with the flu? Hmm. Seems kind of suspicious to me. Hello, Brookhaven. Hi, how may I help you? Oh, hi. I'd like to be connected to Mrs. Smith. 
Oh, you're speaking to Mrs. Smith. I'm filling in this morning for the principal until school starts. Oh, hi, Mrs. Smith. Um, this is Laura, Molly and Daisy's mom. Oh, hello. Is this about Molly again? Oh, no. Actually, today it's about Daisy. Oh, no. What happened to my prize student? Well, she's come down with the flu bug. Oh, I see. Well, I would still like her to send over her paper that's due today, please. Oh, sure, no problem. Uh, I think I could have my daughter Molly send it over. Okay, if Molly can figure it out. Hey, I can figure it out! Mrs. Smith, you're so rude. Thanks for understanding, Mrs. Smith. Tell my most prized student, Daisy, that I hope she feels better. I will, Mrs. Smith. Bye. Okay, Molly, uh, did you hear what she said? Yeah, I was eavesdropping on the whole conversation. <laughs> Why don't you go onto Daisy's school portal and send over her paper? Okay, will do. Just gotta go get Daisy's computer. Okay, logging in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey. Where's Daisy's paper? It's not in her homework file. Weird. Maybe I can check over here. No, no. Oh my gosh! Daisy's paper is missing! Okay, I better go ask Daisy about it. Daisy! Daisy! What, Molly? Can't you see I'm relaxing? <coughs> Very sick over here. Daisy, I I'm on your computer. What? Why are you on my computer right now? Wh what are you doing? Um, well, Mom called the school. Mrs. Smith answered. Why did she answer? Um, because she's filling in for the principal till school starts. Oh, okay. Well, why do you have my computer again? Because Ms Mrs. Smith said you had a paper due today. And she still wanted you to send it in, even though you were sick. What? That's never happened. Well, maybe because she answered the phone for the principal so she could tell mom that. Anyway, I can't find it in your school folder on your computer, and I'm trying to send it over for you. Um, uh, <coughs> too sick. I, I, I can't fix it. Daisy, you need to send this paper over. Your teacher's asking for it. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is bad. It's so bad. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Daisy, why are you freaking out? Just tell me what's going on. I, I, I can't, Molly. It's, it's so horrible. It's humiliating. Daisy, tell me what's going on. I don't have time for this. I'm going to be late for the school bus. I, I, I didn't do the paper. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at, Molly? Stop it. <laughs> I'm dead. My stomach hurts. Stomach can be laugh. Molly! What, what is going on in here? I heard a huge thump. Oh, well, that was just me. I was laughing so hard it fell on the floor. Daisy, why are you out of bed? Molly, I told you to send Daisy's paper over to Mrs. Smith. <laughs> yeah, Daisy. Why don't you tell Mom what you're out doing out of bed? <laughs> I think I figured it out. Uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm really sick. Yeah, uh, I'm sure she believes that. What is going on here, girls? I'm starting to get frustrated with you both. Molly, you're going to be late for school. Now send that paper. I would love to send that paper, Mom. See if you can find it on Daisy's computer. What are you talking about? You can't find it because Daisy didn't do it. What? Uh, that's not true. I just <coughs> couldn't really work on it too much because I was <coughs> dying from this sickness. <laughs> she didn't do it. Now she's faking being sick. I know, because I've pulled this prank a million times. What? You have? Well, not a million, but maybe once or twice. Molly! I should ground you! No, you can't ground me after the fact. <laughs> I already did it. Daisy, is this true? Are you faking being sick? Yeah, Daisy, are you faking being sick? Huh? 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 Of course not! I'm a goody two-shoes. I would never do such a thing. Why isn't your paper done then? And why don't you want to go to school? Uh, because I'm sick? Molly, I don't really think your sister is faking it, but why didn't you do your paper, Daisy? Yeah, Daisy. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I confess to the whole thing. I faked being sick, so I didn't have to go to school and get detention because I forgot to do my paper. <gasps> Daisy. Oh, my gosh. You're grounded. What? Me? Oh, my God. This is gold. Molly, be quiet, or you're gonna have... 
Ah, uh, grounding forever. What? That seems a little harsh since I actually did my paper. I mean, it might stink, but I actually did it. Yeah, you're right, Molly, but don't teach your sister. Okay, can I at least stand here and watch? Karma's so beautiful. Molly! <laughs> Daisy can trust you have to face the music. What? You gonna make me go and get detention? Absolutely, Daisy. Absolutely. Ah. <laughs> Welcome to detention. <laughs> on the board a million times. I am the worst student ever. <laughs> Psst, Brookie, Brookie. Molly, shh. We're going to get detention if you keep talking to me. Would you two be quiet? I'm trying to understand what's going on here. Daisy, shh. Jeepers, you're bringing too much attention to us. Brookie, I have to ask you something. Okay, Molly, what is it? But seriously, don't get us in trouble. I don't want detention. Brookie, do you want to come over for a sleepover tonight? Whoa, that sounds like so much fun. What are we going to do? We'll play some games. We'll maybe swim in my pool. Um, We'll eat popcorn and watch movies. Oh, M. G. That sounds like so much fun. Can we watch Halloween movies since it's getting so close to Halloween? Yeah, of course. We can watch Hocus Pocus, my favorite. What? Are they seriously planning a sleepover? Ugh, I never get invited to a sleepover, and I love Hocus Pocus. Did you just hear Sarah talking? Not really. She's over there in the other part of the room. She kind of talks to herself sometimes. Yeah, none of her friends are in this class, so... Excuse me, Molly, would you like to share what you have uh, to say with Brookie, with the whole class? Yeah, Molly. Oh, Daisy, you're such a teacher's pet. No, thank you, Mr. Smith. And Brookie, I'll see you uh, like an hour after school. Sounds good, Molly. It's Friday night, and I'm feeling all right. Do -do -do Friday night, and I'm feeling all right. Molly, what has gotten into you? Oh, yeah, cue some dance music here. Kill some dance music! <laughs> Molly, you look ridiculous! What have you gone crazy? Crazy for Friday night! Having a sleepover! Having a sleepover! Wait, what? A sleepover? Really? Yep, and Brookie's here right about now. Brookie, I'm coming! I'm gonna dance my way to the door. Brookie, what are you doing? Oh, it's just seeing if you had a doorbell. I couldn't remember. <laughs> you just can knock. Come on in. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. My sister's dancing so bad. Hey, Daisy, are you going to be here for the sleepover too? No, no, she's not. Yes, I am, Molly, and stop dancing and singing. You wonder why you're not invited to the sleepover. It's because you take the joy out of things, Daisy. You suck the life out of them. Molly, that's not very nice. Daisy's my friend, too. Of course I want her to be at the sleepover. Oh, fine. See, Molly, everyone loves me. You should, too. Okay, well, um, the first thing we could do is, like, turn on the movie that we want to watch. Hocus Pocus! Yeah, that's not on for another, like, 30 minutes, though. Till then, we can watch this dog smiling. <laughs> um, well, I just put my bag upstairs, so, um, we can totally chill out. Yeah, let's chill out. We could veg out. I heard my mom say that the other day. She's so 90s. Where's the sleepover? Oh, here it is. Who's in my house? Ah! Sarah, what, what are you doing here? I'm here for the sleepover, duh. Um, uh. Molly, you invited the bully to a sleepover? What were you thinking? I didn't invite her. Oh, that's kind of rude. Yeah, totally. You're talking about it in my class. Actually, it wasn't just your class. We were all there. And I didn't think you wanted to be our friend since you call us losers and bully us all the time. Well, I want to be at the sleepover, so I'm going to stay. Uh, uh. Brookie, should we let Sarah stay? 
Well, I'm not sure we really have a choice. I mean, here she is, and it's getting late, and, well, she packed a bag and everything. Ugh, okay. Sarah, but no calling us a loser and no bullying us. Okay, but I can still boss you around, right? Uh, no. Oh, great. I'm glad to hear you say yes. Well, I want to play truth or dare. What? Truth or dare? Um, I think that might be a bad idea. I've heard things go very wrong with that game. Yeah, like you tell somebody a truth you didn't want them to know. Or you break a leg doing one of the deals. Yeah, we're not playing truth or dare. Yes, we are. I'm the oldest here, and I make the rules because of it. Um, uh, well, she has a point. She is the oldest, Molly. What do we do to play this game, Sarah? Is it like Jumanji? Are we all going to get sucked into this other world, and then, 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 then there's going to be elephants, and oh, my God. Uh, no, Brookie. Truth or dare is nothing like Jumanji. Oh, okay, good. But it can be dangerous. Everyone, sit in a circle and be quiet. Okay, fine, bossy. And hello, who's going to valet this bag of mine? What? Take care of your own bag, Sarah. Uh, no, I don't think so. Thanks, Daisy. Ay, ay, ay. How do I get roped into this stuff? Okay, we're all in a circle. Now what? Now someone says truth or dare. Shh! I'm in charge here because I'm the oldest and I've played truth or dare before. Wow, I bet she's played spin the bottle too. Whatever. Anyway... I'm going to ask whoever I want, truth or dare. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I have some questions, though. What do we say? Duh, you say either you want a truth or a dare. Ugh, just pay attention. Okay, whatever. Don't be so grumpy at my sleepover. Okay, Brookie, truth or dare? Um, uh, uh, truth. Perfect. Is it true? That you wrote a note once to Daisy saying how mad you were at Molly? Uh, um, well, that was like two years ago, and 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 and, 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 and it was just a big misunderstanding, and 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 and, and, and. What? But you're my best friend. How could you say that? <laughs> this game's gonna be really fun. Sit down, Brookie. It's your turn. Molly, I didn't mean it. I I I, I take every word back. You feel like a traitor to me. I'm, I, I'm sorry, Molly, please. Okay, fine, I guess I'll let that go. Um, Daisy, truth or dare? Um, I choose truth. Okay, um, do you like mint ice cream better or chocolate? What? That's such a lame question. Hey, it's her turn. She can ask whatever she wants. Um, actually, I would like chocolate better. Okay, fine, whatever. It's your turn, Daisy. Sarah. Truth or dare? Um, truth. Okay, um, why did you come to this sleepover? What? You can't ask me that. Actually, yes, she can. Because <laughs> you picked truth. And you have to tell the truth. It's part of the rules. Whatever. Okay, but this doesn't leave this room. Of course not, Sarah. We would never dream of that. I, I came to this sleepover because I was lonely. And I... Wanted to have some friends. Oh, that's sad. If you'd be nicer to us, we'd be a friend all the time. I don't want to friend you all the time. Just when my friends are out of town. Because they went to Disney without me. Ouch. <laughs> Maybe you should stop bullying them too. Anyway. Truth or dare, Molly. Um, dare. <laughs> I dare you. Jump off the balcony into the hot tub. What? That's against my parents' rules. She could get really hurt doing that. I don't care. It's a dare and you have to do it. It's okay, Daisy. I'll be fine. Only I think this is a bad idea. She could go home. What? No, I'm not. I want to be here. Okay, I'm going to do it. Molly, please don't. You don't have to take the dare. Actually, yes, she does or she loses the game. Okay, here I go. Okay, guys. All right, here we go. Whoa! Molly? Oh, my gosh. Molly got hurt and her head's under the water. I have to get her out. Molly! Molly! Oh, my God. She's drowning. Help! I got her. I got her. Oh, my gosh. Someone call 911. Truth or dare. Gone wrong. Oh, my God. I'm sure she'll be fine. Where's my cell phone? I've got to call 911. 
Oh my god, Molly, hold on! Hold on! She's fading! I think she's turning into a ghost! Molly? Molly! 911, what's your emergency? My sister took a dare and chewed the dare and she fell in the hot tub and she turned into a ghost and she's dead! Oh, well, um, then we really can't help you if she's already dead. What? You have to bring her back to life! I can't do that. Um, she's already dead. Sorry. What? They just hung up on me? Holy guacamole. Brookhaven 911 stinks. One star! Well, <laughs> this has been fun, but, um, I think I should probably go now. When do you get back here? Sarah! Oh my gosh. Molly's a ghost! What, 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 what happened? Molly, can you hear us? Yeah, can can you hear me? I can't see her anymore, Daisy. She's really gone to the other side. You can't, Bucky? Wait a minute. I can't see you either. Molly! Molly! What? What happened to me? How come I can walk right through Daisy? Oh my god! Did I die when I did that dare? I can walk through Brookie too! Oh my god! My sister died playing Truth or Dare! <laughs> what? I died playing Truth or Dare? O-M-G! She is for ghosts, by the way. Hey Luke, when are you gonna be home for dinner? Oh, hey, Mom. Um, I'm going to be a little late tonight because um, I got a call and the fire station is looking for volunteers to help feed the homeless and, and they're giving them out free like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and chips and stuff. So is it okay if I go over there? Oh, sure, Luke. That sounds amazing. Wow. Luke actually volunteers to help the homeless? Ah, he's the best guy ever. Okay, honey. Well, I'll see you when you get home. Bye. Bye, Mom. Uh, hey Luke, I couldn't help but hear you talking to your mom about, um, how you were gonna go help over at the, at the fire station. Uh, I, I would love to come help you. Oh, you would? Wow, Molly, that's great that you want to volunteer. Yeah, I have a heart of gold. Well, we have to leave right now. Do you want to ride? Yeah, I'd love to ride in your new car. It's amazing. Wow. <laughs> your family must have a ton of money. Yeah, but money's not that important to me, Molly. Helping people is so cool. Ah, you really do have a heart of gold. I try, Molly. I'm not perfect, but I like to consider myself a good person. Me too, Luke. Me too. You want to listen to some great music? I sure do. Let's do this. <laughs> I love this song. Me too. Wow. We have a lot in common, Molly. Yeah, I know. We really do. What? Why are we at the cemetery? Oh no, I'm just parking here because I don't want to be in the way of the fire trucks in case there's an actual fire. Oh, good point. Okay, where's all the homeless people? Don't worry, they'll be here soon enough. <sighs> they really need these peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. They sometimes go days without snacks or food. Wow, that's terrible. Makes me really appreciate everything that I have. Oh, hi. I'm really hungry. I need something to eat. Oh, no problem, miss. I've got peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, Lay's potato chips, and also you can have an orange or an apple. Which do you prefer? Well, my teeth aren't so good anymore, so an orange is way too crunchy. Um, I'll, I mean, an apple's too crunchy. I'll have an orange. Sorry, I'm not thinking quite straight. I haven't eaten in three days. Three days? Jiminy Cricket! I'd be lying on the ground if I hadn't eaten a cupcake in three days. Molly, try not to say mean things. Oh, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying, that's a long time to go without any sandwiches or fruit or anything. I'm so sorry you're going through this. How can I help you? Wow, Molly's a great person. I really like her. You do? Wow, it seems like you two are the best of friends and you should probably be dating. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, uh. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> um, I'm not sure about that, but I mean, Luke, you are pretty amazing. You are too, Molly. What? She has a crush on Luke? I have a crush on Luke. I have to do something to destroy this. Oh, look, there goes Sarah. Sarah! Oh, don't bother. She's probably got her own agenda. 
So, uh, Molly, do you want to ride home? Yeah, as soon as we finish up here. That sounds amazing. I'd love a ride home. See what I mean? You two belong together. <laughs> Thanks for the sandwich! <laughs> Either she's a singer, or she went a little crazy over the PB&J. <laughs> Time to ruin Molly and Luke's new special relationship. Ugh, makes me want to barf. Dear Molly, you are ugly and dumb, and I'd never go out with you in a million years. Love, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> now I just have to deliver this to Molly's house and boom, it'll all blow up in their faces. La 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 la, I'm so happy. Molly, what has gotten into you? Oh my God, two bunnies are kissing. That's adorable. Love is the best, love is the best. I love love. Molly, what on earth has gotten into you? What do you mean? Everything is beautiful. You're singing like a lunatic, seriously. Ooh, I was so excited I farted. <laughs> Ew, Molly, gross. Now seriously, what's gotten into you? Besides the bean burrito I ate for lunch? <laughs> oh, brother, yes, besides that. Um, well, Luke likes me. He likes me. He really, really likes me. Oh my god, you have a crush on Luke! And turns out, he has a crush on me too. Our relationship is going amazing. It is? How long have you been going out? Um, about... Well, we haven't actually officially said we're going out yet. Oh, so you're not even boyfriend and girlfriend yet? No, but we're gonna be. It's gonna be amazing. I've loved Luke since kindergarten, if I'm being honest. Who could that be? I bet it's Luke. It's Luke. He can't be away from me more than, than for more than like 30 minutes. Oh, hello. Uh, why are you saying that like you didn't know you came to my door, Sarah? I, I just, I wasn't, yeah, okay, yeah, I knew I was coming here, but I'm always disappointed to see you. Um, okay, thanks. Come in, I guess. I have this special delivery from Luke for you. Seriously? He, like, had you bring me an old-fashioned letter? Guacamole, that is, that is the sweetest thing ever! Yeah, um, open it. I, I want to see what he has to say. Wow, never took you as a hopeless romantic, Sarah. Dear Molly. Huh, just the way it's written there. Molly. Molly, he just said your name. Yeah, I know. He said my name! Okay, whatever. Just read the letter. You are ugly and dumb? <laughs> and I would never go out with you? Luke? What? Oh, wow. Guess it's not a happy ever after, after all. <laughs> Sarah, get out of my house! Whoa, Molly, chill out. Well, she's being so rude to me about it. I mean, Luke and I, we're meant to be together. I don't think so. Pretty sure that's not the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> I can't believe this. Oh, Molly, it'll be okay. There's lots of fish in the sea, so they say. I don't want any other fish. I only want the Luke fish. <laughs> Maybe I just read it wrong. Maybe if I turn the letter upside down, it, it reads that I'm beautiful and he thinks I'm super smart and amazing. Okay, uh, no, it's just hard to read upside down. It does say I'm dumb and ugly. <laughs> That's it. I don't want this heart. This heart is painful. <laughs> Goodbye, heart. I'm flushing you down the toilet. Ugh, why won't you fix, fit down the toilet? Oh, you annoying box. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll just throw it over here in the corner. I don't want to have this heart. I don't want it. I don't want it. These Reese cups are pretty good, I guess. Molly, you're eating all the Reese's. We were supposed to share those. We got those for Easter. I don't care what you want. Whoa, Molly, what's gotten into you? Did you bonk your head? Don't talk to me that way. It's rude. You're such a nice sister most of the time. I don't care what you think of me. I don't care what you want. And I don't care if I eat your Easter candy. Oh. Bye. Oh. Molly, what's gotten into you? Molly. 
Okay class, today we're going to be learning about the love sonnets from William Shakespeare. What's that crunching sound? Molly, you know there's no snacks in class, especially loud crunchy Doritos. I don't really care what you want. Molly, that's not appropriate to talk to your teacher that way. It's disrespectful. I don't care. I'm eating these Doritos. Molly. I worked very hard on this for you guys. I think you're gonna really like this lesson, especially since you have a crush on. Don't even say his name. I don't wanna hear it. And I don't care about love sonnets. I don't care about this school and I don't care about anything. Molly, uh, you're leaving me no choice but get to give you detention. Uh-huh, whatever. Can't hear you over my crunching. Mm. Delicious. What on earth has gotten into Molly? She's acting so strangely. This is not the sister I know. I mean, she can be a brat and a real pain sometimes, but she's not cruel. What happened to her heart? I, I feel like she stuck it in a box somewhere and forgot about it. Wait, something tells me that's exactly what she would have done. After she read that horrible note from Luke, she would have just taken her heart and and stored it away and tried not to feel those horrible emotions. Good thing I have this heart detector that I built in my science lab. <laughs> I really do think of everything. Wait, why is it pointing me towards the bathroom? <laughs> why am I going into the bathroom? I said heart detector, not thought detector. Molly's heart? I knew she locked her heart away in a box never to feel her emotions ever again. Oh, Molly, why did you do this to yourself? Hey, where did you find that? Apparently you were trying to flush your heart down the toilet. I don't need a heart. Hearts are evil. They, they make you feel pain. Well, that's true, Molly. Everyone experiences pain at some point in their lives. But to just lock your heart away is, well, it's, it's sad. I don't care. I don't care about anything. Molly, listen. You also can't feel joy, or happiness, or laughter, or fun. What? Yes, I can. Look at me. I'm super happy. Molly, look at your face. You're practically a zombie. Well, I guess you have a point. Molly, this is not who you are. Really and truly, you're a good person. You have a heart of gold. And just because Luke broke it, doesn't mean that you should give up on life. Well, I guess you sort of have a point now come on molly let's restore your heart back to your spirit whoa my heart it's back oh i missed it so much except for that pain oh luke molly try not to think of those things as much maybe think about the fun things the happy things and well you could deal with the pain a little bit at a time. Yeah, I guess. I should have never locked my heart away, but this letter really hurt my feelings. Wait a minute, Molly. That doesn't look like Luke's handwriting. Sometimes I help the teacher grade homework. Luke has way sloppier handwriting than that. That looks like Sarah's handwriting. Wait, what? Sarah wrote me a fake letter from Luke? Why? Only one reason, Molly, to destroy your happiness. Are you gonna let her? No way! I'm keeping my heart for good! Even if it hurts sometimes. Good choice, Molly. Good choice. Where did I put my math book? Where's my math book? Oh wait, there it is. <laughs> it was right in front of my face. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Molly! Oh, hey, Molly, what are you doing? Um, I'm just getting my math book. Why, so you could feed it to your unicorn? <laughs> I know unicorns like to eat homework. Do you want to go inside in my bikes? It's a beautiful day outside. Spring has arrived! Sorry, Daisy, can't. I have to do my homework. Say what? You're going to do your homework? Oh, my gosh. Who are you? What have you done with Molly? No, seriously. I don't want to have to repeat this grade, so... I better get it in gear because school year's almost over. True, Molly, true. You can still pull this off and get some passing grades. I know you can. I can do better than passing. I'm too smart for just passing. 
I'm gonna get at least bees. Well, that's a pretty good start, Molly. Now I just have to find my notebook and some paper and pencils. Mm-hmm. Wait, where'd they go? Maybe I left them over here on my nightstand. Oh, no! Oh, man! I can't find any! Ugh, I wonder if my mom has any. She's always, like, got stuff, like, in her room or whatever. Wait, wrong room. I'm lost right now. <laughs> okay, I went into um, baby Kira's room. I don't know why. Uh, maybe on her dresser? No. Nightstand? No. <gasps> I know! She probably locked it in the safe thinking I'm gonna steal her paper and her pencils. And she is right! <laughs> Whoa! Mom's got stacks of cash in here! Stacks of cash! Stacks of cash! I wish these were my stacks of cash. Seriously. Oh wait, what's that? Paper! Okay, score. I found some paper, but I need to find some pencils. Wait, somebody already wrote on this paper. What is this? Thank you for adopting Molly? Adopting Molly? What are they talking about adopting Molly? You are now the proud mother of Molly? Oh my gosh! I'm adopted? Why didn't my parents tell me this? I, I, I didn't know I was adopted. They lied to me! That's it. I can't stay here. I, I have to go find, I don't know, somewhere else to live. They kept the truth from me. I don't belong here. I'm adopted. <laughs> I, I, I just, I don't understand why they didn't tell me the truth. <laughs> Molly, Molly, where are you? Oh, there you are, Molly. I made some delicious chocolate chip cookies. Since you were doing your homework, I thought I would be nice. Would you like some? No, I don't need anything from you. You're not even my sister. Molly, what are you talking about? You're being really weird. Why do you have that bag? Because I'm running away from home. Now get out of my way. Molly, what's going on? Molly, talk to me. I don't need to talk to you. You're not even my real sister. Molly, stop it. Come back here right now. No, get out of the elevator. Fine, Molly, I'll go down first. But tell me what's going on. No, I'm not going to tell you. Don't ever try to find me. You're not my real family. Oh my gosh, I have to call mom. Something really bad is happening with Molly. Hi, Daisy. What is it, honey? I'm at work. I'm sorry to call you, Mom, but I have an emergency. Okay, what is it, Daisy? What's wrong? It's Molly. She ran away from home. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Why, why is she running away from home? I don't know. She said we weren't her real family, and I wasn't her real sister, and she had to go. What is she talking about? I don't know, Mom, but I, I think you better try to find her. Don't worry, Daisy. I'll handle this. Thanks, Mom. I'm worried. It's going to be okay, Daisy. It's going to be okay. My whole life has been a lie. I don't want to be around those people anymore. They would have told me if I was adopted. It's just wrong. It's so wrong. Okay, where's that tent I packed? Oh, I hope it's warm enough inside the tent. I'm sure it will be. I can do this. I, I, I got my Girl Scout Wilderness badge. I'll put it right here next to the dumpster. Then I also have somewhere to eat breakfast. <laughs> Just my luck, it would start raining. Oh, I hope this tent doesn't leak. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows, cause I'm abandoned. Well, I'm not really abandoned. I sort of decided to come out here on my own. But I'm adopted and no one told me. Nobody knows. The trouble I've seen. What? What's my mom doing here? Oh my gosh, and I can't even run away because it's pouring outside. Molly? Molly! Oh, there you are. I was so worried. What are you doing? Why did you run away from home? I think you know, don't you? Um, no. I have no idea, but I love you, and we can work it out. I ran away because of what I found in the safe. Wait, you stole all our money and now you're going to go live on a tropical island? No, but if we have enough money to live on a tropical island, why aren't we doing it? Molly, our life is here in Brookhaven. <laughs> why? I mean, we could live on a tropical island. Okay, not the point. All right, uh, just tell me what's going on. No, I don't need to talk to you. You're not my mom. Molly, that is very hurtful. 
Why would you say that? Because look what I found in the safe. What? What is it? It's, it's adoption paperwork for Molly, you know, me, your daughter. Why did you lie to me all these years? Oh my goodness, Molly. <laughs> Mom, what are you laughing for? This is exactly why I ran away. Molly, come here, honey. I want to tell you something. Even if you were adopted, you would be very loved. Just because you're adopted doesn't mean you're not loved. You would be my daughter no matter what. But you're not adopted. Liar! That's what this paperwork says! Molly, let me tell you a story. Can you stay calm until my story is over? Yeah, I guess. Once upon a time, I had a dog. Oh my gosh, you're such a good girl. I'm so glad I adopted you, my sweet little puppy. Ah, you look like a Molly. Now should we go for a walk, Molly, or just sit here at the park? Ruff, 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 ruff. Okay, a uh, walk it is. <laughs> come on, girl, come on, Molly. Oh, you're such a sweet dog. Um, okay, you had a dog named Molly. What does that have to do with my adoption? I mean, all that says is that you're not very creative with coming up with different names. Um, Molly, no, that's not the end of the story. You see, Molly was a good dog. She lived about 12 years, but then it was time for her to cross the Rainbow Bridge. What's the Rainbow, Rainbow Bridge? It means when your dog dies. Whoa, your dog died? Well, I don't have a dog named Molly anymore, do I? No, but again, can't you come up with any other names besides Molly? Surprised you came up with Daisy. Okay, look, Molly was such a special dog to me. I had her during college and when I was young and when I was lonely sometimes when I was away at college, she was my best friend. And so when I gave birth to you, Molly, I named you after her. Wait, what? You named me after your dog? I'm not sure if I should be offended or happy with this. Well, since she was the world's most amazing dog, you should definitely be happy about it. She holds a very special place in my heart, as do you. Okay, but that doesn't explain why you have this adoption paper. Molly, read the fine print. Thank you for adopting your new dog, Molly? Wait, this is a dog adoption paper? Yeah, I kept it because... It just reminded me of Molly. Oh, Mom, I'm so sorry. I, I thought this was an adoption paper for me. Nope, it was for my dog, Molly. I've just kept it all these years. <laughs> now, where do you say we pack up this tent and go home? Oh my gosh, Mom, I feel so bad. It's okay. When we get home, you can make me some chocolate chip cookies. Ah, uh, too late. Daisy already did. Well, then you can scoop the ice cream on top. Ooh, now you're talking my language. Should we have peanut butter ice cream or vanilla? I say both. Now, come on, honey. Let's go home. Okay, Mom, but tell me the truth. Daisy's definitely adopted, right? No, Molly. Daisy's not adopted. I really think she is. You don't have to lie to me about this. Molly? <laughs> There's no way she really is related to us. I hate to break it to you, Molly, but Daisy's your actual sister. Oh, man. Today's my first day of my summer job. Can you guys guess what my summer job is? <laughs> That's right, I'm gonna work with the police. Well, as a junior cadet, that is. I'm not really a real police officer until I go through police academy, but I did get a job right here at Brookhaven Police Department. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, you must be our new recruit, Molly. Are you here for your summer job? That's right. Um, typically we do not jump over the counter. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just ate a lot of cupcakes this morning and I have a little bit of extra sugar energy. No problem. Around here we drink coffee every morning and then we eat donuts and then we take a nap. Really? That's what my job is? Yeah, and you can also uh, take 911 calls here and there, but this is Brookhaven. Nothing super interesting happens. Would you like a donut? No, I already had a bunch of cupcakes for breakfast. Okay. Oh, I'm super tired, so oh, I'm going to go take a little bit of a nap. 
Really? Yeah, if there's a 911 call and it's a true emergency, come wake me up. Oh my gosh, this isn't the summer job that I thought I'd have. I thought I'd be busting criminals, cracking open cases that no one else can solve. Molly's on the case. But all I'm doing is staring at the wall and listening to the police officer snore. Wow, she snores really loud. Hmm. I feel like I could be of better service if I could actually crack a case. Let's get into the database and see if anything has happened lately. What's this? Looks like on the police surveillance for the bank, it, it looks like someone's trying to break into the ATM? That's it. I have to take the police car and head over there. I don't think the police officer will mind. She's fast asleep. Whoa! I'm actually driving an official police car! This is amazing! How do I turn on the lights? <laughs> I have to try to figure that out. Maybe I should actually not turn them on because if I do, then then the um the criminal will know I'm on my way. Ugh, I can't drive very good! Did I mention I may have not gotten my driver's license? Oopsie! There's the criminal now! Hey! Freeze! What? What's happening? What's happening is you're getting busted there, Scarface Cash Grabber! <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> that was your name for me? Yeah, well, I think it's a pretty good one. Actually, my name is Adam Robber. Ah! Ah, you sprayed me in the eyes! Huh? I can't see anything! Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Adam Robber? Seriously, that's your name, Adam Robber? I wonder if there's anything I could steal out of this police car. I hear you! I hear... What? Okay, you're... Ah, you're gonna run me over! What? How are you in the same car as me? Get out! I, can't, I couldn't see where I was going, okay? It's not like I wanted to ride with you. But, uh, get out of the car! I'm trying to rob this! Seriously, is your last name really Robber? It was like you were destined to be a criminal. Hey! Wh where are you going? Get back here! I'm stealing this car and I'm getting out of here, of course. Holy fuck, I'm only your worst driver than I am. Come back here, cash grabber! Cash grabber! Oh my gosh, I can't run fast enough. Why do I need so many cupcakes? <laughs> okay, time to put on super speed. Ha <laughs> ha! Got you! You're under arrest. How'd you run so fast? It's called sugar. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Whatever. Adam Robber never gets put in jail. Well, today's the first day. Now get in the back of the police car. Be quiet. I said the back of the police car. Sorry. That's fine. I guess... Do you want me to turn on the radio? Yeah. I love 90s hits. Okay, fine. <laughs>
Officer, I think we might have a problem. What? What's the problem? We're out of donuts? Um, no. I, um, forgot to lock that door over there. What, to the cell? Okay, sure. What, what's the big deal about that? Um, because I'm pretty sure that, um, Scarface Cash Grabber got out! Who's Scarface Cash Grabber? Only the most notorious bank robber in the United States! I actually caught him today. What? Yeah, but, um, since I wasn't quite sure how to be a police officer, I, well, uh, accidentally left the store open and he's gone! And the sound of the helicopter, I'm guessing, is him taking off. What? Oh my gosh, Molly. You're not supposed to be trying to go after criminals. Well, somebody had to. All you wanted to do was take a nap and eat donuts. Well, that, that, that's my prerogative. I, I, I'm the boss. I should fire you for this. No, no, I have a plan. Don't fire me. Just, just give me a couple more hours. You have until 8 o'clock Brookhaven time. And then you're fired. Okay, okay. All right, I've got to go undercover and look like a criminal. Let's see. I've got to get on my police outfit first. All of this stuff is so cute. Like, look at that little ballerina outfit. Okay, I've got to focus. Danger, yeah. I'm the most dangerous criminal ever. Let's put on a hat or something. I'm just going to, like, cover up my hair so we can't see who I am. What am I, a cowboy criminal? No, not that one either. Okay, yeah, this one's good enough. Time to go find the criminal and convince him that um, the money is being able to be stolen at the ice cream shop. Then, once I get there... Oh, wait, I probably should tell Sam this plan. Okay, here's my plan. You're just gonna get fired. Just admit it. No, listen to me, Sam. I have to tell you something. Go and wait for me at the ice cream shop. I'll bring the criminal right to you. What are you talking about? The criminal doesn't care about eating ice cream. Just trust me. I'm gonna be a good cop one day. I just know it. This is your last chance, Molly. Or you're gonna get fired. Now I have to try to find that criminal. Hey, is that the criminal's van? Of course, they're staying at this cheap motel. All right, let's go. Let's see if we can convince him I'm a criminal, too. Is he actually in the van? There he is. Hey, man, what's up? Who are you and what do you want? Um, I was just thinking that um, you might be that Adam Robber guy. What? Wait, you've heard of me? Yeah, you're a famous criminal. I want to be just like you. Seriously? You want to be a criminal? Yeah, so much so that I came to give you a tip. W what is it? It's a ton of money. And it's the least likely place you'd ever think. Well, I already robbed the Brookhaven Bank. What else is there? The ice cream shop is loaded with money. An ice cream shop? They don't make that much money. This one does. Everyone goes to this ice cream shop because it's the only one in town. They have tons of money. Whoa. Well, thanks for this tip. Yeah. If you don't mind, I'll come along with you. Wait, wait, I want, I want to be just like you. You don't even have to give me any of the money. I, I just want to hang out. All right, I guess I could make you my criminal in training. <laughs> but like I said, you don't get any money. Yeah, okay. I don't have to have any of the money. Can I have an ice cream cone though? I'm kind of hungry. I don't care if you eat an ice cream cone. Jeez, try not to be annoying. Yeah, okay, come on. Let's go get some ice cream. And a lot of money. Yep, lots and lots of money. <laughs> Time to steal some cash. Mm-hmm. Sure. Hmm. Getting any money yet? Doesn't look like there's as much money as we thought there was. Well, I'm sure you'll get lots of money. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Hold it right there, criminal. You're under arrest. What? <laughs> Remember me, Scarface Cash Grabber? I'm just gonna run out the back. Good luck with that. It's a dead end. What? Oh, my God. I've got nowhere to go. Yeah. Except for prison. <laughs> Ow. You hit me with the door. You know, I'm cool. And this time, I've got to remember to lock the door. Very good job, Molly. I'm proud of you. Does that mean I'm not fired? That means you're not fired. But you're not allowed to go on assignment by yourself anymore. Okay, well, does that mean you'll stop sleeping and eating donuts and actually take me on an assignment? Yeah, we just got a 911 call. Very serious. Really? What is it? A cat is up the tree. Can you believe it? Oh, brother. Let me out of here. I don't deserve to be in here. You do the crime, you do the time, Scarface Cash Grabber. Oh. Okay, I'm going to just send him out.
message to Luke and see if he wants to come over and play. Hey, Luke. It's me, Molly. Are you there? Hey, Molly. Let's video chat. Okay. Um, yeah. So, I was wondering, do you want to come over and hang out with me and Daisy today? Sure. I'd love to. Um, what do you want to do? Do you want to go swimming or something? Yeah, that would be super fun if it's not too cold out now. I don't think it's cold out. It's it's still pretty hot outside. Okay, cool. Yeah, when do you want to come over? Mm, say, like, I don't know, a few minutes. Sounds good. See you then. Bye, Luke. Bye, Molly. Cool. My friend is coming over today. Did you hear that, brightly colored unicorn? My friend Luke is coming over today. It's going to be so much fun. Why can I not pick up my unicorn? Unicorn, I want to play with you. Stop it. Okay, there we go. Sparkles, you are being so stubborn. <laughs> Good thing you didn't eat my homework today. Or I'd get detention. Then Luke couldn't come over. That would be awful. Do, 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 do. Molly, what are you so happy about? What? Can't a girl just be happy? Huh? 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 Not if it's you, Molly. You've always got something to be grumpy about. Me? No, I don't. I'm not grumpy at all. I'm having a great day. I know. That's why I think it just can't be you, Molly. Hey, I'm not grumpy every day. Every day you have to do homework, you all. What are you reading, Daisy? I'm reading the Harry Potter series. Again, Daisy? That's all you ever read. Can't you pick a new book? No, I like this series a whole lot. Yeah, it is pretty good. Now you could going to tell me why you're so happy, Molly? Okay, I'll tell you. Maybe. If you pay me $10. Molly, I'm not paying you my allowance to tell me why you're happy. Never mind. They don't care why you're happy. Hmm, what's that delicious smell? Never mind what it is, Daisy. Ooh, are you baking something delicious? Yeah, but it's not for you. It's for Luke. Luke? What? You're making him something to eat? Why? Because, Daisy. Um, I, 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 well, uh, Molly, tell me right now what's going on. Okay, Daisy, I'll tell you. You're going to get super happy, I'm sure. What? What is it? Ooh, those smell delicious. Luke is coming over to play. What? He is? Oh, boy. Luke's coming. Yeah, yeah, Daisy. Uh, you have a crush on him, I know. No, I don't, Molly. I don't have a crush on Luke. Stop it. Take that back. Yes, you do, Daisy. Seriously, yes, you do. No, I don't, Molly. Daisy, come back here. Yes, you do. Hello? Is anybody home? Hey, um, sorry, I can't play right now, uh, but maybe later, okay? Because my mom said I could only have one friend over. Oh, really? Yeah, but don't worry. Um, later maybe we can go to the park when she gets home. But I'm only allowed to have one friend when she's not here. Okay, Molly. Well, have a good day. I'll see you later at the park. Sounds awesome. Bye. Knock, knock, Daisy. Coming in. Molly, get out of my room. Where are you? Daisy? I'm in here, Molly, changing my outfit. Why, Daisy? Is it because Luke's coming over? No, Molly, that's not why. <laughs> that's exactly why. <laughs> Molly, what's that sound? Molly, are you on my computer? Uh, no. Nope, nope, nope. Not on your computer. Molly, what's this sound then? Nothing. I'm out in the living room. Oh, okay, Molly. It sounded like you were on my computer. Me? On your computer? Never. The brightly colored unicorn. The brightly colored unicorn. Do, 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 Wow. The bre this episode of the brightly colored unicorn has got nine, like, billion, nine hundred, five hundred and ninety-seven million, three hundred and seventy-eight thousand hits. Wow. Now I see why everybody loves the brightly colored unicorn because it's amazing. They have so many fans. Molly, are you on my computer for real? Molly, you are on my computer. Get out of here. What are you worried? I'm going to read your diary. Find out that you're in love with Luke. I'm not in love with Luke. And why are you wearing that fancy outfit, Daisy? Oh, this whole thing, this isn't fancy. Yeah, it is. First comes love, then comes marriage. Daisy loves Luke. Daisy loves Luke. Where is Luke? 
Yeah, where is he, Molly? He must be here soon. Yeah, wouldn't you love that, Daisy? Molly, stop saying that! Daisy, I don't even know where you are right now. <laughs> You're missing. Oh, where, oh, where is Luke? Molly, you're waiting at the door for me. You must be super excited about me coming over to your house to play. Yeah, I was seriously excited. Not as excited as Daisy, though. What do you mean? Molly! Uh, nothing. I don't mean anything. Hey, you want a blueberry muffin? Oh, wow. Did you make these for me? I sure did. They're delicious. I haven't had one yet. Oh, so you used me as the taste tester. What if they tasted bad? <laughs> exactly. Then you would have tasted a bad muffin and I wouldn't have. Oh, Molly. Hmm. <laughs> These are pretty good. Hmm. Yummy. I've got to wash my hands, though. They were kind of sticky and crumbly. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm still learning how to make muffins. Hi, Luke. It's me, Daisy. Daisy, Luke knows who you are. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's me, Daisy. Hey, Daisy, how are you? I like your outfit. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, brother. I can tell this is not going to be a fun day to play outside. Why is that, Marley? Because, Daisy, you're acting all crazy. I am not, Marley. I'm acting totally dope. <laughs> Why are you randomly laughing, then? Oh, yeah, that's right. You have a crop. Marley, don't say anything. Just say another word. What are you guys talking about right now? She's not talking about anything. <laughs> I, I'm glad you like my new outfit. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like your outfit too. Baby Kara, baby Kara. Okay, where's baby Kara? She ran past you, Molly. Ooh, my face. Baby Kara, I'd like you to meet my friend. I don't think you've ever met him before. Baby Kara, don't eat all the muffins. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Hi. I said, Okay, I think she likes you. Her her name is Baby Kara, and this is my good friend Luke. Ah, tutu tabai da. Look, tutu tutu tabai da. Oh no, don't tell me. Not another sister. What? What's going on? Nothing, Luke. Come on, let's go outside. Ah, oh, both of my sisters are so annoying with their crushes on Luke. Luke, we got a trampoline. It's super fun. Boing, boing, boing. Whoa, you got a trampoline? That's amazing. Yeah. We had to do a lot of chores for it. <laughs> well, I guess it's not bad you had to work for it. Yeah, if you don't mind working but me, I'd rather just hang out and eat a cupcake. <laughs> Molly. I should talk to my Luke. Ooh. Baby Kira, are you just going to follow us around all day? No, no, Molly. Oh, my gosh. My sister is telling me what to do now. Okay, whatever, baby Kira. Whoa, this is so much fun. I can see the whole neighborhood from up here. Yeah, you can see Pizza Planet, my favorite restaurant ever, besides McDonald's. I love Pizza Planet. I did do do baby. Day. Baby Kira, you cannot go on a play date with Luke. I do baby. Oh, Molly, you made baby Kira cry. It's okay, baby Kira. Don't cry. Oh, no, this isn't going to be good. Yeah, I know you like Luke, baby Kira. Come on, baby Kira. Why don't you go inside with Daisy? That's where all the kids hang out who have crushes on Luke. What? Who has a crush on me? Oh, don't tell me it's Sarah from school. No, it's my baby sister. Oh, that's so cute. My sister's first crush is on my friend Luke. Ugh. Aw, she's so cute. Cute little baby. I just said, don't tell me, Zippa, but ah! Baby Kira, come on. It's time for your bottle. I just said, don't tell me, Zippa, Say bye bye to Luke. I just said, don't tell me, bye bye, love you. Oh, she said she loved you. 
Bye bye, baby Kira. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi, da 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 ba ba ba. Okay, baby Kira, come on. You can play in your room and drink your bottle. Don't keep following me and Luke around. Hi, yeah, yeah, guys. Can you believe it? Both of my sisters have a f crush on my friend Luke. Oh, this is getting crazier and crazier. <laughs>over here that I'm spraying for. I don't want you girls to get stung. Oh, wow, Dad. I thought you were wearing your Halloween costume. Creepy! Hey, Daisy, what you doing? Daisy, 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 Daisy. We pick up doing, Molly. Not all of us want detention. I'm actually doing my homework. Duh. Homework? Schmomework. Where you been, Molly? You went on the bus. Yeah, Molly, where were you? You're late. Um, the she had detention again, I bet. Daisy, shh! Did you have detention again, Molly? Um, yeah, but I didn't mean it, Mom. I swear, I, I accidentally forgot my homework at home because I took my new backpack to school and look how tiny it is. I didn't have room for my homework and I accidentally forgot it and, and then a pink elephant sat on it. What? A pink elephant? Yeah, seriously, there was a pink elephant in my room this morning and she's lying! Okay, Molly, well, just go wash up for dinner. She doesn't get a punishment for that? Daisy, mind your own beeswax and do your homework, please. <laughs> I didn't even get in trouble. Oh, yeah. Ma, 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 ma. What's for dinner? What's for dinner? Ma, ma, ma. What's for dinner? What's for dinner? Ma, ma, ma. Oh, she's the most annoying person on the planet. Daisy, please be nice to your sister. I'm always nice to her. She's rude to me. Well, you were rude to her right now. She was just being silly and singing a little song, and you were very grumpy. Yeah, Daisy. Yeah. Molly, be quiet. Mom, I got my homework done. Um, I was wondering, um, could I go outside and play? Uh, we're about to have dinner, so not right now. Molly, did you finish your homework? Uh, no, I just got home. Mom, can I have a snack? Well, Molly, we're about to eat soon. It won't be a big one. I'm just starving. Yeah, okay. How come she gets to have a snack before dinner? Something tells me that's not right. Oh, Daisy, just mind your own beeswax, please. Yeah, Daisy, mind your own beeswax. Mm, mm. She's not even eating a healthy snack. How is that allowed? It's allowed because I'm starving and I want to eat this Reese's Cups. Mmm, so good. Molly, you're the naughtiest ever. I don't even know why I pretend to be good. I mean, everybody else is bad and gets away with it. Daisy, what's come over you? This isn't like you. Thanks for the treat, Mom. You're the best. Sure thing, Molly. Just try to stay out of trouble. No promises, Mom. <laughs> Daisy, what are you doing? I'm jumping on the couch. Holy guacamole, this is fun. Where has this activity been my whole life? <laughs> Mom, Daisy's gone crazy. Or maybe an alien abducted our real sister. But my real sister, I mean. But she's gone crazy. What are you talking about, Molly? I don't want to be good anymore. I'm going to be naughty. Whee! Daisy, do you want to be grounded? Yeah, Daisy, you want to be grounded? You want to be grounded? Molly, what are you doing? I'm just trying to show her that only I can be naughty. Why isn't she getting threatened to get grounded, huh? Well, because Molly is... Uh, uh. Yeah, exactly. I'm tired of being the nice one. I don't get any rewards if Molly gets away with everything. I'm going to be naughty! Daisy, come here. I want to talk to you. Okay, what is it? Yeah, Mom, what are you going to tell her? Molly, you just be quiet, please. All right, fine. You don't want to be naughty, Daisy. You want to be yourself, which is good. Nope, no way. Not going to do it. All right, let me just give you a glimpse into your future. <laughs> Another day working at Brookhaven Bank. Hey, Seth, give me all the money. Daisy, what, what are you doing here? I haven't seen you in three years, I think. I said, hey, Seth, give me all the money from the bank. Seriously, you're gonna, you're gonna rob your own sister. No, I'm gonna rob the Brookhaven Bank. Get out of here. I know you're just joking around. I'm not joking. Now get moving. Ah! Daisy, you sprayed me with a fire extinguisher. Knock it off. I've got to get back to work. I said give me the money. Daisy, you're 
criminal now? You rob banks? That's right. Now to be careful, for my sister. Now get in there and give me the money. Oh my god. I can't believe it. My sister's a criminal. Where's the money? Oh, whoops. I forgot the money. <laughs> That's upstairs. I just went out back to like try to make my brain believe that you were actually going to rob this bank. Okay, now where's my key card? Oh, nope, that's a Reese cup. <laughs> that won't work. Get moving! Okay, fine. I have this delicious blueberry donut from Dunkin' Donuts. Would you like that instead? No! Give me all the money! Wow, Daisy, you really have turned to the dark side. Daisy, you're going to prison for this. Only if I get caught, duh. Okay, what was that safe combination again? Open the door already! Okay, I, I don't remember what the combination is. No one's ever asked me for this much money. I'm going to spray you with this if you don't hurry me up. Okay, fine. Uh, knock, knock. Is anybody home? The key card goes in there. Here you go, DC. Here's all the money from Brookhaven Bank. Every single citizen who's worked in this town to put money in the bank and you're stealing it all. Yeah, don't care. Give me it. DC, are you going to come to Thanksgiving dinner? No! What about Christmas? Absolutely not! Now let me out of here! I'm stuck! Okay, fine. Here you go. We'll miss you at Christmas! Especially since... What? Are you stuck at the door? I'm stuck! out oh, Before the cops come! Oh, this could be a way I could trap Daisy. No! Don't trap me! Definitely not buying you a Christmas present this year. Goodbye forever, Molly! Daisy! You don't have to do this! No! Come on, my trusty horse. We're out of here. Wow. Daisy learned how to ride a horse. That's pretty crazy. Finally, I get a few minutes to eat my donut. Mm. Delicious. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna get out of here. Five, six. Ugh, this one is so loud. Hey, you want to be quiet? Wh who left the cell open? Holy guacamole! Don't worry, it was me. Because I'm gonna break out of here! Uh, not so fast. Oh, man! Uh, why'd you close the door? Open it, I have to go potty. Go potty over there in the bathroom. Uh, no, that one's clogged up. Someone took a poo-poo in there and it won't go down! Ew, gross. Okay, you can use the cell next door, but hurry up. <laughs> you fell for the oldest trick in the book! Goodbye! What? You didn't have to go to the bathroom? Come back here! You can't take the helicopter! No! See you later, Stinko! You're the worst cop in the world! Eat another donut, chubby! What? I'm chubby? Seriously? Oh, I gotta eat another donut to make myself feel better. I can't believe my sister Daisy's gonna die. I haven't seen her in so many years. Oh, Daisy. Daisy! Who is that? You're really loud and annoying. It's me! Your sister! Molly! Oh, I couldn't tell with that chihuahua on your head. Chihuahua? No, that's just my old lady hair. Why couldn't you pick better hair? That old lady hair is ugly. Wow, Daisy, you're still bad right to the bone. Yeah, and I wanna die all alone! <laughs> and that's what it'd be like if you were bad. Holy guacamole, your life stinks, Daisy. I know, right? I don't wanna rob banks, and I don't wanna die alone, and I don't wanna even ride a horse! Uh, Daisy, I don't think the horse was a part of it. Uh, yeah, it was, Molly. She rode a horse. Holy guacamole! Yeah, I don't wanna ride a horse. I've decided I'm gonna be good. And also that Molly should be grounded for getting detention. She does have a point, Molly. What? No! Yep, Molly, two days detention means two days of being grounded. Ha 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 Ah, that's so annoying! Mom, mom, what's for dinner? Molly, I told you.
you. We're not going to be home tonight. Uh, well, Dad's eating cheesecake for dinner. Oh, uh, no, this is just a little snack. <laughs> snack? It, oh, wow, that looks delicious. That smells delicious. Can I have that kind of snack too, Mom? No, you'll spoil your dinner, and we're going to stop and, like, have a nice dinner before Daisy's da dance competition. Wait, what? Daisy's dance competition? I'm not going to that. That's boring. Uh, I sort of think it is too, but... Dan, of course we have to go. We're Daisy's parents. See, I can't get out of it because I'm Daisy's dad, so I have to go along. So you should have to go along too. No, I don't want to. I want to stay home. Come on, Mom. I have lots of homework to do. All right, Molly, you can stay home, but I do expect you to do a few chores to help out around here. And your homework needs to get done. Yep, totally will. What about dinner, Molly? We didn't make you dinner. I'll just go to McDonald's across the street. Ugh, Molly, you really should start eating healthier. Uh-huh, what? whatever you say. The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. I love this show. Come on, Daisy, you're going to be late for your dance competition. I'm coming, Mom. I'll be there in a minute. I just have to pack the last of my hair ties. Ugh, my sister's dance competitions are so boring. I'm glad I get to stay home and watch TV. <laughs> Ugh, I'm starving. Time to go get some chicken nuggets. Or maybe I'll get a Big Mac. I'm not really sure. Closed! Jiminy Cricket! How did you close so early? Oh, man, it's not even 7 o'clock yet. Maybe the drive is open. I don't have a car, but I don't care. Ooh, look at all this delicious stuff. Um, Cheeseburger Deluxe, uh, fries, Happy Meals. Oh, wake up! I'm starving! Why isn't anybody working? Wait a minute, I think I can climb through the window. Oh, ow, ow, it's dark in here. Uh, where's the light? Uh, do I have a flashlight? Oh my gosh, they just kicked me out. Um, listen, I, I need to come in here. I'm starving. There's no food in my house. Well, there is, but I have to make it, and I don't want to do that. Sorry, McDonald's is closed. Cheapers, you can't just break into McDonald's whenever. <laughs> Whoa, you smell bad. Yeah, that's because I've been working all day. Working at McDonald's is a very hard job, you know. All right, fine. Wait a minute, did she just open it back up? Yeah, but not for you, because you said I smell. Oh, fine, I don't watch your McDonald's anyway. I'll just go back to my house and have to cook something, which is really annoying that I have to cook something, but you know, whatever. I can't believe I couldn't get chicken nuggets. This is so annoying. All right, what do we got here? Baby food? Well, um, that's baby Kira's, but that could be a really easy thing to eat. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, Mom has chicken nuggets here? Um, yes, please! Frozen chicken nuggets are, like, totally delicious. All right, how do I turn on the oven? Um, uh, eh. Use any one of these, an oven. <laughs> an oven would be helpful. Okay, there we go. This oven is so fancy. My mom just got this new oven. I don't even know how to use it half the time. All right, maybe I should go over here and like make like a cappuccino or something. Mm, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh wait, this is an ice cream maker. You guys can tell how much I actually spend time in this kitchen. Like pretty much never. My mom does all the cooking or sometimes Daisy does. Come on, seriously. Chicken nuggets, I'm starving. Get done already. All right, over here I could make some, like, fruity juice or, like, drink or something. If I had the ingredients, that is. Hmm, where's all the plates in here, anyway? Finally! Ow! 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 They're super hot! Super hot! Oh, but they smell delicious. All right, time to watch my favorite show and eat some delicious, ch delicious chicken nuggets. I can't even talk. I'm so hungry. Mom doesn't normally let me eat all these sauces on the couch, but since she's not here, <laughs> I can do anything I want. Mm, these are delicious. Mm, holy guacamole. Who would think that these would be just as good as McDonald's? And I actually made them. It's amazing. Mm, I'm going to eat the whole thing myself. Now I'm not going to save any for my sister. <laughs> Well, I guess I should take care of this dirty plate. I mean, Mom would probably be mad if I didn't. Hey, what's that? A note? Dear Molly, do your homework and do the dishes. I hate to turn you in for a new daughter. T 
turn me in for a new daughter? Like what? Like I'm a library book that she borrowed or something? You can't just trade me in, Mom. Uh, well, whatever. Because I'm not doing my homework or doing the dishes right now. I'm just going to sit here on the couch and chill. Oh my gosh, it's 10 o'clock at night. Where's Mom and Dad? Where's Daisy? They're never this late. Oh well, they probably just got stuck in traffic. Dad, what happened to the car? This hunk of junk is always breaking down on me. We need a new car. I don't know what you're talking about. As long as I've got my pumpkin spice latte, everything is right with the world. Mom, we're going to be stuck out here with the duck. There's bears. Well, <laughs> maybe they like pumpkin spice lattes. Honey, um, it's almost midnight and no one's coming from the car repair shop. I think they're closed. Like, I think we might actually have to spend the night inside the car. What? It's freezing out. Well, I guess we'll just make the best of it. Pumpkin spice latte for everybody. I have a whole jug of it in the car. Oh, no. Well, like your mom said, I guess we'll make the best of it. We'll just call in the morning and uh, the repair shop will be right out, I'm sure. Only one problem, Dan. Um, my phone is dead because I used up all my battery to take videos of Daisy's dance competition. Is your phone charged? Uh, well, uh, I accidentally left mine at home. But you always bring yours, so I didn't think it was a big deal. Are you two kidding me? You guys are supposed to be the grown-ups! ay 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 Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I'm starting to panic! I'm starting to panic! It's 1.30 in the morning and my parents aren't home! Oh my gosh! Do you, do you think that, that they knew I didn't do my homework or my chores again? So they abandoned me in Blocksburg? No, I had a feeling this might happen. Oh, what am I going to do? I can't live in this house all by myself. Who's going to make me my food or, 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 or drive me to school? Wait, I could try calling my mom's cell phone or my dad's cell phone. Someone's got to have their cell phone. I can't believe my parents don't give me a cell phone. Seriously, I have to use this prehistoric dinosaur of a telephone. <sighs> okay, here we go. It just keeps ringing. Why aren't mom and dad picking up? OMG, I think they might have abandoned me. Ugh, no wonder I smell awful. That can't be why though, seriously. Why don't they want to come home to me? Don't they love me anymore? I'm, I'm all alone. <laughs> My entire family abandoned me. <laughs> well, I guess I should go to bed and, and try to figure this out in the morning. I mean, I'm going to have to go, like, find new parents and stuff. <laughs> Mom? Dad? Where are you? Oh, wait, that's right. They, they don't live here anymore. They abandoned me. <laughs> Molly? Molly, are you home? Are you okay? Mom? Dad? Am I just hearing things or are they really back? Guys! Where you been? I, I thought you left me forever! Oh, don't even get get us started. I, I can't believe the night we had. I thought that pumpkin spice latte was going to fix everything. Well, it didn't fix the fact that she stinks. Oh, you smell so bad, Mom. What? You smell bad, too! Whoa, 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 you guys are really grumpy. Where you been? Oh, we had to sp spend the night in the car because the car broke down and, and, and it was awful. The repairman came those this morning and gave us a ride home. First thing tomorrow, we're gonna go buy a brand new car. What about this morning? Why don't we buy one this morning? This morning, I'm taking a bath and a nap. Whoa, well, I'm so glad to have you home. I literally thought you were leaving me forever. Molly, no matter how bad you are, and even if you don't do your homework, I'm still not going to abandon you. You're my daughter. I love you more than anything. What about me? Well, of course, I love you more than anything, too. Do you love her more? No, she loves you more. I love you both equally. Ah, oh, I'm exhausted. I'm going to bed. Me too. Me three. What am I going to do all day? 
I don't know, Molly. Go to McDonald's, watch TV. I don't care. Woohoo! <laughs> Sounds like my kind of day. Nothing like five cheeseburgers to get your day started right. Mm, these are going to be so delicious. Mm. I love McDonald's. Daisy, it's been a super long week at school. I cannot wait to go to Chuck E. Cheese, have some pizza, play some games, and just chill. I know what you mean, Molly. It has been a rough week. Whoa, watch it, Chucky. Cheapless, didn't we just say we had a rough week and you're already running into us? Whoa, Daisy, sounds like you need a piece of pizza. You sound hangry. Well, I am kind of hungry. I noticed you're very grumpy. Chucky was just trying to say hi. Yeah, right. He was getting up in my face about it. <laughs> Daisy, it's going to be fine. Let's just get some pizza, some soda, and then we can play the favorite game of all, the claw. I'm going to win a prize today if it's the last thing I do. pizza in the world. I have to agree, Molly. It is very good. Hmm. I cannot get enough of this pizza. I think I've eaten like a hundred slices. Hmm. Ew, Molly, that boop smells like the sewer. Yeah, but now I have a lot more room for more slices of pizza. Hmm. <laughs> So good. Oh, Molly. <laughs> Hi, we're Chucky. Hi, we're Chucky. Welcome to Chuck E. Cheese. Molly, is it just me? Or is this show they put on with the big robot guys a little creepy? Yeah, and apparently they have more than one Chucky now. Look at them all up on stage. Oh, wait a minute. The curtain just dropped. Um, But I can still see their noses, which is probably a glitch. And they need to fix that right away because it's really creepy. Totally. Let's get out of here. I'm done with my pizza. We can play some games. Okay. La 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 la. So many games. What am I going to play first? Oh, there's a fishing game. There's skee ball. Ooh, skee ball. That sounds like so much fun. Molly, um, there's a creepy burger guy following me. What? A creepy burger guy? What are you talking about? There's no burger guy. We're not at McDonald's. Yeah, but they are, Molly. It's just Chucky. And besides, we all know you were kind of grumpy with Chucky e. Cheese. No, Molly, seriously. Look behind you. Ugh! That burger guy is kind of creepy. It's all right. Let's just go in the other room and play the crane game. Maybe he won't follow us. I hope you're right, Molly. I hope you're right. Holy guacamole! They've gotten so many more crane games! Oh, wow. This one looks amazing. I want to turn next. I definitely want to turn next. <laughs> Are you done? Are you done yet? Molly, don't be rude. She's still playing. All right, here we go, guys. I cannot wait to try this game. She's already on to the other one, but this one doesn't seem to be working. Let me just see if I can get it to work. All right, there we go. Wait, is it working? Molly, I think this one um, might be broken. What? No, it's not broken. Don't say that. Never say it's broken. Molly, just try a different one. But I want a kush ball. They're so cool. All right, fine. I'll go try this one. Cool crane. Four tickets. Holy guacamole. I can afford four tickets. I have like 100 from Chuck E. Cheese. Just have to put in my card and... Don't tell me this one's broken too. Okay, no, good. All right, guys. Here I go. I'm going to move the claw over. I have to drop it right at the right time. Molly, I'll help you decide when it's the right time. No! I want to decide myself. All right, guys. I want one of these... Awesome little bears with the top hats. All right, I'm dropping it. Oh, no! Oh, I didn't win. No fair. That's the way the claw crumbles. <laughs> Maybe this one will work now, too. Oh, it does. Yes. Molly, when do I get a tune? Uh, right after me, Daisy. Okay, here we go. I'm moving the claw. I don't think it's moving, Molly. Well, it took my ticket to better move. Yeah, no, it's moving. All right, this is exciting. So exciting! I want a koosh ball so bad! Right, I'm dropping it. I think I might be better with this game than you. I think not, Daisy. Oh, come on! It rolled away! That wasn't fair! 
there. Maddie, are you gonna keep playing this until all your tickets are gone? Yeah, pretty much. This is amazing. All right, um, should I play this game again? Yes, I'm going to. Come on, I just need to get one of these. They're so cool. All right, I'm dropping it. Sometimes if you drop them in the corner, it works better. Because then the ball can't, like, roll away. <gasps> oh, my God. No! Oh, that's so unfair. All right. All right, I give up on that one. I'm gonna go to a different one. Ooh, look at they have Kermits. They have um like uh Patrick from SpongeBob. This one looks really fun. Dizzy, are you gonna try to? You're more obsessed with the claw than me, Molly. I have to say. Okay, Dizzy, go around the side of it and see if I'm on in the right spot. Like go over here and and look. Okay, a little to the front and drop. Am I gonna get? What am I gonna get? Ooh, there's an Among Us toy in there too. You could have gotten that pickle. Oh, I can't. I can't get anything, apparently. All right, let's try this one again. I'm not leaving until I get a toy. I want a toy. <laughs> Maybe if you go all the way back and over. Yeah, that, that seems like a good one. Seems like a good spot. What am I going to get? You almost had that pickle. Ay, ay, ay. This is so annoying. All right. Molly, why do you love it if it's so annoying to you? I don't know. Because I just do. The, the chances you might get a toy are like, they're like zero. Molly, do you see that weird thing coming through the wall over there? What? No. I'm trying to, I'm trying to play the game. I'm dropping it. Come on. Give me a toy. No! Molly, you're going to waste all your tickets. It's not a waste if you love the game. Guys, slam the like button if you think I can at least get one toy out of one of these crane games. Come on, guys. Believe in me, please. I, I need, like, just a little boost of confidence here because I feel like I'm not getting any toys. It's making me kind of sad. I'm wasting all my tickets. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Ah! <laughs> You're being crazy right now. All right. Let me take a try. All right. Here you go, Daisy. Come on, Daisy. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. I'm going for it, Molly. I'm going for it. I'm telling you, I am obsessed with the crane game in real life. Now I know I can play it for free on Roblox. I've been doing this all the time. Did you get it, Daisy? Oh! Oh my gosh, Daisy, you almost got that. All right, let me try. Ay, uh, yeah, ay, yeah, Molly. I don't think you can. It's just going to keep taking your tickets. No! I don't understand. I'm obsessed with this. I must. Okay, Molly, you lined up like perfectly. Yeah, I think so. I think I can get that like little like noob or whatever he is. I don't know. Molly! Oh, you didn't get him. Oh, no. This silly game. Oh, oh. Molly, don't kick it. That's not going to help. Well, it keeps stealing all my tickets and, and, and it's broken. <laughs> uh, Molly, there's something really evil behind me, isn't there? Ah, it's that creepy burger guy. You think my games are dumb? Well, what do you think about this? Daisy, I think he's putting us inside the claw machine. Uh-oh, Molly. He's evil. <laughs> ah, Daisy, help. Molly, be careful. Run. Daisy, it's it's too late for me. <laughs> oh, what just happened to me? Oh, my gosh. I'm in the claw game. OMG, I'm one of the prizes and... good and look at that claw it's pinchy pinchy ouchy ouchy i knew it was a bad idea to come to chuck e cheese this is making me fairly upset i can't figure out why i have such a big head is it because i have such a big brain i doubt that molly oh very funny daisy um look we're not toys we're not prizes let us out of here i don't think she can hear us molly and i think she wants a prize she's obsessed with the claw just like you are well, she can't get us. Look at her. She's terrible at the claw. Why are you just, like, going right there? You have to move the claw. Don't help her, Molly. We'll be her next prize. Um, yeah, that that's that's probably a bad thing, huh? Well, Molly, maybe we can find a way to escape here. I don't know, Daisy. I think the only way to escape is to be collected. Oh, no. I don't want to be someone's prize. Hey, this guy's rude. This other toy in here is, like, beating me up with a, with a baseball bat. What? Where's my baseball bat? Don't I get one? I apparently not, Maddie. Just that way. Ah! Oh, no! 
She almost got me. The claw cannot get me, Daisy. Ah, too late. She's collected me. Well, hopefully she's nice, Molly. Um, have a nice life. Daisy, as soon as she collects me and puts me down into that thing, I'm out of here, Daisy. I'm out of here. I, 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 I'm going to run for it. You should get collected, too, and then you should run for it. Okay, Molly, we'll both run for it, and maybe we'll get out of here. I hope so. Is she ever going to drop me into the, 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 like, the toy thing? Okay, we're, we're out of here, Daisy. Come on, run! Okay, I've got to find an exit. There's got to be one here around here somewhere. Wait, let's go this way, Daisy, this way! Oh, it's like an abbey. If we get out of here, then um, maybe we can be turned back into our normal selves. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, did I just get put back into the claw game? No! Daisy? Uh, sorry, Molly, but it turns out that now I'm in charge of the claw. Daisy, no! How could you? You went over to the dark side! Evil! Well, Molly, I think maybe you're finally over you, your possession with the claw. <laughs> think again, Daisy. Think again. You can never escape the lore of the crane game. <laughs> what? What? Oh! This crane game is so fun! We gotta keep playing. Gotta keep playing! Good morning, students! Good morning, Professor Smith! Good morning! I see a bunch of you are out with the flu still, but the three of you have decided to show up for class, so welcome fall, welcome autumn. Your assignment is on the board since autumn has begun. I know, Halloween is right around the corner. I can't wait, Professor Smith. Well, <laughs> since you're excited about this season, your assignment is to collect leaves to study as a class. So after school today, that's your homework. Everyone needs to go out and collect some different leaves from trees so we can identify them and study them under the microscope. Actually, that sounds like a fun time to me. We could go get a pumpkin spice latte from, from um, Starbucks and then like look at the pretty leaves and... Ugh, that sounds like a snore fest. I'm gonna play Roblox. Actually, that sounds fun to me too, Daisy. Come on, Molly, we could all go together. Ugh, all right. See? <laughs> sounds like you guys have it all planned out. Now, pop quiz! Pop quiz? Oh, man! Ugh, school really fries my brain. Hit fries my brain Molly you just need a pumpkin spice latte actually what I really need is a cupcake a cupcake let's go to Starbucks and get one that sounds like a fabulous idea to me well I finished my homework and study hall early so I took off and went over there and got one you didn't bring us anything back rude well I'm about finished with this one so we can go get another one <laughs> you can't have too many pumpkin spice lattes, can you? Uh, not really. It's autumn time. You need to drink as many as you can. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get for you? Hi, I like one um pumpkin spice latte and um um a donut, a chocolate chip cookie, and a cupcake. Holy guacamole, Molly! Hey, I didn't say you could take a bite out of it. Sorry, my shift doesn't end for another three hours and I'm starving. Well, why don't you buy yourself one? Sorry. Um, name please? Uh, my name is Fartolomew. Fartolomew? What? Wait, you, you gonna be rude to me about my name? I mean, it's what my parents named me. Molly, your name is not Fartolomew. It is Fartolomew. And, you know, just so you know, the kids bully me and call me Fart at school. Oh, that's horrible. I'm sorry, Fartolomew. Um, you can go take a seat. Your order will be right up. And don't worry, your nickname won't be Fart with me. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Fartolomew will just be sitting over here. <laughs> My sister is so ridiculous. Molly, you're such a prankster. Hey, you're supposed to be calling me Fart for short. Uh, Molly, nobody would name their kid Fart Ptolemy. I don't know, our parents might. They're kind of cray cray like that. 
Bartholomew, your order's up. <laughs> Every time she says Bartholomew, I just, I want to pee my pants. I laugh so hard. <laughs> wow, look at that tree. I bet that would have amazing leaves to take in to Professor Smith. Mmm, this cupcake's delicious. Marty, are you going to help us with this science project at all? Um, mmm. Oh my god, I'm just eating my snack. And I'm super thirsty. Come on, Daisy. It seems like Molly's kind of busy eating her snack right now. We'll get some of these leaves and we'll have them for our, our class tomorrow. Sounds good. I'll go on the back and you just shake the tree a little bit. What? No, I was going to chop down the tree. What? No, you can't chop down a tree. What did it ever do to you? Okay, no fighting. Just take the leaves peacefully. No need to chop apart the tree, Brookie. Well, I guess you're right. <laughs> Silly me. Hey, guys, look at this. I found something. Yeah, probably another boring leaf. Mm, this donut's way more entertaining. What is that thing? I don't know. It, it's making a lot of beeping sounds. Well, can you eat it? Molly, not everything interesting in life is food. Speak for yourself. Mmm, this is delicious. Molly, will you ever stop eating and help us with this science project? Uh, yeah, of course I will. Holy guacamole, it's beeping like crazy. I'm pointing right at Molly. Wait a minute. Let me get a look at that bookie. The lie detector 3000? Oh, man, these are so expensive. I wonder who left this here. I don't know, but... It tells you if you, somebody's lying? Yeah, watch this. Molly, are you going to do your homework tonight? Um, yeah, I'm sure I will at some point. See? It's detecting that Molly's lying. Wow. That thing is pretty accurate. Oh, so stuffed from eating all that food. Now I know that wasn't a lie. Hee <laughs> hee. Don't even need the lie detector for that. Daisy, let me see that thing. Uh, Molly, I feel like you could get in a lot of trouble. I don't know about that. Daisy, give it to me! Daisy, I have a question. Uh-oh, Molly, don't ask me a bunch of questions. Do you have a crush on Luke? I'm not answering that, Molly! Wait, you have a crush on Luke? Daisy, are you serious? You never told me. Um, uh, um, yeah. I do. Whoa, she didn't lie, because the lie detector didn't go off. Guys, do you realize what this means? It means we can tell if our parents are telling fibs, if our teachers are telling fibs, if the class bully is telling a fib. This could be very useful. <laughs> Whoa, what you got there? And how was school today? Oh, this is just something for my science class. Don't worry about it. it it's just something we built in science class. It, it's, it's no big deal. Oh, okay. What's for dinner, Mom? Um, we're having liver and sauerkraut. What? Ew, why are we eating that? Because it's so healthy. <laughs> Mom, you're lying to me right now. That's not actually healthy. Why are you feeding me that? Wait, you you knew I was lying? Well, well um, yeah. Okay, yes, I told a fib. It's because, well, it was all I had in the freezer, and I've had it there for like a year, but I didn't get time to go to the grocery store, so I just decided to cook it up for you for dinner and make you think that it was healthy. I'm sorry I lied. Parents are perfect! Um, I think this calls for a trip to McDonald's. Okay, whatever you say. I just feel like a bad mom because I told you a fib. Um, okay, mom. It's all right. Uh, we can get happy meals. Everything will be great. Hey, Daisy, what you doing? I'm doing homework. Lies! What are you actually doing? What? Oh, man, you have that lie detector still. Um, well, I was doing a little bit of shopping. Oh, you're such a fashionista. That thing is definitely in the wrong hands. Give it to me, Molly. Not a chance. Me and this lie detector are going to get to the bottom of a lot of people. And we're going to figure out exactly whether they're honest or not. <laughs> Today's going to be super fun at school. <laughs> the lie detector will tell all. Oh, 
There's Savannah. Oh, look who it is. It's the loser. Wow, you've been hanging out with Sarah a lot, apparently. Because now you've turned into a bully, Savannah. What are you doing with that giant backpack full of cookies? Um, they're in case I get hungry. Duh. Whatever, loser. Why are you so mean? What? I'm not mean. I'm just popular because I'm a cheerleader, which makes me so happy and so much better than everyone else. <laughs> I don't think so. I think your heart is full of fluff. What? What did you say? You feel empty inside. You don't really even want to be a cheerleader, do you? Why would you say that? Of course I do. <laughs> Lie detector says, I don't think so. Wait, what? You you have a lie detector? Yep, and it sees right through you. Give me that dumb thing. I'm going to break it. Don't come any closer, Savannah. You, you, you can't take it from me. Whatever. Give it to me. Hey, get your hands off of that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do we have here? Molly, Savannah, are you fighting? No, I wasn't fighting. I'm a great student, but Molly always gets detention. She's probably the troublemaker. What? No, I'm not. Molly, my office now. Oh, man, I'm going to the principal's office. Ugh. <sighs> Molly, we meet again. You are in this office more than any other student. Ah, uh, no, not any other student. Are you sure? More than any other student? Yes. Oh man, the lie detector didn't go off. I really am in here more than any other student. What? Um, Principal Shootermaker, I, I, I'm really sorry. I, 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 I didn't mean to get in a fight with Savannah. Uh-huh, sure. Well, you have detention and this is going on your permanent record. Permanent record? Is that what you said? Is there such a thing as a permanent record? Um, well, uh, yes. Um, yeah, I think you're lying right now to a student, which means you should get detention. What? What are you talking about? What is that thing you're holding? This is a lie detector, and it just detected a lie. Well, um, I'm a grown-up, so I can... You can lie? I don't think so. You have to take back my detention. Um, <sighs> fine, but that lie detector needs to stay in your backpack. Deal. Remember... It's never nice to tell fibs. Molly, I swear, you make me want to quit my job. Whoa, that's kind of harsh. Well, I at least need a vacation, and that's not a lie. Now go to class, and no more arguing with other students. Okay, have a great day. <laughs> this lie detector got me out of detention. It's fabulous! Brookie? Oh, yeah. Um, we're just chilling. Yeah, my sister's reading a boring book. It's not boring, Marty. It's a great book. Duh. Anyway, it's boring. Marty! <laughs> she doesn't think it's boring, but I do. My mom's just, like, chilling in the kitchen. Actually, I'm doing the dishes. Oh, yeah. She's not chilling. She's doing a chore. And Dad's watching TV. <laughs> Survivor, yeah. Oh, yeah. I could ask her. Okay, hold on. Mom? Yes, Molly. Brookie wants to know if I could go to the mall. Um, did you finish all your homework? Uh, uh. Molly, you know you can't go to the mall if you haven't finished all your homework. She said no, Brookie. Yeah, seriously, she did. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> Mom, come on. She was going to the mall. I want to go. Molly, you know the rules. <laughs> I'm sorry, but unless you... Unless you do your homework, you you can't go anywhere. Oh, man. Why don't you go do your homework now so you don't have to miss any more fun things tomorrow? Yeah, okay. Ugh, homework. Why does a Daisy have to do her homework? I did it already, Molly. Sheesh. Homework is so boring. <laughs> I guess I don't have to use my laptop. I could use this giant work computer of Mom's. <laughs> I bet she has some cool games on here, too. Oh! Adorable puppy! Oh, work stuff. Boring. 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 Okay, I'm gonna go back to the pup. What? She has Roblox on here? Oh, yeah, I'm totally playing this. Molly, are you on my work computer? 
Molly, you can play Roblox on Mom's work computer? That's amazing and also bad because she can not come up here and catch you around her computer. Nah. <laughs> She's not going to come up here. Molly, she just asked. Molly, you're not supposed to be on my work computer. Besides, you're supposed to be doing your homework, not playing Roblox. Mom, come on. I just need to, like, play for a little bit, and then I'll do my homework later. You've been saying that for three hours. The answer is no. The answer is always no. Oh, I hate that the answer is always no. Molly, where are you going? Nowhere. I'm I'm not allowed to go anywhere. I'm stuck in the, ha the house with you crazy people, and the door's locked. I can't even get out. Molly, all you have to do is use the handle. Ah, I'm getting in the pool. You won't bother me. I need to relax. Um, Molly, uh, I hate to break it to you, but you can't get in the pool. I'm already in it, Dad. You're not wearing a bathing suit. That's okay. I don't care. I don't even care at this point. Uh, Dan, is Molly down there? Yes, she is. Is she in the pool? Because she's not supposed to be. She's got to do her homework. That's it. I'm going to the bottom of the pool. Gonna pretend I'm a mermaid. Molly, where are you? I'm nowhere. Okay, let's see how I can hold, how long I can hold my breath for. Uh, not very long, Molly. Get out of the pool and do your homework. Oh, not you too, Dad. Everyone just keeps saying no to everything. I want to go to the mall. The answer is no. I want to play a game. The answer is no. I want to get in the pool. The answer is no. Well, all you have to do is your chores and your homework, and then the answer could be yes. Actually, I think the answer could be yes in a different way. <laughs> now, where is that spell book? Molly, are you going to do your homework? Uh-huh, sure, absolutely. I think I hid it out here in the, in the dryer so no one would know where it was. Yep, here it is. The spell to make your family say yes to everything. <laughs> oh, Dad, where are you? I'm out here cooking some burgers. What's up? Dad, it actually looks like you're kind of burning our dinner. Well, you know, <laughs> I may not be the best cook in the world. Uh, Dad, can you just um look right at me for a second here? Why? Am I taking a vision test? I always pass those, you know. Uh, yeah, sure, that's it. Are you ready? Abracadabra, here we go. You can never say no. Whoa. That was really weird. All of a sudden, my vision got kind of funny. Never had that happen before. Hey, Dad, can I get in the pool? You know what your mother said. The answer is... Yes! Wait a minute, why did I just say that? I wanted to say... Yes! <laughs> Thanks, Dad! Ah, this is more like it. Ah. I don't understand. I was trying to say... Yes! I can't say anything but yes. That's so weird. Oh, well. <laughs> It'll probably go away in a minute, I think. Molly? Molly, why are you in the pool? You were supposed to do your homework. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to ground you now. No, you can't. Dad said I could get in the pool. What? He did? Absolutely. Now, I was wondering if you could take me to the mall later and buy me the newest iPhone. <laughs> no, I don't think so. How about now? Abracadabra. Here we go! You can never, ever say no! Whoa! What's happening? Whoa! I feel weird! <laughs> are you okay now, Mom? Yeah, I think so. That was really strange. So what do you say, Mom? Will you take me to the mall later and buy me the newest iPhone? Mm, yes! Yes! I definitely will! Wait a minute. I didn't want to say that. Why is my head nodding? Yes. I, I, I was trying to say... Mm, mm, Yes! Okay. Well, uh, something is definitely going on here, but I don't know what. Uh, I think you're just turning into the nicest mom ever. Okay, I'm going to be in the pool. <laughs> <sighs> I don't understand. Why can't I say mm, 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 yes? <laughs> well, the spell worked on mom and dad. Let's see if it'll work on Daisy. Daisy! Oh, Daisy! I don't know where Daisy is right now. I'm in my room. What do you want, Molly? Um, I was wondering if you could do all of my chores for the entire week. Absolutely not. Have you lost your mind? How about now? Abracadabra. Uh, wait a minute. I can't remember the rest of the spell. Uh, uh. What are you talking about, Molly? Just hold completely still, Daisy. I'm 
Trying something for science. Yeah, that's it. It's part of my homework. Abracadabra, here we go. You can never say no. Okay, Daisy, how do you feel? I feel fine, Molly. How am I supposed to feel? Um, so what do you say? Will you do all of my chores for the whole week? You can't say no. No. What? The spell didn't work on you? Of course it didn't. I've read that spell book that was hidden in the dryer a long time ago. Now, Molly, how about you do my chores for the week? Wait, what? Well, are you going to? N n n yes. Wait, wait a minute. How did you use the spell book on me? I did it, Molly. I... Memorize the entire spell book and I cast it on you about five minutes ago when I was on the balcony looking over the pool. <laughs> now go to your homework. Okay. Oh man. And then when you're done with that, you better take the spell off mom and dad. Oh. And don't use mom's computer. Fine. Oh, this is the worst day ever. And don't ever say the magic word, no. Ah! Finally, I got all my homework done. Now I can sit down and play a game. Hmm, what should I play? Roblox Piggy, of course. <laughs> I love that game. Computer, why won't you work? Ugh! Molly, don't hit the keys on your keyboard, please. But, Mom, my computer's not working. Okay, well, we'll have to call the repairman then and see what's going on with it. Oh, man. Daisy. 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 Molly, what do you want? Right now I am playing a game. Okay, but can I use your computer for, like, half an hour? No, of course you can. I love this game. It's so much fun. Every time I play it, I'm like, yay, this is so much fun. It's so much fun. Daisy, you were talking so much right now. I'm, like, super fast. Slow down for a second. Just shh. Molly, don't tell me to be quiet in my your room. How rude. You could get out now. Really seriously, get out. No, Daisy, I need to borrow your computer for, like, 30 minutes because, ugh, my brain has melted from doing homework, and, well, it's not working. Your computer's not working? That's because you always bang on the keyboard. If you didn't bang on the keyboard, you wouldn't have that problem. Daisy, can I use your computer? No, I already said that. Now, I have to get back to this super amazing game. Oh, man. Fine. Woo, the brightly colored unicorn. Oh, boy, my new cooking show was on. Mom said I could watch this. What? No! I was watching TV. I want to watch a brightly colored unicorn. Sorry, Molly. I already got permission to watch this show. What? No, I was watching it first. Molly, she asked like a half an hour ago. Okay, Daisy, but could you watch it after? Because I was already watching the brightly colored unicorn. No, no, I can't. Ugh, you say no to everything. Ugh. Well, I guess I'll work on my unicorn painting since I can't watch TV and I can't play on my computer. Ugh, what's a girl to do? Molly, Molly, ooh, I love your unicorn painting, but I would do it with more purple, of course. Daisy, I didn't ask for your opinion. Well, I think you need it because I'm a better artist than you. I won that award last year at school. Daisy, seriously, get out of my room. Molly, I don't think so. You need my help with this. Oh, M G. Does anybody have a sister like this, or is it just me? I wish more than anything, Daisy could only say one word, and the word was yes. Whoa! I feel weird. What's happening to me? I I I feel so weird. Daisy, do you still feel feel weird now? Yes. Okay. Um, can I use your computer? Yes. <laughs> Wait a minute, why did I say, say, yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, I think my, my wish came, came true. Daisy, can you say anything other than yes? Yes. Okay, let's hear it. Say something other than yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Daisy, are you freaking out? Yes, yes, yes. Girls, what's going on right now? Nothing's wrong. Daisy, you're super fine, right? 
Yes! 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 Uh, see, Mom? She's totally fine. She's she's 100% cool. Aren't you, Daisy? Yes! <laughs> okay, Daisy. Well, uh, you have to stay out here, okay? Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to play your computer. Is that okay? Yes. Ooh! <laughs> My sister can only say one word, and it's yes. I'm playing her computer, and it's so much fun. Ah! Ah, it's not a word, Daisy. Use a word. Yes. Yes! 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 <laughs> Daisy, do you want to go do my laundry? Yes. <laughs> we'll get going. Stop turning off the lights. Okay? Yes. Okay, now go do my laundry. Yes! <laughs> Don't cry about it, Daisy. You're happy, right? Yes, I'm happy. Doesn't sound like it. Try to sound happier. <laughs> Best day ever. Best day ever. Ooh, I'm kind of getting hungry. When Daisy gets done making me, I'm um, doing all my laundry, she can make me a snack. Daisy, would you make me a snack? <laughs> Daisy, you can't hold it in. You want to say something, don't you? Yes. <laughs> Do you want to make me a snack? Yes. <laughs> Have fun making me that snack. Hey, where'd mom go? She's probably taking a nap, which is best because I don't want her to know my little secret. <laughs> I put a curse on Daisy. Um, I think I'm going to play this game a little longer and then I might go get in the hot tub. I mean, since Daisy's doing everything and has to say yes. <laughs> La 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 la. Ooh, I don't want to play ping pong. I was going to play piggy. That's right. OMG, this is so much fun. Okay, time to go get in the hot tub. <laughs> what are you trying to say? You trying to say something other than yes? Yes! Oh, you made me a hot dog. Ugh, I'm not really happy with a hot dog. Why don't you make me something else? Yes! <laughs> make me some sort of treat. Here's the plate. <laughs> Daisy, don't cry, okay? Everything's gonna be fine. Yes! Don't you wish sometimes you could make your um sister just say yes to everything? Ah, <sighs> the brightly colored unicorn's on, and I'm totally relaxed. A watermelon slice! Not good enough! Make me cookies! And actually, I'll take the watermelon slice, too. <sighs> Daisy, stop crying. Seriously, why are you crying? You, you're having fun, aren't you, Daisy? Yes! <laughs> That'll teach you for being the most annoying sister in the world! Ah, <sighs> this is the life. Daisy, get going! No! Woo! <laughs> I said something other than yes! What? No! How is this happening? The spell will up! Thank goodness! You know what? If this is a spell that works, to ride this one on for size, I wish that all Molly could say was yes! What? No! No! Yes! <laughs> it worked, Molly! It worked! Now all you can say is yes. Molly, are you going to go do your homework right now? Uh, yes! Yes! <laughs> Molly has to say yes to everything. You better get going, Molly. There's a lot of homework you'll probably be behind on. Yes! 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 <laughs> Good luck with that. Then when you're done with that, you could do my stinky laundry. Right? Yes! <laughs> Hurry up, Molly. After that, you're going to make me some cookies, right? Yes! Ah! You can't say anything other than yes. Don't even try. No, because someone put this spell on me already. Now get going on the laundry. Oh. <laughs> Do yours, then mine. Do everybody's laundry in the whole house. Yes! <laughs> Now you know how it feels to be a yes person instead of a no person. And I'm probably just going to talk a lot and drive you super nuts the entire time. Ah! 
Okay, so you want me to drive you crazy, right, Molly? Yes! Okay, here we go. So let me tell you what I found out when I was at the mall the other day. Pink is out, purple is in, and I need a new fashion wardrobe. <laughs> yep, you love me talking about this, don't you? Yes! So I'm going to start off getting new shoes. Then I might get some new pants and shorts, and they're going to be purple with a little bit of white and black, too, because I, I like to have some neutral colors. And ah! You cannot scream, okay? Yes! Now put the laundry away and um, go pay the bills with your allowance. <laughs> ah, yes! Go do it, Molly. Go do it. Ah! Hurry up, Molly! Why are you being such a slow poke? Yes! Uh-ohs! You don't have enough money. Oh no. Now you're not gonna have any electricity. Life's gonna be bad. Daisy! I've had enough of this! <laughs> Wait a minute, the spell will wore off. Yeah, and now you know how it feels to be cursed to only say one word. Daisy! That's my favorite word as I'm chasing you and trying to tell you you're the most annoying sister ever! Daisy, did you lock me out? Daisy! Daisy! What is going on? What's gotten into you? I have a question. Mom, 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 mom. Okay, what is it, Molly? Um, can I have some ice cream? <laughs> Molly, no, you know it's right before dinner. Of course you can't have ice cream. But I'm hungry. Molly, dinner is in the oven. It'll be ready in 10 minutes. You can wait that long. No, I can't. I'm starving. Mom, help. <laughs> can't wait any longer. Send ice cream! Molly, you're being so dramatic right now. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? What happened? Uh, she wants to eat ice cream for dinner. I'll do CPR! Dad, no! no! You need to send ice cream. I don't need CPR. You look like you might need CPR. Are you dying? Yeah, I'm totally dying without ice cream. It's not fair. I can't eat what I want. Why can't I make my own decisions? Because, Molly, you'd make bad ones. That's why you're a kid and I'm a grown-up. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at these adorable dogs. I love this. Dad, Um, I can't do my homework. What? Why, why not? Um, Daisy's watching dog videos on the internet, and um, I need to use the computer for my homework, so guess I don't have to do it tonight. Molly, pff, whatever. You still have to do your homework. Ask Daisy nicely to get off the computer. I'm already off of it, Molly. It's all yours. Nah, I'm just going to skip it. Molly, no, you're not. The answer is no. Go do your homework. Ugh, the answer is always no, it seems. Ay, ay, ay. Something's wrong with the computer. Molly, you just have to learn how to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that funny dog. It's smiling. <laughs> Molly, do your homework already. Family, dinner's ready. Huh, fine. I don't know why we can't eat chocolate ice cream instead. Because, Molly, you can't eat chocolate ice cream for dinner. Can I when we're on vacation? No. But but it's vacation! Well, who cares? Right now it's not vacation, so just eat the cheeseburger I made you, please. It's delicious. I made it out of a veggie patty. What? <laughs> Ew, vegetables? No way! I love Mom's veggie patties. You would, Daisy. You would. Well, Molly, you're still eating it. Of course I am. I'm starving. What else is there to eat around here? Molly, could you stop yelling? You're so loud. Yeah, Molly, why don't you take it down just a notch? Ooh, I want to have ice cream for dinner. What? That, oh, 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 that, that's, that's not fair. Actually, it's very fair. <laughs> I'm a grown-up, so I can eat what I want. Dear, we're supposed to be setting a good example. Yeah, set a good example, Dad. Eat a veggie burger instead. Not a chance. I don't like those. They're gross. Hey, I worked hard on this dinner. Okay, bye. I'm going to watch TV. Uh, if only I could live a life like my dad. Mom, mom, mom. Yes, girls. Oh, it's getting very late. You should get to bed. No, actually, mom, now that we're done with dinner, I was wondering, can we go swimming in the pool? 
What? N no! It's almost midnight! You can't go swimming in the pool at midnight on a school night! <laughs> Marley, you're asking such crazy questions. What's wrong with you? Daisy, can I see you in the other room, please? What is it, Molly? OMG! Our parents say no to everything! Yeah, you do have a point there, Molly, but that's because you have crazy questions or crazy requests. But they're still my requests! Why do they have to say no to everything? Can they just say yes to one thing? Either ice cream for dinner or no homework or swimming at midnight? No, we can't say yes to anything, Molly. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Mom, Dad, Daisy and I have decided something. We did? Wait a minute. I didn't know I was a part of this decision. What are we telling them? Wait, I don't want to get in trouble. It was all Molly's fault. Okay, girls, what is it? You guys say no to everything. Well, that's not true. We don't say no to you doing your homework, eating healthy. Exactly. Anything that's fun is off limits. I propose that we have one day that's a yes day. Hmm. I don't know, Dan. That doesn't sound like such a bad idea. Whoa, Molly. You kind of had a good idea for once. I know, right? Tomorrow, um, our parents can only say yes. Do you guys agree? Well, as long as it's nothing dangerous. What do you say, Dan? Oh, I don't see why we couldn't do that. All right. Tomorrow is a yes day. Okay, well... It's already tomorrow because <laughs> it's almost 2 a.m. What? Go to bed. Tomorrow's school. Um, no. Tomorrow, I'm not going to school, okay? Oh. All right. Yes, you can stay home. Ha <laughs> ha! Skip day, skip day, skip day. And also, I'd like to stay up late. It's already late. Go to bed, Molly. Okay, I'll give you that. It is pretty late. But tomorrow, as soon as I wake up, <laughs> Everything is a yes. Good morning, parents. Good morning, Molly. You're up pretty early for staying up so late. I'm so excited about today. I don't want the next 24 hours to pass me by while I'm sleeping. Wow, maybe every day we should say yes and get you out of bed on time. Yeah, well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a mountain of waffles with chocolate ice cream on top. Whoa, <laughs> that sounds super unhealthy, Molly. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Yeah, doesn't matter if it's unhealthy. I get to eat it because today is a yes day. So can I have chocolate on top of my waffles? Mm, uh, uh. Okay, yes you can. Ha ha ha! Daisy, you want chocolate on top of your waffle? Absolutely, Molly. I'm still kind of tired. I could use an energy boost. Uh, Daisy, there's no laying on the counter. It's a yes day. You have to say yes, and I want to lay on the counter. Okay, yes, I guess you can. Mm. Okay, now I gotta get the waffle. Okay, let's see. I've got the ice cream. Just a little bit of waffle. Mm-hmm. So delicious. Waffle. Chocolate. Waffle. Chocolate. Waffle. Chocolate. Waffle. Chocolate. Waffle. Chocolate. Ugh, I ate too much. <laughs> I'm stuffed. What do we got to drink? Ooh, Bloxier, delicious. Molly, don't forget to shut the refrigerator door. I don't have to. It's not my day to do it. Molly. Uh, Mom, I think you should su shut the refrigerator door. Ugh, Molly, really? Okay, I'll do it since it's a yes day. Daisy, are you ever going to wake up? We have important things to do. Come on, I want to ask you something. Okay, Molly, what is it? Well, so far we've had waffles with ice cream, but maybe we should ask for something bigger. Like what, Molly? Like what if we borrow Mom's car? What? She's never going to let us do that. She has to. It's a yes day. Oh, Mom! What is it now, Molly? I'm kind of afraid to ask. Can we um, borrow your car? What? No way. Are you crazy? Uh, Mom, don't forget. It's a yes day. Oh, all right, but be careful, okay? We will! Come on, Daisy! <laughs> I'm gonna ride in Mom's car. I'm gonna ride in Mom's car. It's gonna be super amazing. Ooh, it's beautiful! Mom's car is so amazing. 
Yeah, except for she has to get that license plate changed. It still says gaming with Dan on it. Yeah, it's totally not Dad's, though. It's Mom's. He never drives it. Molly, it appears to me that you've never driven it all. Okay, I've never driven this car. I'm having a little bit of trouble with it. Ugh, ugh. Okay, I'm on the road. I'm good. Molly, watch out for that bush. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we gotta go over the bridge. Yeah, don't go down into the grass. Let's play some awesome music. P I G G Y. Piggy's after me. A P I G G Y. A Piggy, won't you set me free? Molly, you're all over the road. Turn down the music. You're not paying attention. I'm totally paying attention. Molly, you just took out that sign. Molly, what are you doing? Whoa! 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 Oh my god, Daisy, I just put mom's car in the pool. OMG, Molly, get out, get out. Daisy, I can't, my door is stuck. Ah! Daisy, I'm going down with the fishes. Molly, there's no fishes in the pool. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be the only fish and I can't breathe underwater. Molly, just hang tight, I'll get out an axe. You just carry an axe around? Yeah, for emergencies, of course. Okay, step back, Molly. I don't know about this, Daisy. Molly, what's your alternative? Going to the bottom of the pool forever? Wait, I'm out! Daisy, you did it! Oh my gosh. Molly, how are we going to tell Mom about our car? Um, well, we could just, like, tell her that, uh... Uh, how can I word it so that she has to say yes that this is okay? Hmm, let me think about this. We could say to her, um... Mom, you're totally fine with us crashing your Jeep into the po the pool, right? And she'll have to say yes. That's genius! Mom, you have to be okay with us driving your Jeep into the pot. I keep saying pond! Me too, Marty. <laughs> it's pool. Let's practice again. Mom, you're totally cool with me driving your Jeep into the pool, right? Yes, I'm totally cool with it. Ah, this should be fine. Let's go home. Molly, I'm a little nervous. She's going to freak out. I don't think so. I mean, she has to say yes. It's still the yes day. Oh, boy. This might not go as planned. Hey, where's your mom's Jeep? I was going to take that to go over to the grocery store. Oh, uh, mom let us borrow it. Oh, she did? Wait, what? She did? Yeah, she had to say yes. Remember, because it's yes day? Oh, boy. I can't believe she let you drive her prized Jeep. She sure did. Okay, well, bye. Well, wait a minute. You guys are here and the Jeep's not. Where, where is it? Ah, uh, see you later, Dad. Oh, boy. That didn't go so good with Dad, Molly. How do you think it's going to go with Mom? I have no idea, but we're about to find out. Oh, hey, girls. How was your drive in my Jeep? Um, it was amazing, Mom. Yeah, totally, except for the end. What do you mean, except for the end? <laughs> I didn't hear you girls pull in. Where, where's the car? Um, uh, Molly, remember what we practiced? Oh yeah. You're totally okay that I drove your Jeep into the pool, right? What? You what? Oh my gosh, you drove my, uh, wait a minute. You, you're kidding, right? <laughs> you're kidding right now, right? <laughs> you're just teasing me, right? You're pranking me? No, Mom, it's a yes day, so you have to be fine that we drove your Jeep into the pool. Wait, you really did drive my Jeep into the pool? Uh, yes? Oh, I don't like yes day anymore. Well, Mom, I can see that you want to take a nap in the kitchen right now, so I know you're really tired from doing the dishes all the time and stuff. Could I have a thousand dollars? What? She's gone insane, Daisy! Well, in her defense, yes day hasn't gone so well for her. Does that mean I can have a thousand dollars? I guess that means yes, since it's a yes day. Thanks, Mom! I got all the cash money! I got all the cash money! Molly, what are you going to do with that much money anyway? Um... Duh! I'm gonna go to the ice cream store and I'm gonna buy all the ice cream in the world. What? Seriously? <laughs> Don't worry, Mom. I'll bring you back a mint chocolate chip. I know it's your favorite. Okay, sorry. I'm just gonna step over you. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, we might be able to get your Jeep out of the pool later. But first, we're gonna go to the ice cream shop. 
Whoa, <laughs> there's mom's Jeep. Oh well, it was a nice Jeep while we knew it. Marty, she's not gonna be happy tomorrow when that um Jeep isn't out of the pool yet. Well, if she wants it out of the pool, then she needs to work on getting it out of there. Oh boy, yeah. Good thing it's a yes day because we'd be grounded otherwise. Wait, why isn't anybody here? I don't know, Marley. Maybe they want their afternoon break. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave the money right here. I'm going to take all the ice cream. Seriously, Marley? Yep, pretty much. You start with some bubble gum. Mm. So good. Then I'm going to have some birthday cake. Mm. So good. Then I'm going to have some mint chocolate chip. Super delicious. Oh, I forgot about the vanilla. Marley, you're going to get a stomach ache. No, I'm not. I dare you. I can eat more ice cream than you. We'll have to see about that one, Molly. Ooh, chocolate. Mm. Mm. So good. Molly, did you eat $1,000 worth yet? Not even close. Molly, why did we eat all that ice cream? Ugh. I know. I'm definitely going to throw up. Definitely. Uh, I've got to go to the bathroom. Where's our bathroom? Molly, I don't think there is a bathroom. What? No! Ah! Molly, maybe this yes day wasn't such a good idea. What? Don't talk like that, Daisy! Well, I mean, we drove the Jeep into the pool. And we ate too much ice cream. Maybe our parents knew what was good for us all along. What? I'll never, I'll never surrender to that idea. Ever! Molly, I think I'm going to be sick. Ah! Ah, me too. Ah! So much ice cream! Marty, get off of me! Why are you laying on me? Sorry. I just, I was trying to get to the bathroom so I could... Bleh. Ew, Marty, gross! I don't want any more yes days. Never again! I don't know what you're talking about, Daisy. I'm gonna have a yes day again tomorrow. Well, you can do it alone, Marty. This is just crazy! Thanks so much for watching our show today, Brooke. Hi. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, the new iPhone. Guys, the new iPhone is amazing. You want to run out to your local electronics store and purchase it right now. Whoa, Daisy, did you hear that? Brittany says we should get the new iPhone. I know, she's such a star. I love her. <sighs> but I haven't saved up enough money yet for the iPhone. That's okay, I know what to do. Mom! Molly, I'm right here. <laughs> you know the downstairs is all one room, right? Yeah, but Mom, I have a question. Uh, please stop crawling on the counter, Molly. I can't afford a new one. Uh, sorry, Mom. I'm just really excited. She's gonna say no. Uh, Daisy, shh! I haven't even asked her yet. Mom, Mom, Mom. Beautiful, Mommy! Okay, Molly, what is it? Spit it out. You are the most radiant, amazing mom on the entire planet. What do you want, Molly? Nothing. I'm just saying you're amazing. Mm, I think you probably are going to ask me for something. Okay. Um, You know how on Brook High they have the brand new iPhones? Uh, yes, Molly, but that's because they got them for free because that is the show that's like most popular right now, so iPhone just gives them to them. Yeah, I know, but... Uh, I want the new iPhone, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a big ask, Molly. Um, I, I, I don't think that I can afford that right now. I'm really sorry. What? But, but, Mom, my old phone is like a flip phone. It's so old. I'm pretty sure the dinosaurs called each other on my phone. Well, Molly, just be thankful you actually have a phone. A lot of girls your age don't have a phone at all. Yeah, Molly, try to be appreciative. Hmm. This app was delicious, Mom. Ugh, can't believe it. I can't get the new iPhone. I could have told you that, Molly. Duh. I cannot believe that I just won a bazillion dollars. What's the first thing you're going to buy? Uh, a new laptop, of course. They're also our sponsor for this video. Oh, my gosh. Now the stars from Rags to Riches are getting new um, iPads. I definitely want one of those or a new laptop. Ooh, I could use that for school. I'm going to go ask Mom. Uh, yeah, good luck with that.
already asked for a new iPhone and she said no. But this is for school. It's necessary. My laptop keeps freezing. Mom! Yes, Daisy, what is it? Dinner's gonna be ready soon. My laptop keeps freezing whenever I try to do my schoolwork. Oh, man. We're gonna have to take it into Best Buy then and maybe they can figure out why. No, Mom, you don't understand. This this computer is so old, I can't use it anymore. Um, well, we're going to have to make it work because uh, I can't afford a new one right now. Even with all the overtime at work, I have to pay the mortgage and the car payment. And even your dad's mowing the grass instead of hiring someone else to do it. We have to all pitch in during this rough time. But, Mom, I need a new iPad or a new laptop to do my schoolwork. Daisy, I told you we could go to the Best Buy and see if they can fix your laptop. But, but, told you, Daisy. I knew she wasn't going to say yes. Hey, what happened to TV? Oh, I'm so tired from mowing that grass. It's like a thousand degrees outside. Ah. Dad, I'm so sorry you're dying, but what happened to cable? I need TV. Oh, your mother and I canceled that so we could save some money. What? No! No new iPhone, no new laptop, and no cable? I can't take this anymore. I've got to get out of here. I'm coming with you, Molly. Girls, wait a minute. If you're going out, I need something from the grocery store. Oh, really? We've got to go do an errand? Yes, Molly, please. I, I need some eggs so I can finish what I'm making for dinner. Okay, fine. Can I buy a candy bar? No, Molly. Of course you can't. You don't have enough money for that. But I want a candy bar. No, Molly, I need eggs. Don't buy a candy bar with that money. Okay, Mom, fine. Come on, Daisy. Ugh. I don't like being poor. Being poor stinks. I agree, Molly, I agree. Now remember what Mom said, Molly. No buying a candy bar as much as you want it. Well, hello there. Welcome to my grocery store. Hi. Um, I only have enough money for some eggs. Where are those? Uh, back right-hand corner. Hey Luke, what's up? Yeah, I'm just I'm just uh, working at the grocery store tonight. The lottery is up to hundred. What? The lottery is up to a hundred million dollars? I'm never going to the grocery store again. And it's said that the winning ticket is in Brookhaven. Holy guacamole! Yeah, I'm gonna buy some tickets. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome if I win. I'm gonna move to the beach. I'm never gonna work at the grocery store again. Daisy, did you hear that? Hear what, Molly? The sound of my stomach growling. I hope dinner's ready when we get home. No, the grocery store worker. He said that the lotto was up to a hundred million dollars. Hundred million dollars. Hundred million dollars. Hundred million dollars. Holy guacamole! He also said the winning ticket is at one of these stores in Brookhaven. Wow, that's insane. Whoever wins is going to be really lucky. Now let's get the eggs and go home. I'm hungry. Don't you see, Daisy? We got to buy the winning ticket. How are we going to do that, Molly? Don't be ridiculous. We're going to do it because we're going to use this $3 to buy the winning lotto ticket. What? No, we're not. We have to use that for eggs. Yeah, but if we buy the winning lotto ticket, we won't have to worry about eggs. We could buy a bazillion eggs. Molly, how do you know you're going to buy the winning ticket? Um, well, um, I don't know. I'm just having faith it's all going to work out. What's going to happen is you're going to spend that $3. We're going to go home and there's not going to be any dinner. You could be grounded for a week. Well, Daisy, I'm buying the lotto ticket. Molly, you're not going to buy the lotto ticket. D Daisy, let me out of this car. Don't, don't you get, get, let me out of this car. I'm buying it. I'm buying it, Daisy. Get back here, Molly. You're not spending mom's money. I am spending mom's money. Daisy, did you seriously just put me back in the cart? Daisy, I'm not three years old. Stop it. Are you going to act more mature about the money mom gave you? Yes, I will buy the eggs. Are you sure? Yep. Come on, let's go over and get them right now. <laughs> I'd like the um, winning lotto ticket, please. Well, there's no way I know if you're going to actually get the... Just sell me the ticket. Okay, fine. Here you go. Molly, no. No. You spent the money on a lotto ticket, Naughty! Naughty, you're grounded. Daisy, I'm not your kid. Stop putting me in the... Stop putting me in the cart! Fine, Molly. You're so naughty. I don't even want you in my cart. This is all your fault. I don't even know you. You're dead to me. Oh, my gosh. My sister's so annoying. 
Good luck with that ticket. You know, I'm going to buy the winning lottery ticket. Okay, fine. We'll see about that. Hey, Daisy, where's the eggs so I can finish up making dinner? Uh, ask Molly about that. I had nothing to do with this, Mom. I cannot be blamed. Mom, Mom, guess what? Um, you were able to get a two-for-one deal on the eggs? And then we can have it for breakfast in the morning, too. No, Mom, I spent the money on something else. What? I told you not to buy a candy bar. I needed those eggs, Molly. This is what feeds our family. What were you thinking? You're grounded. What? No, I can't be grounded. I didn't buy a candy bar. Then what did you buy? A lottery ticket. What? You gambled with our money? Are you crazy right now? Oh, that makes me so mad, Molly. But you don't even know if it's a winner. Go to your room, Molly. Go right now. Fine. Well, Molly, that worked out real well. But when I scratch it off and everybody sees I'm a winner, Molly, you're not going to win. Well, let's find out. Daisy! Oh my gosh! Oh, Molly, what is it? Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh! Molly, are you pranking me right now? What's going on? I, I... Molly, stop talking gibberish. What's wrong with you? Did you bonk your head? What's going on? Oh my gosh. Is that a is that a winning lottery ticket? For a hundred million dollars, Daisy! Oh my gosh! Uh, yeah, I'll come back to you when you're actually awake. Mom, mom, mom. Molly, I can't talk to you right now, okay? I'm really stressed about money, and I don't have any eggs to feed you guys, and I'm just really worried. I'm going to have to take another job, I think, if I can even get one. Mom, your problems are over. What are you talking about? That lotto ticket that I got, it, it's a winner. What, for like a free ticket or something? How's that going to help us? Mom, no, it's it's the big winner. A hundred million dollars. What? L let me see that. Oh my gosh! Oh! oh my gosh, is there anybody in this house that hasn't passed out? Where's dad? Hey, everybody, we won a we met we met we won a hundred million dollars! All of our troubles are over! Dad, what exactly are you doing? It's the day we're supposed to move into our new mansion. I'm just so excited. I can't stop dancing. I can't stop dancing. Is that a new song you wrote, Dad? Yeah, I'm thinking about becoming a musician now that I don't have to have a job. I can't stop dancing. This is my signature dance move. Uh, Dad, it's just weird. Nope, nope, nope. Raise a roof, raise a roof. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, Dad. You're even weirder when you're rich. Well... I'm allowed to be weird. I have all the money in the world! Let's move these moving boxes to our new mansion! Oh boy, my dad is so crazy right now. Ah, now this is the life I was talking about. No one wanted to believe that my winning lotto ticket would actually be, well, a winner. But look where we are now! I have to agree, Molly. I thought you were insane, but this place is, well... Amazing! It's off the hook! And, um, I'm really glad you bought that winning lotto ticket, Molly. Am I still grounded then, Dad? Oh, uh, that's a difficult one to answer. Go ask your mother! Come on, Daisy, come see my new sports car! I've got one of my own, Molly. Whoa! Okay, yeah, I want to ride in yours. That's just because you can't drive, Molly, and I'm a better driver. No, you're not! I'm a fine driver! Uh -huh, sure, says the girl who put mom's car on the lake. Okay, that was a little bit of a mistake. You think, cheapers? Oh my gosh, Daisy. We have so much nice stuff now. Like, we've got a mansion. We've got nice cars. We have amazing clothes. We have, we have the newest iPhones. What are we going to do with all this money that's left over? I don't know, Molly. What, what do you think we should do with it? Hmm. Daisy, I think I have the perfect idea. 
What are you doing, Molly? Why are you going over there by the dumpsters? I just saw something when we were driving by. Oh, I'm so hungry. I hope this dumpster food doesn't make me sick. Ew! Why are you eating from the dumpster? That's disgusting. Um, you could go to the dino. They have regular food. Daisy, he's eating from the dumpster because he doesn't have any money. Oh, wow, that's really sad because I still have like 90 million dollars and... Daisy, probably not a good idea to tell him that you have tons of money while he's sitting here eating from the dumpster. Sorry, I guess I just get a little nervous when I don't know what to say or do. Well, I know exactly what to do. Hey, I've got something for you here. Whoa, uh, seriously? Yeah, there's like, um... Five hundred thousand dollars here. What? F five five hundred thousand dollars? Yeah, it's enough to buy you a small house. Oh, oh my God! Did he die? Ah, the homeless man died. No, I just can't move. Partially because I just got a hundred five hundred thousand dollars, and partially because I ate something rotten from the dumpster. Oh, my stomach hurts. Yeah, you don't have to eat from the dumpster ever, ever again. How could I ever repay you? Uh, I can't wait to go to my own house where I have a bathroom because I'm probably going to have to throw up. Oh, man, that stinks. Yeah, don't eat from a dumpster ever again. Here's $500,000. You could buy food and everything you need. Uh, there was... There was this work truck I wanted to get because I'm super good at construction and I wanted to start fixing stuff up and, and and now I can afford to start my own business. I'll never be homeless again. How could I ever thank you? What's your name? Come on, Daisy. Don't even tell him our name. Let's just do it and be good Samaritans. Molly, look at the orphanage. It really looks a bit fun town. Maybe we could donate some money to them too. That's a great idea, Daisy. Let's do this. Hi, are you my mommy? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm just a teenager. I can't be your mommy. Oh, I really need a mommy. This place is really run down. Oh, I'm sorry, but look, my sister and I are going to um give the orphanage $2 million, and it's going to be a lot nicer for you, okay? Are you sure? Are you sure it'll be nicer? Yep, until your mommy or daddy comes to find you. Aw, uh, thanks so much. We're just gonna leave the bag of cash right here. Hello, can I help you? You two are a bit young to be adopting. But I see that our little Kelly really loves you. Aw, she's super nice. Maybe I could volunteer here sometime. Anyway, we have something we'd like to give you. Two million dollars. Wait, what? <laughs> Very funny. Is that Monopoly money? No, it's real money. We won the lottery, but we don't need all this money, so we're giving some to you. Seriously? Yeah, please use it for the orphanage and make it a nice place for all the kids. Oh my gosh, the kids right now are out on the playground, except for little Kelly. She kind of didn't want to go out today. She just wanted to hang out inside. They're going to be so excited when they come in and they see this money. And I can tell them we're going to buy new toys and we only have one crib here for all the kids. What? That's horrible. Yeah, everybody's been sleeping on those mats on the floor over there. Every kid deserves to have their own bed. I couldn't agree more. Thank you, girls. This means the world. You're welcome. Bye, Kelly. I follow you. You could be my mommy. Sorry, Kelly. But I could come back next week and maybe I could be your big sister. I love that. Yeah, come back. Hello, this is Molly. Hello, Molly. This is the mayor of Brookhaven. I'd like for you to come down to the courthouse. Um, look, if this is about me driving my mom's car into the pool, I'm really sorry. What? You you were the one that did that? Uh, no, 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 uh, never mind, I didn't say anything. Please come over to the courthouse right away. Okay, I'll, I'll tell my sister now. Come on, Daisy, we have to go to the courthouse. For what, Molly? I don't know. I hope we're not in trouble. Me too, Molly, me too. Well, here's the mayor's office. Here goes nothing. H hello Hello, Molly. Nice to see you. Um, if you're going to give me detention, my teacher does that enough. <laughs> I'm not going to give you detention, but I am going to wait for your sister Daisy to get here, because this is for both of you. Oh, gosh. What kind of trouble are we in? I have to give my mom a heads up. What'd she do now? Why are you assuming it was just me, Daisy? Because, Molly, I'm an angel and you're the demon. What? 
Actually, I think you're both angels. Really? Why? Well, I've been told that the two of you have been donating large sums of money to people in need. Seriously? You, you heard about that? The mayor? I sure did, and I want to let you know that you guys have won Citizen of the Year of Brookhaven. We usually only pick one person, but since you both helped, we're going to pick two this year. Whoa! That's amazing! What do we get for it? You get these trophies! They're made out of solid gold. Whoa! And you get free ice cream from the ice cream shop downstairs for the entire year. Oh my god, that's amazing! I mean, we still have millions of dollars, so we could just buy ice cream, but that's the thought that counts. We don't need any rewards, Mr. W Mayo. We just wanted to do it because it was the right thing to do. Well, I can tell you that you girls are quite amazing. I'm very proud of you. Wow. Hey, uh, one thing money can't buy is um, a get-out-of-detention-free card for the year. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't have that kind of power of the teacher. Oh, man. Hey, Brookie. Oh, yeah, um, we're just chilling. Yeah, my sister's reading a boring book. It's not boring, Marty. It's a great book. Duh. Anyway, it's boring. Marty! <laughs> she doesn't think it's boring, but I do. My mom's just, like, chilling in the kitchen. Actually, I'm doing the dishes. Oh, yeah, she's not chilling. She's doing a chore. And Dad's watching TV. <laughs> Survivor, yeah. Oh, yeah, I could ask her. Okay, hold on. Mom? Yes, Molly? Brookie wants to know if I could go to the mall. Um, did you finish all your homework? Um, uh, uh... Molly, you know you can't go to the mall if you haven't finished all your homework. She said no, Brookie! Yeah, seriously, she did. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Mom! Come on! She was going to the mall! I wanna go! Molly, you know the rules! <laughs> I'm sorry, but unless you... Unless you do your homework, you you can't go anywhere. Oh, man. Why don't you go do your homework now so you don't have to miss any more fun things tomorrow? Yeah, okay. Ugh, homework. Why does a Daisy have to do her homework? I did it already, Molly. Sheesh. Homework is so boring. <laughs> ah, I guess I don't have to use my laptop. I could use this giant work computer of Mom's. <laughs> I bet she has some cool games on here, too. Oh! Adorable puppy! Oh, work stuff. Boring. 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 Okay, I'm gonna go back to the pup. What? She has Roblox on here? Oh, yeah, I'm totally playing this. Molly, are you on my work computer? Molly, you can play Roblox on mom's work computer? That's amazing. You're not so bad because she's gonna come up here and catch you on her computer. Nah. <laughs> she's not gonna come up here. Molly, she just asked. Molly, you're not supposed to be on my work computer. Besides, you're supposed to be doing your homework, not playing Roblox. Mom, come on. I just need to, like, play for a little bit, and then I'll do my homework later. You've been saying that for three hours. The answer is no. The answer is always no. Oh, I hate that the answer is always no. Molly, where are you going? Nowhere. I'm I'm not allowed to go anywhere. I'm stuck in the, ha the house with you crazy people, and the door's locked. I can't even get out. Molly, all you have to do is use the handle. Ah, I'm getting in the pool. Don't no bother me. I need to relax. Um, Molly, uh, I hate to break it to you, but you can't get in the pool. I'm already in it, Dad. You're not wearing a bathing suit. That's okay. I don't care. I don't even care at this point. Uh, Dan, is Molly down there? Yes, she is. Is she in the pool? Because she's not supposed to be. She's got to do her homework. That's it. I'm going to the bottom of the pool. Gonna pretend I'm a mermaid. Molly, where are you? I'm nowhere. Okay, let's see how I can hold, how long I can hold my breath for. Uh, not very long, Molly. Get out of the pool and do your homework. Oh, not you too, Dad. Everyone just keeps saying no to everything. I want to go to the mall. The answer is no. I want to play a game. The answer is no. I want to get in the pool. The answer is no. Well, all you have to do is your chores and your homework, and then the answer could be yes. Actually, I think the answer could be yes in a different way. <laughs> now, where is that spell book? Molly, are you going to do your homework? Uh-huh, sure, absolutely. I 
think I hid it out here in the in the dryer so no one would know where it was. Yep, here it is. The spell to make your family say yes to everything. <laughs> oh, Dad, where are you? I'm out here cooking some burgers. What's up? Dad, it actually looks like you're kind of burning our dinner. Well, you know, <laughs> I may not be the best cook in the world. Uh, Dad, can you just um look right at me for a second here? Why? Am I taking a vision test? I always pass those, you know. Uh, yeah, sure, that's it. Are you ready? Abracadabra, here we go. You can never say no. Whoa, that was really weird. All of a sudden, my vision got kind of funny. Never had that happen before. Hey, Dad, can I get in the pool? You know what your mother said. The answer is yes. Wait a minute, why did I just say that? I wanted to say yes. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Ah, this is more like it. Ah. I don't understand. I was trying to say yes. I can't say anything but yes. That's so weird. Oh, well, it'll probably go away in a minute, I think. Molly? Molly, why are you in the pool? You were supposed to do your homework. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to ground you now. No, you can't. Dad said I could get in the pool. What? He did? Absolutely. Now, I was wondering if you could take me to the mall later and buy me the newest iPhone. Uh, no, I don't think so. How about now? Abracadabra. Here we go. You can never, ever say no. Whoa. What's happening? Whoa. I feel weird. <laughs> Are you okay now, Mom? Yeah, I think so. That was really strange. So what do you say, Mom? Will you take me to the mall later and buy me the newest iPhone? Yes, yes, I definitely will. Wait a minute. I didn't want to say that. Why is my head nodding? Yes, I, I was trying to say... Yes! Okay. Well, uh, something is definitely going on here, but I don't know what. Uh, I think you're just turning into the nicest mom ever. Okay, I'm going to be in the pool. <laughs> I don't understand. Why can't I say... Yes! <laughs> well, the spell worked on mom and dad. Let's see if it'll work on Daisy. Daisy! Oh, Daisy! I don't know where Daisy is right now. I'm in my room! What do you want, Molly? Um, I was wondering if you could do all of my chores for the entire week. Absolutely not! Have you lost your mind? How about now? Abracadabra! Uh, wait a minute. I can't remember the rest of the spell. Uh, uh. What are you talking about, Molly? Just hold completely still, Daisy. I'm trying something for science. Yeah, that's it. It's part of my homework. Abracadabra! Here we go! You can never say no! Okay, Daisy, how do you feel? I feel fine, Molly. How am I supposed to feel? Um, so what do you say? Will you do all of my chores for the whole week? You can't say no. No. What? The spell didn't work on you? Of course it didn't. I've read that spell book that was hidden in the dryer a long time ago. Now, Molly, how about you do my chores for the week? Wait, what? Well, are you going to? N n n yes. Wait, wait a minute. How did you use the spell book on me? I did it, Molly. I... Memorize the entire spell book and I cast it on you about five minutes ago when I was on the balcony looking over the pool. <laughs> now go to your homework. Okay. Oh man. And then when you're done with that, you better take the spell off mom and dad. Oh. And don't use mom's computer. Fine. Oh, this is the worst day ever. And don't ever say the magic word, no. Ah! Ooh, Hospital 911, my favorite. <laughs> I wonder what's going to happen to Stevie. <sighs> she got hit by a train, and now they're trying to save her life. Ugh, it's epic. Might have to eat a cookie. Mm. Oh, God. Mm. Daisy, get, get out of the way. I'm trying to watch this. I have to vacuum. 
It's my chores. And then, of course, I'm going to mop, too. Daisy, mop and vacuum somewhere else that's loud. I'm trying to watch my show. But being so lazy, Molly. Come on, get up. No, I'm not doing anything. I have to eat this donut. Mmm, mmm, good. Is that your deal, Molly, is eat and eat and watch TV? Pretty much. <laughs> it's the best life ever. Who could that be? Brookie! I should have known. <laughs> Come on in, Brookie. Oh, Molly, you hit me with the door. Sorry, I was really excited to see you. Hey, Daisy. Oh, hey, Brookie, I can't hang out right now. Wait, what? Why? Because she has to clean. Oh, well, maybe we could do something fun afterwards. Do you want to go to the park, Daisy? Sorry, I can't. I have to do lots of studying. Daisy, we don't even have a test tomorrow. Wait a minute. Do we have a test tomorrow? No, Molly. For once, you're actually right. We don't have any homework. Wait a minute. We are on a very rare occasion where we don't have homework and my sister wants to do some anyway. Yeah, that is pretty crazy, Molly. Maybe she needs some time off. Daisy, why are you studying and doing homework? Because, Molly, I have to. I have to be the best of the best so I can make all my dreams come true. Um, Daisy, uh, you're an amazing friend and stuff, but taking breaks isn't bad for you, you know. I'm not taking a break! Now leave me alone! Whoa, grumpy. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude, guys. Ah, <sighs> just no one understands me. They don't get why I want to work so hard at everything. Well, uh, if we could get in your brain, maybe we could understand. That's it! Molly, you, you just made me think of something. I did? What is it? I created this secret potion to shrink people down. What? You did? Yeah, in my secret science lab. But I guess it's not secret anymore because I just told you. <laughs> secret science lab. Don't be ridiculous. Well, it's, it's not that big yet, but in my mind, it's amazing. Anyway, I made this potion, and if you drink it, I, I can swing you down, and you could go inside my brain and see how I work, how I tick. Oh my gosh, Daisy, that's insane. Okay, I'm going to go sit on the couch and relax. You guys take the potion and, you know, get inside my brain. This is creepy. This is crazy. Glug, glug, glug. Ooh, you made it taste like orange soda. It's delicious. Molly, not too much. Oh, mm. Molly, if you drink too much, you'll never be a normal size again. Okay, yeah, that would be very bad. <laughs> I don't feel anything. You will, Molly. You will. Whoa! I shrank so much already. I'm shrinking too. Whoa! Okay, Brookie, are you ready? Here goes nothing, Molly. <laughs> this is going to be one crazy trip through Daisy's brain. All right, guys. Time to see how my mind works. Ah! Oh, my gosh, Molly. Hold on. What is this place? I don't know. It looks like some sort of secret room. I don't know. Look, this is, there's, a, there's a laser door over here. Uh, maybe if we push this button, we can get inside. It worked. Well, I guess it's not that secret. Holy guacamole! This is the secret lab she was talking about. Wait, Brookie, did you not get through? I'm coming, Molly. The door doesn't seem to be working quite right. Okay, here, let me see if I can get it from my end. Come on, Brookie! Whoa, look at there's a lab worker over there. Well, of course she's gonna have minions. <laughs> Whoa, look at this! She's got a rocket. Uh, like a rocket thing that she can ride and a laser and oh my gosh my sister's invented a lot of things wow i think she could take over the world with this maybe that's precisely her plan molly i don't know daisy doesn't really wait a minute yes she does she would totally take over the world oh this door looks like it's locked i'll have to find a secret entrance into her secret lab inside her brain <laughs> Ooh, amazing now remember, Molly, we can't touch anything. We might mess up Daisy's brain forever. Oh man, that would be a pity. <laughs> Molly, you take it seriously. Okay, fine. Wow, look at this place. Brains. Um, hi. Ah, uh, brains. Did he just say brains? I think he did. Oh my gosh. Is he turning into a... I think he might be turning into a zombie. Ah! 
No wonder Daisy wants to have this secret lab. She's going to save the entire human race from the zombie apocalypse. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess her work is pretty important. This is why she wants to do her homework all the time. She has to save the human race. Well, let's see if there's any other zombies in here. I don't think I want to go meet any zombies. He wasn't totally zombie yet. What's this? Oh, she does some science experiments in here. OMG! She made a food machine! Whoa! Now my sister should do homework all the time if it means she's going to make me delicious tacos. Molly, I can't believe the world is going to be taken over by zombies. Not if we have Daisy on our side. She looks like she's going to be a brilliant scientist someday. No kidding, Molly. I don't see any other zombies. That might be a good sign. Yeah, it probably is. Whoa, I feel kind of funny. Oh no, are you a zombie too? No, I think we're going to the next place in our brain! Molly, you look so different. You look amazing. You look different too. What's going on? Ballet Academy? It looks like Daisy wants to be a famous dancer. Whoa, Jules! Molly, don't touch any of those. We can't collect those in our brain. Remember, we could mess up Daisy forever. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, Ballet Academy. Wow, this place looks amazing. Yeah, and it looks like the place she wants to come to study dance. So, wait a minute. My sister wants to be a famous scientist that saves the world from zombies. And she wants to be a famous ballerina? Well, I guess she dreams big. Holy guacamole, this place is amazing. Ooh, look at all the treats. Ooh, donuts, yes. Um, ooh, what are those? They look like some sort of sweet treat, like a tart and sandwiches and lemonade. Okay, I can see why she wants to come here. <laughs> I would too. This place looks delicious. Hmm, I want to eat everything. Molly, what are you doing? You can't eat anything in Daisy's brain. But I'm hungry. Molly, that's actually in your brain. You're not actually hungry in here. Well, yes, I am. I'm very hungry. Ooh, look at this dress. This is beautiful. That's probably the one that Daisy wants to wear on her award-winning night. You know, where she wins the medal for, for being the world's best dancer? Wow, she must practice a lot if she wants us to be her dream. I bet she does. She's an overachiever at everything. Let's go check out the dance hall and see what that's like. Okay. Wow, this school is very prestigious. I guess so. Now I understand why Daisy always wants to do the dance competitions. She always wants to practice and she goes to bed early and she makes sure she exercises and she only eats healthy food. <sighs> Her life is exhausting. <laughs> yeah, but she's going to dream big. She's going to do amazing things. Yeah, I think you're right. Whoa! Whoa! I'm being, I'm being tossed around into another part of Daisy's brain! Wait a minute. Daisy has the aquarium on her mind? Yeah, it looks like it. Maybe she really likes aquariums. May I have your attention, please? We're about to do a presentation on ocean conservation. Um, that will begin in 15 minutes. Ocean conservation? What is this place? This is a sad reality. Climate change is killing our beautiful reefs. Oh, huh, wow. Oceans are essential to life on Earth. They cover more than 70% of the planet's surface, regulate the climate, and supply oxygen we need to survive. Key factors contributing to the problem are overfishing, illegal and destructive fishing, as well as climate change. Oh my gosh, I think Daisy also really cares about the ocean and its animals. Huh, yeah, it seems that she does, because she seems to have an aquarium in her brain. <laughs> I knew something smelled a little fishy about her. Oh, very funny, Molly. <laughs> this isn't just a game. It's happening in real life. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. I guess I should be more supportive when my sister tries to learn about these things. Oh, look at the cute little fish. Yeah, they're all going to be dead if we don't help. Wow, Rookie, that was harsh. I know, but Daisy has a point. She's working hard to try to make a difference on this planet. Yeah, but it doesn't hurt to have a break once in a while. Well, I take a break if you two would ever get out of my brain. Well, I guess that's our cue to get on out of here. Yeah, before we get big again and then, uh-oh. Yeah, that would be disastrous. <laughs> well, fish, it was nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you. Wait a minute. The fish in Daisy's brain talk? 
Um, yeah, that's a little weird. I don't think it's weird at all. I'm a fish. I'm a fish. I'm a fish, 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 fish. Okay, I'm out of here. Jeepers creepers, Brookie. No wonder Daisy wants to work all the time. She has some really big dreams. Yeah, important ones, too. I can't even believe how big her dreams are. Yeah, she's going to have to work really hard. Yeah. Molly, why aren't you getting any bigger? Because she drank too much of the potion. Uh-oh. Looks like I'm going to be tiny for a while. <laughs> this could be fun. Do you want me to go inside your brain next, Brookie? No, definitely not. I don't want you to see what's in there. Why? Do you have a lot of earwax in your ears? Ew, no. <laughs> My stomach. Oh, I don't feel good. Oh. Why does my stomach hurt so bad? Oh, Molly. Huh? What? Huh? What's, what's going on? <laughs> Daisy, why are you waking me up so early? It's not even seven o'clock yet. Molly, I need you to come down here, please. Daisy, what? What's wrong? It's, it's my stomach. It hurts so bad. What? Well, well, did you eat something bad last night? Maybe maybe it's from the bean burritos or something. No, Molly, that's definitely not it. I'm serious. You probably just have to fart. Just try. Okay. Ew, Daisy! Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, you told me if I fought it, I'd feel better. And it's a lie! My stomach still hurts! Ew, that's super stinky. I have to get back into bed now, Molly. Oh, I can barely stand up. My stomach hurts so bad. Oh. Daisy, are you being serious right now or are you pranking me? Molly, I'm not pranking you. <laughs> I want mom. I don't feel good. Okay, I'll go get mom. Mom, mom, mom. Where are you? Mom, Daisy's really sick. Mom? Oh my gosh, it's Monday morning. Mom told me she had to leave early for work today. She's not even here. Oh my gosh, I have to try to take care of Daisy all by myself. Mom? Mom? Wait, where's Mom? Um, she had to leave early for work today, Daisy. What? No, I need my mom. Daisy, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know either. I just don't feel good. I've never felt so sick in my life. Okay, Daisy. Well, uh, I'll think of something. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Wait a minute. If she's that sick, I should probably call an ambulance. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, my name is Molly, and my sister Daisy is having really bad stomach pains. Oh, well, maybe it's just gas, dear. No, it's not gas! She already farted and it didn't make her feel better. Oh, okay, well, does she have any other symptoms? Daisy, do you have any other symptoms? Who are you talking to? 911. 911? No, I don't want to go to the hospital. I'm afraid. She says she's afraid and doesn't want to go to the hospital. Well, tell your sister, sometimes going to the hospital is the best thing you can do because they can help you there. I heard her and I don't care. I want to stay home. Okay, um, my sister's really sick. I don't want her to overhear this, but send an ambulance right away. Okay, dear. Thank you for calling. We'll send an ambulance right away. Molly, what are you saying? Um, nothing. I, I think you should just rest, okay, Daisy? I have to go get dressed now. Why, Molly? Um, I just do. Oh, my gosh. My sister's going to be so mad when she sees that I, I called an ambulance, but I think she really needs one. Molly? Maybe I just need to have some Pepto-Bismol. Uh, Daisy, I'm not so sure that that's going to help. It looks like you're starting to run a fever now, too. Oh, wait, I hear somebody outside. Is that an ambulance I hear? Um, uh, no. Molly, you better not have caught an ambulance. Oh, yeah, she's totally going to be super mad at me about this one. But it's for her own good. Hi there. 
I'm Paramedic Smith. Uh, where's the patient? She's right this way, but she's really angry that there, there's that person here to take her by ambulance. Okay, well, I work for EMS, so um, I'm just going to see if I can talk her into going to the hospital because it sounds like maybe she needs to go. Yeah, good idea. Daisy, someone's here to see you. It better not be a... Oh, my gosh, it's a paramedic. Oh, my stomach. Okay, sweetheart. All right, Molly, why don't you stand back over there, okay? I'm going to get in and take a look and see what's going on. Okay, Daisy, why don't you tell me what your symptoms are, honey? No, I'm not going to the hospital. Daisy, you don't want to get sick and die, do you? No, not really. Your sister's right. The hospital can help you. We have doctors and specialists there who will know exactly why your stomach hurts so much. And um, you have a pretty high temperature, so I'm going to need to take you in the ambulance. I'll be with you every step of the way, Daisy. Every step. I can't believe you called 911, Molly. Well, what would you have me do, Daisy? I mean, you're sick. You have to go to the hospital. Fine, Molly. Whatever. Daisy, I care about you. I'm really worried. Something is definitely not right. I know, Molly. That's why I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Oh, well, hi there. How can I help you? I'm just waiting for my sister to be wheeled in. She's having horrible stomach pain, doctor. I will take super good care of your sister. What's your name? Molly, and my sister's name is Daisy. Well, don't worry about a thing, Molly. We're going to fix your sister up. Thanks, because I'm really worried about her. Okay, Daisy. Thank you for being the most difficult patient in the entire world. Whatever, paramedic. Just drop me in the bed already. Daisy, no need to be rude. Well, ow, my stomach hurts. I can't help it. I'm telling you, it's probably just gas, but it's better to check it out. Ugh, that paramedic tried to give me a ride back out into the hall. I told her it wasn't even my break time yet. Oh, sorry, but your doctor has a good sense of humor. What a great bedside manner you have. Oh, thank you. Okay, Daisy, you have quite a high fever and stomach pain. I'd like to give you an x-ray. I want my mom. Don't worry, Daisy, I already called mom. She's rushing here right now. Okay, Daisy, I just need you to get right inside the x-ray machine. Excellent. It's really loud in here. Sorry about that. The machine is a little noisy. Okay, doctor. Tell it to me, Sue, wait. What's happening to me? Am I going to go to the to the other side? The other side of what? <laughs> the hospital? No way. No, is it? Am I going to die? Oh, wow. Well, I can see exactly what the problem is. What is it? You have appendicitis. Appendo what? I don't want to have a panda in my stomach. Oh, no. Not a panda. A Appendicitis. Yeah, precisely. A panda in my stomach. No, 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 no. Uh, you have something in your body called an appendix. And, well, yours is not working right, so we need to take it out. What? I need my appendix. No, you don't need your appendix, really. <laughs> it doesn't really do anything for you, except for be annoying. I don't want to have surgery. This is the worst day of my life. Daisy? Daisy? Mommy! <laughs> I was so scared without you. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry, but I'm here now. Everything's going to be okay, I promise. They say I have appendicitis. I know, honey. You are going to have to have your appendix out. I don't want to. That's scary. It's going to be okay, Daisy. I know it is. Easy for you to say. You get to keep your appendicitis. Oh, honey, it's your appendix. Appendix. I want to call it a panda, okay? Okay, Daisy, whatever you say. Oh, look, Daisy, I think they're going to be coming to take you to your surgery now. Mom, I could just stay here. Oh, my stomach! And live with your stomach like this? I don't think so, honey. You need to have this surgery. Everything will be okay. Here comes the doctor now. Okay, time to get that appendix out. It's Daisy Voorhees! Oh, <laughs> I kid, I kid. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wow, uh, you really do have a good sense of humor. <laughs> Except for I think this one kind of scared my sister a little. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> this is crazy town. Okay, Daisy, this might pinch a little, but it's anesthesia, which means you'll fall asleep and you won't feel any of your operation. I don't like shots very much. It'll only hurt for just a second. Ready? Okay. All done. All right, now you should start counting backwards from 10. Ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Okay, the patient is out. Time to take out her appendix. Molly, what are you doing? I'm just running back and forth. I'm feeling a little bit nervous about Daisy right now. Molly, everything's gonna be fine, I promise, honey. Oh my gosh, I hope she's okay. I hope she's okay. I hope she's okay. I hope she's okay. Molly, sit down, please. Okay. Oh, I'm super nervous. Mom, is Daisy gonna wake up or is she in a coma? No, Molly, she's not in a coma. She's just coming out of anesthesia. Let's go again. Hee hee. Ha ha ha. Hee hee. Why is she laughing hysterically? Um, well, sometimes people do funny things when they're coming out from anesthesia. Daisy, are you awake? I'm gonna eat all the ice creams with pickles on top. <laughs> I'm gonna ride a unicorn through the sky. <laughs> and I like cheese doodles. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've only got one thing to do. Mm, this is a delicious cheeseburger. Mm, sorry, I'm on my lunch break. But I wanted to come in and tell you guys that, well, everything went well. Great. <laughs> I can't wait to make a video about this. I love unicorns and I'm going to fly on one while I eat ice cream with pickles. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> oh, Daisy, <laughs> you are so out of it. It's fabulous. I'm just glad that Daisy is completely okay. Me too. And I'm glad that I can show all the YouTube fans how cray cray Daisy acts when she's coming out of anesthesia. <laughs> what are you laughing about? I want to laugh too. <laughs> oh, Daisy, you're not going to like this video at all. <laughs> These America's Funniest Videos are so funny. Molly, I think that's kind of the point is that they're supposed to be funny. Yeah, but sometimes I watch shows and I'm like, this isn't even funny. But this one is totally funny. Hey, Brogy, you want some popcorn? Really? You'd share your popcorn with me? You never share your snacks with anyone. Yeah, I'm kind of a pig when it comes to eating snacks. But you're my best friend and so I'll share the popcorn with you. I don't mind. Wow, Molly. <laughs> I can't believe how long we've been best friends. I know, right? We've been BFF since, uh, uh, since preschool. Yeah, that was a long time ago. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brookie. What's your name? <laughs> Are you in time out? No. Then what's the problem? Aren't you having fun? No, I'm not having fun. I miss my mommy. I want to go home. Oh, well, I'm not your mommy, but my name's Pricky. What's your name? My name's Molly. Hi, Molly. Maybe we could be each other's friends and we could have fun at daycare together. I want to have fun with anyone. I want my mommy. Yeah. I'll give you a hug if it makes you feel better. Really? You will? You're not my mommy. Yeah, but I could be your best friend. Here, you could also have this hippo. You could hug him too and make you feel better. Aw, it does make me feel a little better. My name's Molly, if I didn't tell you already. I'm, I'm Brookie, like I said, and I think we could be really good friends if you want. I want to be your friend, because you seem really nice. You seem sad, but I bet you're really nice too. Yeah, I, I'm nice. We could be best friends so we're old. Whoa, old is a long way away. Yeah, but we should be best friends until then. I agree. We could be best friends through all of school. And we could have adventures together. Yeah, that sounds fun. Do you want to go home anymore? Nah, I want to stay here with my best friend. Aw, that's sweet. Wow, we really have been friends forever.
Hammer! Yeah, almost close to forever. Hey, I've got to tell you something, Brookie. What is it, Molly? Well, I actually have to show you something. Stay here! I'll be right back! She's going to be so surprised when she sees this. <laughs> I bet she's totally forgotten about it. Now, where is it? Hmm. Oh, there it is! <laughs> Her cute little hippo that she gave me way back in preschool. Come on, elevator! There, it wasn't working. What is it? <gasps> My hippo! You still have it all these years later? Yeah, I think it's time to return it to its owner. It's given me a lot of comfort over the years. Oh, hi, hippo! Oh, I love my hippo! I totally forgot that you had it all these years. Yeah, I got it from my BFF, so I kept hippo nice and safe. Aw, Molly, this is so sweet. Thanks for inviting me over today, bestie. No problem, Brookie, anytime! Well, I better get home. I've got a lot of homework to do. Ugh, boring. See you later, Molly! Bye, Brookie! Brookie is such a cool girl. I'm so glad she's my bestie. Ah, I should probably get some fresh air. <laughs> Maybe ride my bike or something. Whoa! Someone's moving into that giant mansion next door. Like, seriously, it's a mansion. Whoever lives there must be rich. I should probably go say hi. Moving you in. <laughs> Knock, knock! Anybody home? Hello? Is anybody there? Is anybody home? Oh, hi! You must be one of the new neighbors. I'm Brittany. Can I come in? Sure, just push the door open. My hands are a little full right now. Hi, I'm Molly. Where'd you go? Sorry, I just have to go back down to the moving truck. I'll be right there. <laughs> literally looked like she flew to the moving truck. <laughs> oh, I'm back. Wow. Your house is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> My parents have a lot of money. Uh, yeah, I guess so. So, what's the school like here? Oh, I think you'll like Brookhaven High. It's pretty nice. Cool. So, uh, you want to hang out? Aren't you busy? Nah, this can wait. And besides, our butler can help me. Your butler? Holy guacamole. Are you a Billie Eilish fan? Totally. I love her music. You should see me in a crown. Oh, I love that song. Um, so you want a snack? Ha 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 ha! Thought you'd never ask. Come on. We have tons of stuff in our fridge. Tons of treats and stuff. Ooh, treats. You're speaking my language. So what do you want? Ice cream, pizza, Reese's, uh, anything you want. Ooh, double scoop of ice cream. Mmm, pretty. This is delicious. It's gourmet. Our chef makes it at home with an amazing hand-turned ice cream machine. Whoa, that sounds fancy. And wait a minute, did you just say you have a chef? Yeah, we can call on our chef anytime to make us anything we want. Holy guacamole, you live a really charmed life. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool, but most important thing are my favorite people. Really, could I be one of your favorite people? It seems like you could. You seem really cool, Molly. And since we're neighbors, we should probably be BFFs. Don't you have a BFF from your old town? No, I was, well, not very popular at my old school. Really? But you're really funny and nice and, well, you seem super cool. Yeah, I don't know. My old school was kind of lame. <sighs> my parents had to pay a million dollars for me to go there a year. Whoa, holy guacamole! Yeah, but I think it was a waste of their money. I'd rather go to public school because people there just seemed so rude to me. Wow, mm, this ice cream's great. Want to see my room? Well, it's totally not completely unpacked yet, but you can see it if you want. Yeah, I'd love to. Wow, her room is probably amazing. Come on, let's go up the elevator. Well, here it is. Holy guacamole! It's like you've got a New York City style loft apartment up here. Is this your own bathroom? Yeah, it's pretty posh, right? Totally. Brittany, I was thinking maybe we should be BFFs. Yeah, definitely. Oh, sorry, I've got to take this. Hello? Hey, Molly. <laughs> I came home and did my homework, and I thought maybe we could hang out again because we're BFFs. Um, sorry, Brookie, I'm busy. Busy? I could help you with your, like, chores or anything. I don't mind. I mean, you shared your popcorn with me. Molly, who is that? 
Come on, don't you want to spend time with me? Uh, Brookie, I'm here with my BFF right now. I can't talk. What? I'm your BFF. What are you talking about? No, um, I'm sorry, but you can just be my regular friend because uh, my next door neighbor, Brittany, is really cool and I've decided she's my BFF. Are you serious, Molly? We've been best friends since preschool. What are you talking about? Um, I'm really sorry, but the phone's breaking up. Can't hear you. Molly, I know you're making those crackly sounds. I'm coming over. No, don't do it. Okay, okay, she hung up on me. Who was that? It was my ex-BFF. Wait a minute, you had a best friend before me? Uh, yeah, but she means nothing to me. You're everything, Brittany. You're everything. Seriously? The only fun thing you could find to do with your new BFF is hang out in the bathroom? What, do you have to fart or something? Whoa, Brookie, what's going on with your face? Uh, Molly, that's the look of jealousy. Are you jealous that we are BFFs and you're no longer her BFF? Yeah, I am, because Molly's been my BFF since preschool, and we're best friends. Um, okay, I can see you guys are gonna fight over me now, right? Well, I'm not gonna fight, because I'm just gonna, I'm gonna challenge you to a competition to see who her best friend really is. Oh, okay. Um, well, how about a dance competition? Good, fine. Let's do it. Maybe we should come out of the bathroom, though. <laughs> There's a lot more space out here, guys. All right, um, I guess let the dance competition begin. Oh, yeah? You think that's a good dance move? I don't think so, Brittany. I can do that in a heartbeat. Wow, you guys are really going to fight over me. I'm not sure if I should be afraid or flattered. Watch this dance move, but you can't do this. Oh yeah, I totally can do that. Okay, are you guys just gonna dance all day? Yeah, until one of us drops over. Guys, stop, 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 this is insanity. Look, I, I, I want you to both be my friends. Molly, are you serious? We just had a flashback together at the beginning of this video. Yeah, that was pretty special. That's because we've been friends forever. Best friends are built on years of getting to know one another, being there for one another. You've known this girl for five seconds! Okay, I guess you're right. I, I got a little starry-eyed about all the snacks at her house. Oh, Molly, you're always thinking about your stomach. Wait a minute, are you saying that Molly only likes me because I have snacks? No, Brittany, I'm saying that I know Molly enough to know that sometimes her stomach thinks more than her brain. OMG, you do know me the best. You do. I do. Look, Brittany, Bookie is my best friend, but I want you to be my friend. And maybe over time, you both can be my BFFs. But best friends takes time. I understand, Molly, and I still want to be your friend. And maybe, Brookie, if you don't hate me too much, we could be friends too. Oh, I don't know about that, Brittany. Come on, Brookie. I know you. You're a kind person. Let Brittany into your heart. Yeah, I guess. But don't try to steal my best friend again. Whoa. <laughs> don't mess with Brookie. <laughs> you guys, we could have so much fun today. There's a lot of snacks here. Yeah, sounds good to me. Let's go eat some. <laughs> Awesome. All of my toys are out in the living room. I love this. <laughs> Look at this adorable cat. Meow, 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 meow. Da -da -da -ba 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 Woo! Messy, messy. Da -da -da -ba fun, fun. That's right, baby Kara. It is fun. It's not really that messy. I did -da -ba -ba. Yes. Messy, messy. Woo! Fun, fun. Yeah, okay. It's a little messy, but it's super fun. I play. Whoa, what's this huge mess in the living room for, Molly? What, what, what's this, what do you mean, huge mess? Molly, you put all of your toys out into the living room. Mom's going to be mad at you. She always says, keep your toys in the, in your bedrooms, please. Don't make a mess in the common areas. Okay, yeah, but I'm going to clean it up, Daisy. Yeah, why, Molly, you better clean it up right now. No way, Daisy, you're not my mom. You can't tell me what to do. Okay, Molly, I'm just warning you. Mom's gonna be mad. 
Mad about what? Girls, who made this giant mess? We all did, Mom. Molly, that's not true. Yeah, it is, Mom. Everybody made a mess. Well, I told you girls to keep your toys in your room. Ugh, the last time you girls played out in the living room like this with all of your toys, I had to pick it up after work at midnight. I know, Mom, but this time we're going to be super good about it. We promise. Fun, fun. Okay, well, I'm going to run an errand. When I get back, I want you girls to have all of these toys picked up. Okay, Mom, sure. We'll do it. We promise. Okay, well, I hope so. Molly, you said I pulled all these toys out. No, I didn't. This was all your idea. And you shouldn't tell people fibs. Naughty, naughty. Well, I'm sorry, but um, I figured you just want to play with these toys, so you'd be partially to blame. No, Molly, I don't want to play with the toys. And you can't hold baby Kira responsible. She's a baby. Speaking of a baby, come on, baby Kira. It's time for your nap. No, Baba, no, no. Yes, baby Kira, do you want to sit in time out? No. Okay, then, come on. It's time for your nap. I'm going to give my baby sister a nap, and then, um, yeah, I've lost stuff I got to do. Go on. Get in your bed. Nighty night. Sleep tight. Have a good nap, baby Kira. You're so cute and cuddly. But go to sleep. Good night. Yeah, night night. Oh, I have this huge mess to clean up. Nobody wants to do that. That's not even fun. Hot tub time! And the brightly colored unicorn's on! Yes, best day ever. I'll clean up that mess later. Ah, so relaxing. Look at me just chilling in the hot tub. Molly, did you pick up that mess yet? Uh-huh, yeah, sure, sure I did. The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. Molly, no you didn't. I'm looking at that huge mess right now. Stop watching TV, stop being in the hot tub, and go clean up your giant mess. Oh, Daisy, I'll clean it up later. Don't nag me. Molly, I'm only nagging you because you're not listening. Uh-huh, sure, sure you are. Get out of there, Molly. Fine, I'll clean it up. Go in your room or something. Fine, Molly, I'm not helping you. I didn't make the mess. Okay, cool. Finally, my sister's gone. Oh, I'm starving. Better have a snack before I clean up that mess. Let's see, what should I have? Um, ooh, fruit smoothie, a pear, an orange. Some cereal, that sounds delicious. I'm gonna have some Roros. <laughs> Just gonna pour this into the bowl. Oh, this is gonna be delicious. I like it with some milk on it. Well, I mean, I don't know how else you would eat your cereal. It's not like you'd pour soup on it. Mmm. <laughs> These Roros are delicious. Mmm, yeah. Ah, oh, now I feel awesome. Time to go play on my computer. Molly, did you clean that up? 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 Oh my gosh, my sister is annoying. Molly, you didn't even clean it up and now you're playing a game. Mom's gonna be home soon and she's going to say, Molly, you're grounded. No, 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 I've got plenty of time. She won't be home anytime soon. Molly, yes, she will be home. She will be home very soon. Uh-huh, sure. Oh my gosh, oh, I've got to beat this boss. Molly, stop playing that video game. Fine, I'm going to my room. I'm not responsible for you, Molly. That's right, Daisy, you're not. You're definitely not. Hey, what's going on here? Daisy, come back here right this instant. What, Mom, what did I do? Molly, you come here too, please. Um, okay, um. Whoa, Mom forgot to close the door. I'm gonna close it. That way we don't have anybody wandering in here. Molly, what is this mess? Daisy, what is this mess? <gasps> Daisy, I put the toys away and then you took them back out. Daisy, that's very naughty. You're grounded for a whole week. But, but I, 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 uh. No, I don't want to hear it, Daisy. Go to your room. Molly, what are you doing? 
Uh, I'm just playing on my computer, being a good kid and all that. Okay, well, I guess I'm cleaning this all up. Yeah, sorry about that, Mom. Uh, oh, boy, I almost got caught. That would have been horrible. Too bad my sister got caught. Ah, oh, there's such a huge mess here. I can't believe that Daisy didn't listen. That's so unlike her. Mom, I, I need to talk to you, please. Oh, Daisy. I know that this is the first time you've been bad, really, in a long time. But you really are grounded, honey. I'm sorry. But it wasn't the truth. What do you mean it wasn't the truth? I mean, I, I, I didn't do this. You, you didn't, but, but Molly said you did. But she was lying. I didn't. I, I didn't make the mess in the first place, and I didn't make it the second time. It was Molly, and when you left, and she said she would clean it, she didn't. She got in the hot tub, and then she played on the computer and stuff, and she didn't do it. <gasps> she didn't? Okay, Daisy, I'm sorry that I didn't listen to you the first time. I'll go find Molly, and you're not grounded. Thank you, Mom. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry, Daisy. Thanks for telling me the truth. <laughs> I love this game. It's so fun. Molly, I have a question for you. Okay, Mom, but I'm playing this game right now. Um, no, you're not. Uh-oh. This sounds serious, Mom. What is it? Did you lie about Daisy making that mess? Um, the uh, Molly, don't lie. Um, yes. Molly, I'm so disappointed in you. You know better than that. I know, I just panicked because, well, well, I didn't want to get in trouble and I was just having fun and I didn't want to have to pick it up. But is it fair that I should have to pick it up or your sisters when you've made the mess or dad? Um, yes. No, Molly, the answer is no. It's not fair that we should have to pick up your messes. Now, I want you to pick up your mess and you're grounded. But mom, the carnival's this weekend. And if you can be a good girl by then, maybe I'll consider lifting your grounding. But until then, you're grounded. Oh, this is horrible. Yep, it sure is, Molly, but you're the one that put yourself in this boat. Oh, I've got to clean up all these toys and I'm grounded. And Molly, I really hope you um consider being good because you want to be able to go to the carnival, right? Uh, yeah, I do want to go to the carnival. Well, then I think you should be on your best behavior. Oh, look at this octopus. It's so cute. Molly, you're not supposed to play with the toys. Put them away, please. Okay, I'm putting them away. Molly, Mom, what's for dinner? Molly... Don't think about dinner right now. Just go clean, okay? But, Mom, cleaning is boring. I know it's boring, but if you make the mess, then you're the one that has to clean it up. Okay, Mom. I guess you're right. That's good, Molly. I'm glad you see things my way. <laughs> yeah, moms always have their way, and basically, you have to follow them. Well, that's just because we're keeping you safe and we're teaching you so you can grow up to be good people. Yeah, I know. It's just hard having to do all these chores sometimes. Hey, Toy Hero fans. So, I kind of got grounded for being naughty. But I'm going to be on my best behavior so I can go to the carnival this weekend. And guys, if you want to see what's happening with my Roblox family, make sure you subscribe to all four of my channels. Well, our family channels. I just have one channel. And my sister has a channel too. So, the channels are the Toy Heroes, the Toy Heroes Games, Gaming with Molly and Gaming with Daisy. Oh, I really wish that I hadn't um, just just slacked off and not done any of my chores. Molly, what are you doing right now? Uh, Sitting on the couch talking to the Toy Hero fans. Molly, you're supposed to be cleaning that up. Oops. Okay, guys, I really got to go because I've got to clean up all this mess. See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>
Achoo! Whoa, Molly, you sneezing a lot. What's wrong with you? I'm not really feeling too good. Yeah, you're fine, Molly. Come on, you don't want to miss lunch today. We're having pizza at school. No, I don't think I want any pizza. Oh, Molly, liar, liar, pants on fire. Pizza's your favorite. Now get up. Come on. Ugh, fine, Daisy. Molly, don't go that way. We just installed the diving board. Ah, there's a diving board out my room. Oh, my gosh. I walked out the door, and then I fell into the pool. Oh, my gosh. That would be cool on any other day but today. Today, I... Uh, achoo! Sneezy and... <coughs> coffee and... Ugh. Not feeling good. Molly, don't be faking it. Come on. Time for school. Okay, Daisy. I'm coming. Why are you walking so slow? I'm not. This is just as fast as I can go. Molly, do you want some breakfast? No. I can't eat any breakfast. Well, Molly, breakfast is the healthiest way to start the day. Yeah, okay, Daisy, if you say so. Ugh, I hope she doesn't come in here. Huh, maybe a nice relaxing bath will make me feel better. <coughs> Achoo! Oh, I think I definitely have a cold. Molly, Molly, open up. Time for school. I have to go to the bathroom before we go. Occupied, Daisy. Occupied. Molly, you've been in there for 30 minutes. Daisy, I just got in here. Molly, open up, open up, open up. Uh, does anybody else think it's weird that there's a spotlight in the bathroom? What are we putting on a performance or something in here? La, 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 la. Okay, I think that's totally weird. Okay, that's the weirdest light in a bathroom I've ever seen. Molly, open up! Can I go to the bathroom now? Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. A boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. Whatever, Daisy. I'll just relax here till she gets back. <coughs> Achoo! Molly, are you seriously seeping again? Huh? No, no. Well, Molly, what's wrong with you? I told you I don't feel good, Daisy. I don't believe you. You're such a fake. I'm not faking, Daisy. Come on, let's go to school. Whoa, she's grumpy. She woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. How come I'm so much bigger than this car? I can't, I can't take this car anyway. He's too tiny anyway, Molly. Okay, let's see. To school we go. Molly, please seem a little cheery about it because right now you seem like the grumpiest sister in the whole world. Oh, I told you already. <coughs> Achoo! I think I'm sick. Well, you are sneezing a lot, Molly. I know. Totally. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. A boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. Daisy, turn that noise down. Oh, Molly, you sound like a grumpy old guy. Oh, you know who's like, turn down that racket and get off my lawn. <laughs> Santa, I know him. Ho, 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 ho. I'm on vacation until next Christmas. See, I'm in my swim trunks. Santa, I really want a pony for Christmas. Daisy, he's on vacation. Leave him alone. Jeepers creepers. Dun, 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 dun. School. Ugh. Molly, don't be such a grumpy Gus. I guess my first class is computer lab. Oh, let's see what's going on today. Okay, my computer doesn't seem to be working. Hello? Computer? <coughs> Molly, could you please stop coughing on um, my computer? That's not nice. Well, <coughs> it's not like I can help it, Daisy. I told you. Huh? Huh? Molly, don't you dare sneeze on my keyboard. Huh? Okay, I'm holding it in. Thank you, Molly. Achoo! 
Molly! Why are you sneezing on my keyboard? Rude! Oh, I had to put on this mask so I don't get sick. Seriously, Daisy? You didn't believe me that I was sick this morning, and now you're putting on a mask? Well, I thought about it, Molly, and with all you sneezing and coughing, I think you're definitely sick. Oh, funny, very funny. You should get out one of those masks, too. I don't know where they are, but I sure could use a sandwich. Molly, you got eat a sandwich in, um, computer lab? Well, watch me. Yum, 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 yum. I don't have one of those fancy masks. Sorry, Marley. It stinks to be you, I guess. Daisy! That was rude! Oh, I don't feel so good, Daisy. Well, Marley, maybe you should go to the school nurse. No! I don't want to go to the school nurse! But Marley, she'll have you lay down and maybe you'll feel better later. Or maybe she'll send you home. Ah, uh, okay. Come on, Marley. I'll walk you down. Really? Yeah, it seems like you need a friend right now. And a good sister. Well, I'm glad you believe me that I don't feel good. Yeah, Molly, come with me. Come to the school nurse. Ugh. It's getting worse, Daisy. Ah, It's definitely getting worse. Hi, we're here to help my sister. Hey, students. How are you today? Well, not so good. Not so good at all. I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, what what seems to be the problem? It's not with me. It's with my sister Molly. I'm just here for moral support. Yeah, she's here for moral support. Okay, well, what's what's wrong? I'm all at you, sneezy and <coughs> coffee and and all that kind of stuff. Oh man, sounds like maybe you should go see the doctor. Oh, maybe she should go into the hospital. Um, I don't know about that. I don't know. Let me see. Oh, my gosh. Nope, definitely not going in there. Molly, maybe you need it. No, I can just see the nurse. I'll be fine. Hi, Molly. What brings you to my office? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my my stomach is to, uh, starting to hurt. And, um, well, I I have a cough and, and I have a runny, stuffy nose and I keep sneezing. Oh, that sounds terrible, Molly, but I don't hear you sneezing or coughing now. Are you sure you're not okay? No, I'm really not okay. I think I might go lay down in one of these cribs. <sighs> Molly, you're not supposed to be in a crib. Get out of there. I just need to lay down. I don't feel good. <coughs> Achoo! Whoa, you do sound like maybe you have a cold. Okay, why don't you go sit right over there? Okay, I will. It's really nice to see you, Molly. I just wish it was under better circumstances. Would you like me to help heal you? Yeah, but then I think you should probably send me home. Okay, well, I'm giving you some medicine now for your cold, and then I can call your mom if you want, and she can come get you. I think that's probably best. Achoo! I definitely, I definitely don't feel good, Dr. Hart. Okay, well, I need you to go next door and lay down on the cot until your mom gets here. Okay. Molly, what did you find out? Molly! Molly, come back here. I'm talking to you. Molly! Okay, I want to lay down, but I don't I don't understand how. Huh. Molly, what happened? Well, I saw the school nurse and at first she didn't believe me just like you. And then she said, um, she said, tell me how you don't feel good. And I told her. Here, take this magic healing apple, Molly. Thanks, Daisy. And then basically, um, I started coughing and sneezing, and she gave me some medicine. She said she was going to call Mom. I think that's probably a good idea, Molly, and I'm really sorry that um, basically I didn't believe you and asked you to come to school. It's okay, Daisy. It's okay. I love you. You're the best sister, and okay, not always the best sister, but you're a pretty good sister. Hey, I think I'm the best sister. I wouldn't go that far, Molly, but, you know, seriously, I hope you feel better. Thanks, Daisy. Me too. Me too. Toy Hero fans, don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel so basically you can see where Molly gets better. 
Yeah, and we have lots of fun at this cha ha -choo! channel too. <laughs> okay, guys, if you could say get well soon in the comment section below, that would be really nice. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Good morning, girls. I'm just about to make breakfast. Oh, boy, Mom, can we have pancakes? Sorry, Molly, I don't have the ingredients for pancakes this week. But, Mom, I really want pancakes. Come on, it's summer vacation. Yeah, that sounds really good, Mom, please. I'm sorry, girls. Uh, there, There's no pancake mix, and I don't have money for that this week, okay? Fine. Dizzy, why are you just staring at the empty TV screen with nothing on it? Well, I'm imagining that we had cable. What do you mean? We, we don't? No, girls, I'm sorry. Your dad and I are trying to save money, so um, we decided to take the cable out. There's still the news station, though. The news station? Who wants to watch that garbage, Mom? Oh, that's so boring. Wait a minute. Is that a leftover piece of pizza? Mine! I claim it! Mmm, so good, Mom. You make the best homemade pizza ever. Molly, that's weird to eat that for breakfast. I think it's delicious. Mmm. So, Daisy, would you like some oatmeal for breakfast? No, I'm not really even hungry. <sighs> I wish we could go with everyone else somewhere today. What do you mean? Where is everyone going? Oh, everyone in our school and their families are going to the water park in Brookhaven. Wow, that sounds like so much fun. Uh, how much does it cost? Uh, it's like $50 a person. Per person? Per family? That's right, Mom, so it would be about $200 for us to go. $200? What's the school crazy? We can't afford that. Oh, Mom, come on, can't we go, please? You must have a little bit in your, um, in your wallet or something, right? I only have, like, $3, and I have to use that for gas money to get to, to my job, girls. Like, I don't have $200 to take you to the water park. Well, this is the most terrible summer ever. It's just... I hate being poor! I hate it! <laughs> Ugh, I feel like a horrible mom. I wish I could afford to take you girls to the water park. Molly, come here, please! What? I'm pouting in my room. What do you want? Now I'm gonna pout in the bathroom. Molly, come out here, please. What? You made mom feel really sad. I'm really sorry, girls, that... I can't give you more things like, you know, expensive tickets to water parks and, and beautiful clothes. But I love you more than anything. And I always make sure you have a roof over your head, even if it leaks a little. And, and, and I have food in your belly, even though it's not always exactly what you want. I always make sure that you know that I love you so much. And I hope someday you'll know that that's enough. I didn't want to tell you girls this. I wanted it to be a surprise, but... Since you're so sad about the water park, I guess I'll tell you now. We're going to Disney? Whoa, Mom, this is amazing! Molly, she didn't say we were going to Disney. Ay, ay, ay. No, your dad and I managed to save up to take you girls to the ice cream shop. Wait, what? That's all we're doing all summer? Ugh, I knew you wouldn't be very impressed. It's all we can afford, girls. We're only getting ice cream one time this summer. Oh, working three jobs is just killing me. Oh, I've been working on cutting down all these trees to make lumber all day, and it's exhausting. Well, I guess now's the perfect time to get that ice cream, Dad, since you look really hot. I am. It's 100 degrees outside. Wait, you told the girls about our surprise trip? Well, I had to. They wanted to go to the water park, and we can't afford to send them even though they're the only ones at school that aren't going to be able to go. Oh, we failed as parents. No, you didn't. We're happy that we get to eat ice cream, right, Daisy? Yeah, I'm going to get my favorite. But only one scoop. It's all we can afford. Okay, well, let's get going, guys. Come on, girls, get in. Dad, are you sure you don't just want to walk? I mean, your car has a habit of actually not getting us anywhere, ever. It's always breaking down. Yeah, and it smells like a rotten egg fart. <laughs> oh, it doesn't smell that bad. Yes, it does, Dad. It literally smells like a giant fart. What's wrong with your car? 
Ah, uh, the girls do have a point, honey. It does smell pretty bad. Well, hopefully it just gets us there. That's all I care about. Uh, Dad? I smell something really funny. Oh, sorry, that was me. <laughs> Leftover pizza does it to me every time. Oh, maybe it wasn't your car that smelled like a rotten egg fart. Maybe it was Molly this whole time. Ew, Molly. What? What? We have money to go through the car wash? No, it's free car wash day. We need to take care of that smell. But, Dad, we're... Ah, we're getting soaked, Dad! Well, you're the one that I think is making it smell like a rotten egg fart, so, Molly, you need a bath. We could all use a bath. The water's not running at the house real well these days. Ah! <laughs> I got soap in my hair! I think that's kind of the point, Dad. <laughs> not only does the car get washed, we do too! Free baths for everyone! Now that we're all clean and smell good, we can go into the ice cream shop. I can't believe it! The car actually made it this time. <laughs> Let's see, what kind of flavors do I want? Remember, Molly, just one scoop, it's all we can afford. Aww. Oh. Well, I'm definitely getting my favorite mint chocolate chip. Mmm, that is so good. So good. Mm. Whoa, who's that? They're pulling up in a limo, Daisy. Whoa, they look so rich. I bet they're the rip richest people in all of Brookhaven. Ooh, I'm going to get a scoop of everything. Then I'm going to go to the Louis Vuitton store and buy five new purses. Oh, honey, <laughs> slow down with all this spending of our money. Just kidding. We're billionaires. You can have anything you want, whatever makes your heart happy. Oh, dear. You're so sweet. Wow, I wonder what it's like to be that rich. Yeah, Molly, me too. I can see it now. This is going to be the perfect spot for my new mansion. Let's see, which mansion do I want? I am so rich, I can have anyone I every anyone I want, really. Um, it just depends on the the one I think is the cutest. Oh, M G, this one's really cool. This is the one I'm gonna have in Brookhaven, but I'm also gonna have one in Hawaii. And I'm gonna have one in Malibu, so this is just my Brookhaven one. Wow. Look at my new house. It's amazing! I'm so rich that I had an architect build this house. Completely off center. Look at it. <laughs> it's like I'm falling down no matter where I am in the house. This house cost me $4 million. It was worth every, every penny. Sometimes I just lay money down as my pillow and I, I sleep on it because that's how rich I am. Like I can make money into pillows. Sometimes I even take a bath in money. I'm so rich. I'm so rich. Stacks of cash! Stacks of cash! I got me stacks of cash! I think I'm gonna go buy a fancy sports car, like, right now. What kind of sports car would I want? I could buy a school bus. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a school bus and a sports car, because that's kind of funny. Ooh, look at this. I really like this. Okay, I'm buying that! It's, like, not letting me. Okay, fine. I'll try this sports car, then. This one's better than that pink one anyway. Oh, yeah. Look at my new car. Oh, I'm so rich. It's just like the best thing in the world. Ah, time to go to the beach. Ah, as soon as I learn how to drive. Whoa, I totally ran into my new house. Oh, well, I'll just buy a new garage if I ruin this one. Ah, why won't the wheel turn? Obviously, I need to hire our driver. I can do that. I'm rich, you know. I'll also hire a chef, and I'll hire, I'll hire everything. I'll hire a housekeeper. And when you're rich, you can do whatever you want. You can sit on the beach all day, just counting your money and feeling the sunshine on your face. <sighs> and guess what? You never have to go to school ever again. Whoa, 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 Molly. What are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking about? The rich have the best life ever. They still have to go to school, Molly, whether you're rich or not. Nope. Mm. If I had all the money in the world, no more school for me. Molly, it's against the law to not go to school. You have to go to school. Okay, but the teachers would work for me. That means no more detention. Yeah, if you say so, Molly. Molly, would you really want to be rich? 
Well, yeah, wouldn't be ri being rich be awesome? Yeah, but you'd have different parents and a different sister and everything. Mm, yeah, I guess that's true. So, would you still want to be rich? Well, I sure would miss my mom and my dad. Hey, where's mom? Sorry, I had to go put another quarter in the parking meter. Ugh, it was the last quarter I had to. Well, maybe I can find another one under the couch cushion. <laughs> maybe we could save up and bring the girls back to the ice cream shop one other time this summer. That would be so nice. As much as being rich would be amazing, I sure would miss my mom and dad and sister. Really, Molly? You, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to be rich? Nah, not if I couldn't be rich with you guys. And you guys, well, are poor. So I'm going to stay being a family with you guys. Oh, Molly, that's amazing. And when I grow up, I'm going to do something awesome, like be a doctor, or a rocket scientist or something. And I'm going to make sure that I buy us all a really nice house. Oh, Molly, you don't have to do that. But you're such a sweetheart for saying it. Yeah, no money can buy an amazing family. And mine sure does love me a whole lot. Uh, it can't be morning already! Oh my gosh, why does it happen so early? Why? Molly, oh, today's a brand new day. I can't wait to go to school. Seriously, Daisy, you can't wait to go to school? You are crazy! Insane. Totally psycho. Whatever, Molly. Just because you never do all of your schoolwork doesn't mean that all of us are bad students. I'm not a bad student. Okay, yeah, I can't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> I sort of am. But I'm smart and I like to read and stuff. Yeah, you just don't like homework or tests or any of the work part of school. Um... Yeah, duh. Mm, I do like the work of eating the pizza at school, though. Molly, school lunch is not the important subject. It is in my eyes. <laughs> <gasps> did I forget to do my schoolwork? Oh, man, I hope I did it all. I hope I did it all. I'm really trying to turn over a new leaf. Okay, math homework check. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait, I did that. Yes! I actually wrote my school paper for a minute. I thought I forgot to, but nope, totally didn't. I'm gonna go have some breakfast! Uh, Dad, why is your head stuck in the oven right now? <laughs> That's a funny one, Molly. <laughs> um, well, your dad is fixing the oven. Hold on, I almost got it. Oh, man. Does that mean we can't have any pancakes today? I think I fixed it. Oh, um, what's that smell? Ew, Dad, did you fart? No, I think the oven's on fire! Ah! Abandoned ship! Just kidding, I think it's gonna be okay. Oh, Dad, seriously. <laughs> you really freaked me out there. Where's Daisy? Daisy! Just making sure all of my T's are crossed and my eyes are dotted for my schoolwork. Wait a minute. What's this? There was a school paper due today? How did I miss this? Oh my god, this is terrible news! Oh my god, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Okay, what would Molly do? She always is terrible about doing her homework and, 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 and I can't fail, so maybe I'll use her as an example. I know what she'd do. She'd fake being sick. That's how I can get out of this. I I don't feel good. Achoo! <coughs> yeah, that seems really believable. Daisy? Daisy, where are you? Da Daisy? What, what's going on? Oh, Molly. Achoo! I'm sick. You just got out of bed five minutes ago and said you felt great. I know, but it just hit me that quick. Sometimes the flu does that. Holy guacamole. You have the flu? Stay back, Daisy. Stay back. Molly, I'm laying in bed. You stay back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I have my mask on because I do not want to catch what you've got. Girls, uh, what are you doing? You're going to be late for... <gasps> Molly, why are you wearing a mask? Is everything okay? No! Mom, put on your mask or your hazmat suit! What? Why? Because Daisy's come down with something! What? Oh, no. Daisy, are you okay? No, Mom. I feel terrible. I can't go to school. You better put on your mask. 
Oh, don't worry. I have a really high immunity. I'll be fine. I've caught every childhood bug from, well, going to school for so many years. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. It's going to be okay. I'm sure it's just a little sniffle. Yeah, probably, but <coughs> I think I need a popsicle. Okay, Daisy. Well, I'll call the school and tell them you won't be in today. Thank you. Can I stay home too, Mom? I want a popsicle. Absolutely not, Molly. Get ready for school. Oh, man. Woohoo! My fib worked. And now I won't get detention. And now I won't get detention. <laughs> Daisy, we didn't have any popsicles, but we did have ice cream. Daisy, why are you dancing? Oh, um, no, 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 no reason. It just helps me to feel a little better. Are you crazy? You need to get in bed. You're sick. Here, I brought you some ice cream. I only licked it about mm, 10 times. Ew, Molly, it's all over your mask. <laughs> Oopsie. Well, I've got to get to school. Feel better, Daisy. Thanks, Molly. That was strange that she was out of bed dancing. Who does that when they're sick with the flu? Hmm. Seems kind of suspicious to me. Hello, Brookhaven. Hi, how may I help you? Oh, hi. I'd like to be connected to Mrs. Smith. Oh, you're speaking to Mrs. Smith. I'm filling in this morning for the principal until school starts. Oh, hi, Mrs. Smith. Um, this is Laura, Molly and Daisy's mom. Oh, hello. Is this about Molly again? Oh, no. Actually, today it's about Daisy. Oh, no. What happened to my prize student? Well, she's come down with the flu bug. Oh, I see. Well, I would still like her to send over her paper that's due today, please. Oh, sure, no problem. Uh, I think I could have my daughter Molly send it over. Okay, if Molly can figure it out. Hey, I can figure it out! Mrs. Smith, you're so rude. Thanks for understanding, Mrs. Smith. Tell my most prized student, Daisy, that I hope she feels better. I will, Mrs. Smith. Bye. Okay, Molly, uh, did you hear what she said? Yeah, I was eavesdropping on the whole conversation. <laughs> Why don't you go onto Daisy's school portal and send over her paper? Okay, will do. Just gotta go get Daisy's computer. Okay, logging in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey. Where's Daisy's paper? It's not in her homework file. Weird. Maybe I can check over here. No, no. Oh my gosh! Daisy's paper is missing! Okay, I better go ask Daisy about it. Daisy! Daisy! What, Molly? Can't you see I'm relaxing? <coughs> Very sick over here. Daisy, I, I'm on your computer. What? Why are you on my computer right now? What, what are you doing? Um, well, Mom called the school. Mrs. Smith answered. Why did she answer? Um, because she's filling in for the principal till school starts. Oh, okay. Well, why do you have my computer again? Because Miss, Mrs. Smith said you had a paper due today. And she still wanted you to send it in, even though you were sick. What? That's never happened. Well, maybe because she answered the phone for the principal so she could tell mom that. Anyway, I can't find it in your school folder on your computer, and I'm trying to send it over for you. Um, uh, <coughs> too sick. I, I, I can't fix it. Daisy, you need to send this paper over. Your teacher's asking for it. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is bad. It's so bad. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Daisy, why are you freaking out? Just tell me what's going on. I, I, I can't, Molly. It's, it's so horrible. It's humiliating. Daisy, tell me what's going on. I don't have time for this. I'm going to be late for the school bus. I, I, I didn't do the paper. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at, Molly? Stop it. <laughs> I'm dead. My stomach hurts. Stomach can be laugh. Molly! What, what is going on in here? I heard a huge thump. Oh, that was just me. I was laughing so hard it fell on the floor. Daisy, why are you out of bed? Molly, I told you to send Daisy's paper over to Mrs. Smith. <laughs> yeah, Daisy. Why don't you tell Mom what you're doing out of bed? <laughs> I think I figured it out. Um, nothing. <laughs> I'm really sick. Yeah, I'm sure she believes that. What is going on here, girls? I'm starting to get frustrated with you both. Molly, you're going to be late for school. Now send that paper. I would love to send that paper, Mom. See if you can find it on Daisy's computer. 
What are you talking about? We can't find it because Daisy didn't do it. What? Uh, that's not true. I just <coughs> couldn't really work on it too much because I was <coughs> dying from this sickness. <laughs> she didn't do it. Now she's faking being sick. I know because I pulled this prank a million times. What? You have? Well, not a million, but maybe once or twice. Molly, I should ground you. No, you can't ground me after the fact. <laughs> I already did it. Daisy, is this true? Are you faking being sick? Yeah, Daisy, are you faking being sick? Huh? 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 Of course not. I'm a goody two-shoes. I would never do such a thing. Why isn't your paper done then? And why don't you want to go to school? Uh, because I'm sick? Molly, I don't really think your sister is faking it. But why didn't you do your paper, Daisy? Yeah, Daisy. Yeah. Okay! Okay, I confess to the whole thing! I faked being sick so I didn't have to go to school and get detention because I forgot to do my paper! <gasps> Daisy! Oh my gosh! You're grounded! What? Me? Oh my god, this is gold! <laughs> Molly, be quiet or you're gonna have... Uh, grounding forever! What? That seems a little harsh since I actually did my paper. I mean, it might stink, but I actually did it. Yeah, you're right, Molly, but don't teach your sister. Okay, can I at least stand here and watch? Karma is so beautiful. Molly! <laughs> Daisy can trust you have to face the music. What? You're gonna make me go and get detention? Absolutely, Daisy. Absolutely. <laughs> Welcome to detention. <laughs> ah! This is so horrible. How can this be happening? You shall write on the board a million times. I am the worst student ever. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome to our channel. Today, Daisy and I are playing a new kind of obby. It's an obby where you can't stop. But there is safe zones. I'm not really sure where they are, but I know there's safe zones. So let's go check it out and see. Oh, hint, you are safe on checkered platforms. So if you stop right here, I don't know, that one didn't work. But in theory, if you stop, you will die. Oh, um, she, the pressure's on, Molly, the pressure's on. Okay, um, I'm stopping. Nothing's okay, yeah. Okay, you can stop for one second. If you stop for more than one second, bzz, you're out of here. You can only stop on the checkered, which is good because I'm going to just keep running. If I keep running, I'll be safe. I don't know, Maddie. I bet this obby's gonna get harder as it goes. We should try 10 minutes on the clock and see how um, far we could get. Let's see if we can get all the way done. I bet I can. I don't know about you, Daisy. I'm already ahead of you by a lot. Well, that's just because I was explaining to the viewers what we were gonna do. You will have less time to stop in each zone. Um, okay, uh-oh. I didn't stop, I just died there. <laughs> I already did this part, though. What? Why is it making me do it again? Daisy, are you waiting for me? Not a chance, Molly. I need to get as far as I can in the 10 minutes, of course. Ah, man, I just ran into a laser. At least you can stop on the checkered spots because your brain would melt if you couldn't. I don't think you can even stop on the ladders. You just gotta go, 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 go. I have not played an obby before where you're not allowed to stop, so this is gonna be a little bit challenging. You can do it, Molly. Come on, you got this, girl. You're right, I just went faster than you. That's just because I waited for you, Molly. I don't have to wait for you. Why'd you beat me? I went right down the middle, duh. Boing, boing, boing. Don't stop. Oh my god, don't stop. Just keep bouncing. Keep bouncing. Oh, 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 oh. Whee! OMG, Daisy, I'm beating you. OMG, Daisy, I'm winning. OMG, Daisy, don't you wish you could be as cool as me? Molly, I am cool in my own way. Uh-huh. Yep, I know. Molly, you keep making all these funny noises. You're like, woo, yay, blah. I know, I do that when I get nervous because, like, just, just don't stop. Never surrender. You can do anything. 
Never give up and never surrender. You can do anything. Dizzy, how come I'm winning? I don't know. You're just lucky today, I guess. I guess. Maybe it's just because I'm like under pressure. I do better under pressure. Like, oh, don't stop moving. Don't you dare stop moving. Up the ladder I go to win this game. Whoa, whoa. Boing. Boing. Whoa. <sighs> After that one, I did need kind of a break. That was crazy town. Yay! Okay, DZ, I really am beating you by like a long shot. I know, I know, but not anymore. You just died. You sound so happy about that. Look, oh, she's not winning anymore. Yay! Ooh. Come on, DZ, let's go. Cheaper, slowpoke. Uh, not every obby I'm good at, Molly. You're good at every obby. What is wrong with you right now? You seem distracted or something. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. I'm busy thinking about lunch. Whoa, you sound like me all of a sudden. <laughs> that's something I would do. Okay, I haven't stopped at all, except for on the checkered platform, so that's my goal. It's just don't stop. Don't stop, don't stop. Oh, and then I died again. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, and then I walked off the edge. I haven't played an obby like this before. But it's definitely challenging. Guys, slam the like button if you think you could be good at this obby. I'd love to know what you think in the comment section below about it. Usually I play a different type of obby. I don't just play these type, but I was really excited because this one just seemed really cool and interesting. Ooh. Oh, man, I just tried to turn my camera a little bit and I died that quickly, guys. It was that quick. It's, it, this part's hard because, oh my God, <laughs> it's easy. Oh, Daisy, 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 you died. I noticed. Yeah, if you if you look like from overhead, Daisy, I think it makes it easier. Ooh. Oh, wait, what? Oh man, I must have touched the um the laser at the top, even though I didn't mean to. Whoopsie. Maddie, what's the time? We've been playing for six minutes. So far, we Ooh. are not even a quarter of the way there. Oh my god, we're never gonna complete this obby in time. It's okay, Molly. At least we tried, right? That's right. Let's see if we can make it halfway in 10 minutes. And then let's go eat lunch. Boing. 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 Ah! It's okay, Molly. Don't freak out. You got this. I believe in you, Molly. No, don't sing to me, Daisy. Ooh. Don't sing to me. I believe in you, Molly. Ah! My ears are bleeding. Stop it. Boing. 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 Oh! Fell to my death, fell to my death. A few hours later. Woohoo! Zone complete, finally! Here, here, here. Ooh. Oh boy, what? I'm trying so hard. Try harder and you might fail. But relax and it might go better for you, Molly. Oh, I can't, I'm stressing about it. I can't help myself! Molly, deep breaths. It's just a Roblox game, everything's gonna be fine. Well, okay. I took a deep breath. Now what? Relax. <laughs> Have fun. No more dying, please. Ooh. Oh, and then you land right on a laser at the bottom. Boing, boing, boing. Ooh. Oh, I actually have to move at this? It won't just move it for you? Well, that's kind of stinky. Finally. Whew. That one was hard. Boing, 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 boing. Beat you, Daisy. Ha, 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 ha. This is all right, have a break. No, no time for breaks. We must win this obby. Oh, look it. Yeah, they gave us a break at the spot, so you can stop, Daisy, look it. You can just stand here if you want. I don't want to though, Molly. Okay, well then don't take your much needed break. See if I care. Whoa, look what happens when I don't take my break. What, oh yeah. See you later, Daisy. Is it just gonna bug you so much if I win? Uh, yes, I don't like when you win obbies. <laughs> Well, there's always a first for everything. Not this time, Molly. You're behind me again. My sister is so competitive. So are you, Molly. You're talking about how you're going to beat me at this game. Yeah, my sister and I try to beat each other at every obby. Smushy, smushy, smushy. Foil is slippery. It doesn't feel slippery. I guess a little bit. Oh, I got to the very end and then I fell off. Oh, don't hit those lasers, please. Don't hit those lasers. Ha ha ha! That time I made it. Ugh, that part was hard. Where am I? Where am I right now? Like in outer space or something? It's like... Looks like in another dimension or something. Whoa! Ah, I keep doing the same thing over and over again! Ah, oh, that's insanity. It's 
insanity, Daisy. What are these supposed to be, like sponges or something? I don't know, they look really weird. You, uh, Molly, when you stand on those, they fall. Oh, whoa, good thing I was moving so fast because I didn't even notice that. Yes, 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 whee! Uh, okay, where's my sister? I don't know what she's doing down there, but she must have fallen back down to another, like, round or something. Another, like, another part of the game. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, Daisy, well, now it's my turn to beat you at this game. You could never beat me in an abbey ever, my Ugh, oh, come on with the lasers, people. Just, just get away from me, lasers. Get away from me! Oh, right at the end, too. Boing, boing, boing. Yes, finally! You guys ever have a really hard part of a game and then, like, you just keep working at it, working at it, maybe for days, even. Then finally you get it and you're just like, oh, thank goodness. Yeah, that just happened to me right now. Oh, <laughs> yep. Ah! Woohoo! Okay, this part seems really hard. What am I supposed to do here? Step here, pause. Step here, and you die. <laughs> oh, Daisy's head of me again. No fair. It's fair, Mandy. Whoa. Whee! I did it! Yes! Oh, boy. What's this all about? You can't jump over this. This is insane. Insane in the membrane! Insane in the brain! There goes Daisy. Daisy died. Daisy didn't make it. That part's really hard, Daisy. I'm gonna just tell you right now. One eternity later. Oh, wait. There we are. Oh, my God. We're almost to orange. Let's see if we can make it to orange, because I want to see what orange is like. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You got this, Molly! Good job. Thank you. Oh, don't stop. Don't stop. Oh, it's like a maze. It's amazing if I can figure this out is what it is. One wrong move, guys, or one stop, and I am donezo. Phew! That was hard. Oh, phew. Just need a little bit of breather there. And then I'll move on to this difficult part. Whoa. Oh, oh my god. I was going to go over there to the lighted squares. That would have been a super bad idea. Wah! <laughs> boing, 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 boing. Let's see how Daisy's doing. Daisy is non-existent. Oh, there she is. <laughs> jumping up around. You making it, Daisy? You okay down there? I'm trying, Maddie. Making it to the orange is much more difficult than it looks. That's true. Uh, all right, I'm in a safe zone, so ooh, I think we just made it to orange. Or at least I did. I don't know about Daisy. Whee! Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> da -da! All right, guys, it took me 15 minutes to make it all the way to the orange zone. This brick will make you go high in the sky, so give it a try. Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a good place to stop today, guys. Um, because this game goes on forever and we'll be here for six years. But you should know that if you play the obby where you can't stop, it literally does kill you if you stop after like one millisecond. I think we did good, Molly, but we still have orange, yellow, green, light blue, periwinkle, purple, pink, white, and black. So if it took us 13 minutes to do um, this one, actually, Molly, it took us 13 minutes to do two of them. Okay, so if it takes us, well, there's 11 of them, divided by two is five and a half times 13. Um, it, it'll take us uh, like two hours or something. It'll actually take us 71 and a half minutes, Molly. Ah, you're so good at math. That's so annoying. <laughs> hey, guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye, guys. Who's not paying attention in my class? Molly, after school detention. Oh man, I'm always getting detention from this teacher. What's his deal anyway? Daisy, you can have detention too. What? But I study for math class. I don't care. Detention for you all. Oh my gosh! A robot has taken over Mr. Albert! Look at, he's got a wheel on the bottom and, 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 and robotic arms! Daisy, we have to escape. Quick! I don't know how to escape, Molly. He, he locked the door! No, he didn't. Look, see, I can get out. You think you're gonna escape me? <laughs> Molly, run! 
You figured out how to pick the lock, but this guy, he seems to be useless. Ah! He caught me, Daisy! Molly, just try again. Never give up, Molly. Oh, yeah, he caught me, too. Holy guacamole. Look at the clock. It's like... It's like he's, he never wants us to leave, ever. Yeah, I think that's the whole point, Molly. Never leave, ever. Oh my gosh, she's so close to you. You can't even see where you're going. Holy guacamole, please don't kill me. Nope, he got me again. Oh my gosh, I can't even run fast enough. I knew I should have done better in gym class. Okay, let's try this one last time. What if you don't get it after this last time? Um, well, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to be stuck in detention forever. Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh, he got me again. Oh, this part's so hard. I can't do it. You can, Molly. I believe in you. Maybe if somebody would just distract Mr. Albert here, I could get out. Okay, I have to start running, like, as soon as I move. Okay, here we go. Oh, my gosh. She's behind me. It's, it's, I can see his flashlight. No, that's not his flashlight. That's his arm. His arm is creepy. Oh, my gosh. I finally made it that time, guys. And then he disappeared. I'm in the flooded bathroom, though. It's okay, Molly. Just jump over the um, water coming out of the... Oh, you touched it! Ew, you touched the pee-pee water. Ew, gross. Boing, 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 boing. Don't touch the poopy water. Well, Molly, I guess we're going to have to go down the toilet. Ow, ew, gross! Oh, it's a sewer down here. Well, where did you think that the toilet went to? I don't know. I was hoping the ice cream shop. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening here. Oh, my God. I died. Okay. I don't know how to get Ooh. over. Am I supposed to jump? Yes, of course you are. Oh, my gosh. I think she might have rocks for brains today. I don't have rocks for brains. I just didn't know what to do right there. Whoa. Ha, ha, ha. I jumped over the side, so I feel like extra smart right now. Guys, have you played Mr. Albert's School yet? Uh, if you haven't, I highly recommend this crazy game. Ooh. Ah! Molly, just be patient. This one won't, like, dump you over or anything, so you can take your time on this one. Okay. No, I didn't take my time. Boop! Okay, I finally did it. Oh, finally, Molly. Oh, my gosh. There's Mr. Albert. What a crazy psycho he is. What are we supposed to do here? Get washed away, Molly! Washed away in the poo-poo water. Okay. Ew. Ew! Oh my gosh, there's Mr. Albert. Ha ha, you can't get me. Let's go up this ladder and see where it goes. Oh my gosh, it goes out to the street. Does that mean I escaped already? Because I've only been playing this obby for like four minutes. Oh, okay, my car. Oh, I made my head go on backwards. Oh, that was just sad. All right, let's try this again. All right, here we go. Oh, it's always the blue car. Okay, I think if I might just stand in the middle for a second, it might, it might work. I don't know. Come on, Molly. Are we ever going to escape or what? I'm um, hoping so. Yes. Okay, I sort of figured it out, guys. Yes. You can't stop in between. I thought maybe the car would hit me if I did that, but nope. Ooh, we're at a pool party. I love pool parties. Oh, Except for when I drown at the bottom of the pool. Not cool. Boing, boing. Boing. Oh, they sink! Does that mean I've eaten too many cupcakes? Yes, Molly. That's exactly what it means. <laughs> oh, man. That's harsh. You sunk everything to the bottom of the pool because you ate too many cupcakes and now you're too chubby. Ooh. Um, Daisy, I don't, I don't know what this is about, but maybe we can jump up here. No, don't even try that, Daisy. It's a fail. Look, my head is on backwards. It's so much of a fail. All right, I think you just gotta jump over it. Just be, like, super careful. Yeah, and it seems thinner right here. Oh! Ta-da! We made it. Okay, that says fire. Why does it say fire? Oh, my gosh. This part Ooh. is nerve-wracking. Ah! Look at my arm. It's, like, spinning around. <laughs> oh, we gotta start all the way back here? Um, okay. I'm trying not to die so much. I don't want to die. Today is not my day to die anymore. Yes! Okay, back down into the school. We're in the science lab. Daisy, your favorite. Look! Everything's so big in the science lab. Well, we're so little. Ah, uh, yeah, that's probably more accurate, Molly. Wait, where do we go now? Through this door? Oh, yeah, okay. Dripping water everywhere. Oh, wait, there's that creepy, like, lunch lady or whatever. I think we have to go see the creepy lunch lady. Now, nah, we're gonna go back into math class? Oh, my gosh. One plus two equals three. We're actually doing a math test. What? Wait, did he just kill me? I, I got the right answer. Oh, he punched me! Oh, my gosh! I think I got to the next part, though. Um, one plus two equals three. What? Daisy died as soon as she got here. I'm going into five. I don't understand why you keep saying... Okay, I tried to answer the right way and it didn't let me. 
Watch, this guy's gonna, like, punch me again. Oh, now the game is stuck. What is going on right now? Guys, we just had to run through the entire game again to get back to this point because it froze. Oh my gosh, that stunk so bad. But I think I may have this figured out. See, this guy is sleeping. And I think if you touch these red things, these red like carpets or whatever, you'll wake him up. So I'm gonna try to not step on these. And then I'm gonna answer the question. See, I, I didn't step on it. Oh wait, what? He just woke up? Three minus, oh my God, he got me. Okay, now it's timed, guys, now it's timed. If I have to start over again, I'm gonna be so sad. Okay, here we go. He's right behind me. Um, Wait, what did it say? Oh my gosh, what's that say? I can't see. Th one plus two is three. Remember, we can't touch the red circle. Okay, what's the next one? The next one is I'm stuck again in the same way. Oh my gosh, guys, this part of the game is impossible to get through. Guys, that was insane. My game froze twice. Daisy's froze once, so she had to start all the way over from the beginning. I had to start all the way over from the beginning twice, just to show you guys the end. Excuse me, this end of this game, and I have hiccups now too. All right, the door is locked. Let's go see if we can find the, the key. All right, maybe we have to go through here. Nope, that door is locked. How are we gonna get out of here? I don't know where there's a key. Don't worry, Molly, we'll find it. I'm sure of it. Oh, wait, look, there's, there's like a... There's a big red button that's probably gonna open the door and then the inside there is gonna be the key. That's what I'm guessing. It's just a guess, I don't know. That might just unlock the key, but oh my gosh, no. It brought out Psycho. So I have to do this part again, guys. Quit pushing the button before I'm ready because that guy comes and then we both die. Okay, I'm gonna let him go. DC, you have to wait for me, please. I was next in line. Daisy, you didn't even wait. That's so rude. Sorry, Molly, but I wanna survive. What, well, so don't I, cheapers. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, does he follow us past Ooh. here? What? Oh, nobody lets me have a turn. I'm Okay, I quit. Daddy, don't quit. Oh my gosh. Well, you didn't want to wait till I pushed the button even though I was next in line. That's just rude. I'm telling mom. Molly. Okay, fine. I'm just saying, like, this guy comes out of here and I was waiting and... All right, guys, here I go. I have to try to escape Mr. Albert and I can't escape him. Oh, this game is frustrating. <laughs> I just go push the button. Maddie, just don't give up. You're gonna be fine. I think I'm gonna be fine. I don't know. Wait, as soon as you push it, you gotta run as fast as you can. Run as fast as you can. Run like the wind. But don't cut the wind. Hmm. Did I make it? Oh, thank goodness. Finally, he disappears too. All right, where do we go now? Maddie, get the key. You gotta go get the key too. Come on, I'll show you where it is. Dizzy, I feel like you're leading me the wrong way. There's no key. Wait right there, Molly, see? And I'm sorry I cut in front of you and took your turn. It's okay, I guess I forgive you. Really, you only guess? All right, I forgive you, sort of. Molly, I forgive you, okay? Thanks for helping me find the key. All right, now, ooh, now we gotta go over here. What's gonna happen, epic boss battle? Oh my God, we're fighting the lunch lady with a baseball bat. Or is this a rolling pin, I don't know. Ah, I can't get out of the corner. Ah, ah take that, lunch lady. Ow, she hit me over the head with a rolling pin. Black. That is one ugly lunch lady. Um, I'm not saying all lunch ladies are ugly. Maybe you're a lunch lady that's watching this. Maybe you're like beautiful, but this one's evil and also ugly. <laughs> okay, she might be sort of like trying to hit me in the head with a rolling pin over and over and over again. Ow, quit it. You are mean. Oh, okay, you gotta wait. Cause she's like, she times her rolling pin attack. And you have to hit her after she tries. Boink, boink, boink. Oh, I don't think I got her that time. Let me hit you in their gut. Right there. Boink, 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 boink. Okay, it's saying her health is the same no matter what I do. I don't know. She's invincible, guys. She's invincible. Only if she hits you back, I guess. Oh my gosh, I just died. I just got killed by the lunch lady. Can you guys believe that? Oh, now I have to start all over again and see if I can just beat this lunch lady over the head with this baseball bat. That is wrong. Wait, she smacked me once and I died? That doesn't seem right. All right, guys, I got this. I got this. Oh my gosh, how can I not like knock this lady out already? I've hit her in the stomach like 50 times. She's very slow though. That's the thing about the lunch lady. She can't seem to like hit me with that very good. Okay, yeah, she did kill me twice, but I've almost destroyed the lunch lady. Oh, I got her down to 8% health, guys. 
finally. Boink, boink, boink. <laughs> Bounced on her stomach. All right, finally now I can leave. Oh my gosh, look at this, Daisy. I know. I was waiting for you to show up just so I could see, you could see how creepy this part is. His hands are like trying to get you. Yeah, I see that. That is very creepy. Oh, we need this crowbar for something. I don't know what, but probably to pry apart our, to our freedom. All right, let's do this. It didn't seem to work very good, Daisy. Am I missing something here? Daisy, how'd you fit through there? I didn't need as many cupcakes as you, so I'm skinny you. Oh, man. All right, I've just got to keep breaking these. i got to break enough space so I can get through. Come on now. Hiya. Hiya. It helps if you had the crowbar in your hand. Ay, ay, ay. Have you seen this man? No, I haven't. Can I keep this crowbar, though? Because I feel like Mr. Albert's going to come back, and it's going to be bad. Molten lava in the school? What else could happen now? Come on, Daisy, let's go. Oh, man, it's one of those. Oh, my gosh, I'm terrible at these. At least it doesn't go, like, down into the lava, because that would be just my luck, right, guys? Oh, Daisy died. Daisy died. Are you teasing me right now, Molly? Uh, maybe just a little. Oh, I got killed by a laser. Are you serious right now? Oh, man, that was, like, so simple, too. I feel like such a noob. Okay, then I'm going to run through here and stop. Wait, what? I'm all right. I guess I did touch that laser. Oopsie. Can you just jump over them? That would be easiest. Yeah, I think actually you can. Perfect. Molly, look, a giant diamond. Wait, why did we get a giant diamond? Uh, wait, what? How do we get out of here? Oh, do I take the giant diamond? Okay, I took the giant diamond. And now what? Now I get... Oh my gosh. This looks difficult, peoples. How am I ever going to survive this? Holy guacamole. All right, I think I got to go this way first. Okay, the fan's not lifting me up. I don't know what to do. Let's try this one more time, guys, because I think I may have done this wrong. Okay, there we go. Now the fans are working, but look at all these lasers. Oh, I always die on these parts. This is so difficult. I can do it. <laughs> on the first try. Awesome. Whoa, whoa. Oh, it pushed me into this gra grapple hook. I don't even want that. Wait, wh what? What just happened? I'm like floating outside the game. Okay, this game is very cool, but it's really glitchy, so just know that, guys. All right, I'm going to reset my character. It was so weird. It was like the fan was still blowing me, and then it blew me into, like, outer space or something. That happened to me, too, Molly. It was kind of crazy town. What's going to happen now, Daisy? Boss battle? Yes, Molly, boss battle! Oh, my gosh. Um, He might have upgraded himself just a little bit. Okay, I'm, I'm like, beating him up right now. Hit his helmet. Oh, okay. Daisy, we gotta smash his helmet. Um, and hopefully he doesn't smash us to smithereens. How do I smash his helmet? How do I get close enough? Okay, I can tell. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna be stuck at school forever. Oh, Molly, you poor thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. He totally annihilated me. Oh, my gosh, I lost. Can you believe that? I never lose boss battles. Well, there's a first time for everything, Daisy. Let me show you how this is done. Yeah, right. Um, you can't even get in. What? Huh? What? Okay, I guess I have to go kill myself on the lasers then and then come back. This game is really glitchy, but it's, it's, it is very cool. It's just, if you made this game, you have to make it less glitchy. Okay, um, the, the boss battle will not work for me. Um, it's broken. What? You don't have to do the boss battle? Are you kidding me right now? Okay, I'm gonna jump back to an earlier save point and see if maybe that'll work. I don't know. Let's go. Let's go find out. Oh my gosh, Daisy. We're stuck here for like forever. What? You died one time? Me? No, you died too. And now we're stuck in this horrible school with Mr. Albert? We don't even have the chance to beat him? Um, I guess that's the way they designed the game, which is kind of crazy. Oh my gosh, guys. This is the only obby I've ever played that if you die once on the boss, you just get stuck in the game forever. Well, unless you want to start all over from the beginning. I already did that twice. Holy guacamole! Do I need an ice cream after this game? Yeah, no kidding. This was crazy. Guys, let us know if you beat Mr. Albert at the end of this game in the comment section below. Daisy and I, we're failures. We're noobs! I can't believe this! Well, believe it, Daisy. It's our fate. <laughs>
But she looks so cute. Look at a little Pazzy in her bottle. Well, how do you have like a baby granny? You're either old or young. I don't know, but this game figured it out. You're an, a grandma and you're a baby. <laughs> look at this adorable room. Oh, look at her her pillow say, stay weird. I hear you. I hear you, granny. Baby granny, I hear you. All right, this looks like the traditional granny game. I don't see granny anywhere. Okay, this is a good thing. She's probably hiding behind that door, Molly, waiting to get you. Oh, yeah, her back is turned, though. Let's go get the key. Let's go get a key. Oh, my gosh, here she comes, Daisy. Run! Oh, my God, she's going to try to get Daisy. She's a giant baby. Holy guacamole. Uh-oh, she's coming this way. I better get out of here. <laughs> All right, where do we go now? This goes to something. Okay, those doors are all boarded up. The front door is also boarded up. Molly, you gotta go this way. Did you get killed, Daisy? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> I'm actually beating my sister, Adanabi. This is good news. That never happens. All right, I think I can put the key away now. But I'll keep it in my pocket just in case. Wait, is that Barbie behind me? Looks like Barbie. Okay, no, it's Alexa. <laughs> Not Barbie. Ooh. Ah, I just died in the spikes. Oh, my gosh. Who's going to see the new Barbie movie? Slam that like button if you're going. Boing. Boing. Ah, uh, wee. Okay, wee. <laughs> That's all I can say right now is wee. Daisy, are you going to wait for me or what? Rude. Well, you weren't waiting for me. I thought I'd just return the favor. Wait, did we just escape already? We're like in the backyard. No, there's Granny chasing Daisy. Baby Granny, baby Granny, baby Granny, yeah. Oh, what? What just happened? Oh my gosh. Granny's been eating too many cupcakes. Uh oh, baby Granny needs a nap. She is miserable. All right, guys. Uh oh. What's this all about? We went down this hole in the, like a well or whatever, and this is what happened. Um, okay, maybe if we go this way. Yeah, I think we're supposed to go this way. Is this supposed to be like down in like a water well or something? I don't know, it's the sewer or something like that. Holy guacamole, this is crazy town. I don't know if that save worked, but I hope it did. Sometimes they don't light up and then I get nervous. I'm like, did it save? Did it save? Did it save? Let's try not to die until we get to the next scene. Ooh. Okay, well, I died. <laughs> no, it didn't save. Yes, it did, Miley. You didn't make it to the next save, so that's where you have to restart. <laughs> uh, ah, I died again. What's wrong with me right now? Okay, I can do it this time. I know it. Ugh. Okay, I think I'm just getting nervous because you have to make it past that thing before it kills you. Okay, I pushed the jump button. One eternity later. Okay, see, there's definitely some ledge there. Finally! Yes, finally, Molly. I feel like half of my life has gone by waiting for you. Yeah, but now who's ahead, huh? Uh huh? Okay, yeah, Molly, but you just died, so you're not ahead again. I just want to make it, please. Let me make it. You made it, Molly! Congratulations! You're only a little bit of a noob. Are we supposed to jump? This looks kind of scary. Jump in the pool of water! Okay, the pool of water is um deeper than I thought, so that's a good thing. Boink! I hit save! Daisy, you're gonna make the giant jump? Ooh! I'm right here! I keep getting hit by that giant fan! Oh, poor Daisy. I'll wait for you, Daisy. Yes! She made it that time! Good job, Daisy. Thank you. I tried very hard not to be a noob, and I failed. Guys, it is almost time for summer vacation. Are you guys as excited as I am? Seriously, I cannot... Ah! I cannot wait to go to the water park. Hang out, not have school, you know. What are you going to do this summer, Daisy? Read lots of books and get smarter. Of course you are. Don't you just want to, like, chill? I'm going to chill some, too. I'm going to go to the water park. Maybe to Disney and stuff. Whoa, Disney. Wow, you better ask mom and dad about that. I've been saving my money. I'm good. Oh my gosh, it's a speed run. Woohoo! Okay, this is fun. I like speed runs. Me too, Molly, but they always try to trick you. Whoa, I almost died, but I didn't. That was a miracle. Yeah, with you playing, it really is. Oh, funny! <laughs> I'm so funny today. All right, we've got to climb up all these ladders. I haven't seen baby granny in a while, but I'm thinking I'm going to end up back in her house right about... Well, nope, I didn't. I thought maybe we'd go back in her house, but we didn't. No, we got to jump on more pipes and then go through this cave or whatever. What? 
Why are we going through a cave at Escape Baby Granny? I don't understand. She set up this Ooh. obstacle course so we could never leave. Ooh. Ah, well, it's working. We both died one right after another. Totally a noob move, Molly. Hey, you died too. I know, I was sick. I was a noob. Well, we both were there, Daisy. We both were. More ladders? Seriously? Well, we came out of the well. We're back at Granny's house. There she is. Baby Granny looks sort of evil. Sort of evil? Baby Granny looks really evil. Oh, now we're going down into the cellar. Hmm. Oh, more pipes? Are you kidding me? How many more pipes do we need to escape, huh? Huh? Well, a lot if you're you because you keep dying. <laughs> oh. M G. So do you guys have any cool plans for this summer? What are you what are you gonna do? You're gonna read a lot? I actually do like reading over the summer. It's kind of like a challenge. I try to read like one book a week. But I also try to play Roblox every day. I also love to go biking. I love to swim. I like to listen to music. Maybe we could go to a concert. I love that. Ooh, that would be fun. What concert are we going to? I don't know, I'm just saying. We'll go to a Taylor Swift concert, that would be amazing. Yeah, if you could get tickets. The Air Wars tour is like, got 75,000 people going to it. Every single ticket is sold out. Oh man, I'd love to go to that show. You guys send me a ticket. <laughs> what is this? I'm giant meatballs. All right, this is the thing, Daisy. Hide behind these and you should be okay. Giant meatballs trying to kill me. Really, I don't think they're always meatballs. They feel like they're always meatballs. Whoa! No! Oh, I was so close. That's annoying. All right, let's try this again, people. This makes me want to eat spaghetti. <laughs> or maybe a meatball sub. If you guys could eat anything, what would you eat? I'm following Daisy's footsteps because she, she did really good. Oh my gosh, don't let me die. Please, 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 please. Yes, I made it! Hooray! Yeah, because you copied what I did. Copycat. Whatever. Whatever, I, 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 I won. That's all that matters. You shouldn't copy, Molly. It's rude. But it was the right way to go, and you knew it. So you should be flattered that I, I copied you, and you were so smart that you figured it out. Well, you have a point there, Molly. Oh, my gosh. My car is so slow. Wait a minute. Did we just finish? I think we did, Molly. We escaped baby granny. We didn't even have to fight her at the end. Are you serious? Nope. No epic boss battle on this one. Hooray! That's awesome! Get in! Oh my gosh, you can actually play these other games we haven't played before. Yes, but right now, I'm gonna go get a snack. <laughs> Ooh, gravity! Ooh, this is gonna be fun. It didn't work. How about the jump one? The jump one works, Molly! Whoa! Um, so did somebody put baby granny down for a nap? Is that why we didn't have to fight the epic boss at the end? Probably, Molly. That's probably true. What happens if you jump over the edge? Don't do that, Molly. You're gonna die. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Daisy's like freaking out. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching today. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to play Baby Granny, you totally should. Yeah, it was really fun. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye, guys. Whoa. stomach he's been eating too much yeah it's all those cupcakes he's been eating how's he been eating them he doesn't even have his teeth in his mouth ew look at his dentures on the table that's gross yeah well he probably ate the cupcakes first and then it took his teeth out right molly ew probably that's so gross okay select a difficulty definitely normal because um yeah i don't want grandpa to kill me seriously what he spilled coffee on my picture? Least favorite grandchild. Ha 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 Molly. Least favorite grandchild. Oh man, Grandpa, you stink. All right, let, let's get out of here. I don't even want to, I don't even want to look at him right now. He's just rude. All right, guys, there's some drool on the floor with false teeth, which is just gross, but apparently our grandpa's like really, really rich because like, look at this castle he lives in. Yeah, I, I live here, but not with Grandpa. He's just kind of crazy. Like, look at this photo of Grandpa on the wall. Um, yeah, what's going on with his eye? It's like bulging out of his head. That's what he looks like when he's super angry. Ew! <laughs> Nose hairs! Oh, gross! Oh, uh, whoever came up with this game has a funny sense of humor. <laughs> I took a close-up of his nose hairs. Gross! What is that? Swinging broccoli or something? 
Yeah, we're in Grandpa's kitchen. And he's <gasps> old, so he has to eat super healthy or he'll die. You died already, didn't you, Molly? Okay, um, he's eating Brussels sprouts. Ooh. Ah, I keep dying! Well, I'm not waiting for you. Goodbye! I've got homework to do. I can't wait forever. Fine, leave me at Grandpa's house. See if I care. Ah! Okay, that time I made it. Kind of proud of myself right now. What? Don't let me die right there. That would really stink. Uh, what's up with the flying, uh, broccoli? On top of my broccoli! I like to put cheese. Ah, I died again. All right, let's watch out for the swinging broccoli, guys. Run, run, run. You gotta wait. You gotta be super patient with the swinging broccoli. I'm losing my patience with you, Molly. Um, yeah, I'm gonna die. No, I didn't die. Yes. Whoa, look at Grandpa. He looks psycho. Psycho Grandpa, Psycho Grandpa, yeah. So we have a Psycho Granny song. It's actually called Crazy Granny, not Psycho Granny, but... It's a crazy granny, crazy granny, yeah. But we don't have, like, a crazy grandpa one. Maybe we need one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ha, <laughs> ha. See that, grandpa? Bye. You guys think we should write... We should write a... Uh, whoa, whoa. Oh, God. Oh, God. I just died. If we should write a song about this psycho grandpa, let us know in the comment section below. And maybe we'll make a song for you guys about crazy grandpa. Yes, I made it. Me and the broccoli. Ooh. I'm a crazy... House and he's kind of gone insane. I'm at Grandpa's house and he's crazy in his brain. <laughs> I just made that up. Whoa! I was riding on the broccoli there. Wee! Daisy is once again ahead of me. Oh no! Not more drool and teeth. Gosh! This part is so gross. Oh look, there's Grandpa. He's taking a little snoozy snooze with his eyes open, Molly. Ah! All right. I just want to say two thumbs up for this game because. Like, guys, I love these games. They're obvious, but they're like a story, you know? They're not just like a platform one. I like these ones a whole lot. I can tell, Molly, by all the times you're dying. Well, just because I die doesn't mean that I don't like the game. I love the game. It's not very good at it yet. Don't worry, guys. I'm never going to give up. Never surrender. Okay, I am on Grandpa's laundry line right now. I better not see any underwear. I'm going to barf. The prune factory. Hey, you know what happens when you eat prunes, Daisy? No, what? You poop a lot. Ew, gross. <laughs> Pull lever. Okay, I'll give it a try. Wee. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Guys, did you see that? I totally made it. Ah, oh, no, I died at the end. I, I actually am super good at obbies. I just pretend I'm bad because it drives my sister crazy. And my whole goal in life is to drive my sister crazy. Oh, that's just lovely, Molly. Lovely. Holy guacamole. This is fun! Ow! Do you run into the pole at the end? That Not so much then. Okay, I don't know what these are, but I'm thinking you probably shouldn't touch them. Righto, Molly, righto. Use these planks to get across. I guess I can do some manual labor right now, but I'm not really too happy about it. All right, I'll put this one here. Oh, Daisy, you need more than one plank. All right, let's see. If I put this one here... Hopefully it's long enough. Daisy, how are you getting across without doing any of the work? You're doing all the work, Molly. Um, all right, I put this one there. Do we need any more? No, Molly, you don't need any more than that. Oh, they gave you an extra board. I don't really know why. Maybe to trick you. Maybe because they were bored. Ha ha ha, get it? Oh, boy. You have the cheesiest jokes on the planet, Molly. Pretty much. Oh my gosh, I don't want to fall because if I do, I have to do that all over again. Where's this go? Whoa! Okay, um, I don't know where my sister went. She must be down here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. ow. <laughs> Molly, that was kind of funny. Um, I think we need to eat Grandma's, um, super cookie. And it makes this go super fast. Whoa, and it makes this big, too. Wee! Okay, this is fun. <laughs> Wee! Um, I want to eat Grandma's super cookies all the time. Gives me a super lot of energy, and they were super tasty. Uh-oh. <laughs> Guys, I died. That's okay. I kind of died on purpose because I want to keep eating another one of those cookies. All right, I took another super cookie. I'm about to chow down on it. Oh, yeah. Molly, don't keep dying so you can eat the cookies. No promises. Ay, ay, ay. My sister only thinks about her stomach. Yeah, so. Wee. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Come on, Molly. One more. Yes, finally. 
I got shrunk down though. I wanted to stay epically huge. DC, I'm gonna warn you right now, this board is gonna break. Yep, I knew it. Okay, what's this say? Room of the Golden Prune. That's if you can't go poo poo, you eat a prune. Oh, I think if I steal the prune, um, yeah, Grandpa's gonna try to attack me. Steal the golden prune. Okay. I will steal the golden prune. Oh, um, yep. I was totally right. Grandpa Nader is after me. But don't worry. I ate a prune. So, meep, 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 meow. I don't know why I made that sound right now. He can't get me, though. He's trying to, but he can't. Get out of here, you, you silly old man. All right, I'm going to have to. Oh, God. If you touch Grandpa and anyway or the the machine he's in right there you die stealing the golden prune <laughs> stealing the golden prune <laughs> stealing grandpa's golden prune but he turned around and shoot at him i'm trying but he's like right up on me he's like oh my god i don't want to die i don't want to die not today people not today ah come on grandpa Ooh. Um, guys, you can't walk off the edge either. Oopsie. All right, Grandpa. We got to talk right now. And the talk we're going to have is Ooh. get away from me. Oh, ha, ha. Now shoot him now, Molly. Now run. I'm trying to run. Ah, he's super fast. Ah. Okay, he's right after me. I'm going to die again. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, Oh, man. My stomach kind of hurts. Oh, no, guys. I think I have to go to the potty. Oh, boy. I better kill this guy quick so I can go. <laughs> okay, Grandpa Nader. I've had about enough of you. Oh, look. Somebody, another grandkid is in here. <gasps> yes! I defeated him. See you later, Grandpa. See you later, Daisy. Molly, you better not leave without me. Okay, fine. I'll wait for you. Just kidding. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Hey, Grandpa, you're really old and old. Where's your feet? Oh, God, he's going to chase me now. Seriously? Oh, Daisy, don't come this way. Big fat Grandpa's going to try to get you. <laughs> you can't die, nuisance. You stole my prune. Now I can't go poo poo. Oh, my gosh. Grandpa, no, seriously, don't try to kill me over the prune. It's just a prune. I needed to go poo poo today and you stole it. Sorry, Grandpa. Really, I truly am. Okay, swim to freedom. Oh, it's like the ocean, guys. It's kind of nice. I kind of wish I was in the ocean today because where I live, it's like um, 25 degrees and cloudy and not very nice out. And it's getting dark at like 4 o'clock. I don't like winter that much. I'd rather be at the ocean like swimming with the fishes. Molly, I can't believe you left me. You're so rude. See you later. See you later. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna win one obby ahead of you, Daisy. Just one time. Actually, I don't know how to Okay, am I just am I just like did I win? I think I just won, guys. Oh look, Daisy is just getting up here now. Good luck, Daisy. Oh, crap! No! Come on, Daisy. D let me let me win. Just one. No way, Molly. <laughs> oh, you can't get up here. It's impossible. Don't even try it. You're gonna, you're not gonna be able to. I don't know if this is the end of the game or if there's more, but this part is so hard. I feel like I need like some wings or something. <laughs> I keep messing that part up. Haha, <laughs> Daisy, see, it's really hard, isn't it? I think we won though, Molly. I don't think we need to go up there. I think we'll win us. Yeah, I want to tell myself that anyway. What? Yes, I finally made it. Okay. Whew part was so annoying. All right, guys. I'm climbing to the top. I want my trophy. This was a hard obby. I made it. I want my... I want my trophy! Oh, yeah. No, you have to go all the way to the top. Yeah, look at me! I just got an obby award. Look, I'm huge, guys. That's amazing. Um, If you go through that portal, it probably makes you start over from the beginning. So, I don't want to do that, but I'm hoping this is like a jumping one. Whoa! It is, guys. It is. Whee! Look, I can see Grandpa down there. He looks grumpy and miserable because he can't go poo-poo. <laughs> Sorry about that, Grandpa. But I did eat your last golden prune. Guys, Um, my sister ate the golden prune. And now she's going to have to go spend all of her night in the bathroom. <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching. That's right, guys. We love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>
this is a good idea. Ah! It's a creepy clown. Um, mom, it's not that creepy. Look at it. It's peeking out from the circus tent. And it's, 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 it's got, it's got like, 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 um, uh, like, uh, mom, are you going to be okay? I don't know. It's teeth. I mean, it's teeth. They're really creepy and pointy. <laughs> I think it's going to be fun. Holy guacamole. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to run into you. Oh, I ran into you again and you fell over. I'm so sorry, Jade. I, I didn't mean it. Molly, try not to be rude. I didn't mean to. It just sort of <laughs> happened. This sort of stuff happens in Roblox. Anyway, guys, welcome to my mom's channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Her and I love playing Roblox together. And also, mom, there's a clown we love so much. Nope, I'm not looking. I'm not seeing him. Ah, I saw him. <laughs> whoa, whoa, fancy unicorn. Watch out. Don't fall Ooh. in the lava. Oh, like I just did. That's bad. So bad. Mom, you want to wait up for your daughter? Or you just want to take off and pretend I don't even exist in the world. Oh, sorry. I was just trying to get past that creepy clown. It, 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 it's just too creepy. It's going to be fine, Mom. It's just Roblox. No big deal. Boing. Boing. Oh, I just pushed my mom in the lava. Oh, did you guys see that? Sorry, Mom. Uh-huh. Sure you are, Molly. See you, Mom. Whee! Down the rabbit hole. Actually, down into the sewer hole. Ew. Checkpoint. Boing. 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 Checkpoint. Hey, who's waiting for who now? Not me. You decided that you were going to leave me behind. And so now I have to try to beat you at this game. Molly, come on. Let's just play together. Okay, fine. I keep dying anyway, so I had to wait for you. <laughs> ah, I keep hitting these. What are these? Like poo-poo lasers or something? Never seen poo-poo lasers before. This is crazy. Today, Mom and I are going to escape this color clown. It's the last thing we do, right, Mom? Exactly, Molly. And also, I pushed you in there. So, not sorry. Wait a minute. Where are you going? There's there's nothing there. Ooh. Uh, that was weird. Uh, apparently, my mom saw something that I didn't see. She's magic like that. Ooh. How did you do that? Go push the button, Molly. It's not magic at all. Oh, uh, yeah. I feel like a total noob right now. Uh, duh. She literally looked like she was jumping on nothing. So it wasn't my fault. When are we going to get out of these sewers? They smell. Well, this is where it lives, Molly. So it, like, you mean like the clown it? Exactly. That's probably why they were inspired to make this level of the game. Creepy. All right, what was I supposed to do? Because obviously I missed that part. And, oh, wait. No, I didn't. I just missed. I missed my ride to the other side. Molly, do you need a nap or something? No, but I need these pop-ups to stop popping up on my screen. They're very distracting. Would you like to buy a magic carpet? Would you like to spend all Ooh. your money on this game? Would you like to stop confusing me so I, I stop dying? Huh? Well, huh? Would ya? All right, guys. So far, I've only died a thousand times, which is better than normal because normally I die a thousand and one. What's happening, Mom? What's happening? I don't see anything. Follow me, Molly. We'll try to figure this out together. Mom's riding on air again, guys. Look at her. Boink. Made it. Good thing you're here, Ooh. Mom. I wouldn't have figured out how to do that at all. Well, I probably would eventually, but so much, so much quicker in your mom's playing Roblox. Do you guys play Roblox with your family? Let me know in the comments section below. Yeah, guys, you could slam the like button if you think it's super awesome that Molly and I play Roblox together. Oh, well, I like playing Roblox with you, Mom. Oh, Molly, I like playing Roblox with you, too. Kill all, it says. Kill all of what? I think all of us, Molly. <laughs> that could be. I'm going. Ah, oh, I went for it, and it was the wrong time to go for it. Same with my mom. You gotta run super fast. Mom, you confused me, and I totally died. Sure, blame your mom for it. Well, I ran through the second time, and I didn't die at all, so. Yep, I think it was your fault. Boing, boing. Oh my gosh, it's not lava. It's a laser maze down there. And if you fall, you're dead. Just saying. What do we need here? A key card or something? Where is it hiding? That's the question. Oh, mom found it. Mom, you left me here. Mom. Um, Molly, you have to click on it. It's like a little mini game. Mini game. Press when the light reaches the middle. Boink, boink. <laughs> oh man, I stink at this mini game. Yes, finally. Great job, Molly. Now, come on. Let's get out of here. I haven't seen that clown in a while. That's probably a good thing. 
So many lasers though. This clown loves his lasers. Oh my god, oh my god, run, 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 run! Fast as you can, Molly! Oh wow, that almost killed me, but it didn't. So I'm happy about that. Whoa, mom. Um, I think we're getting into the clown's lair. I think so too, Molly. This is getting creepier and creepier. Yeah, but, oh wait, there it is. Couldn't see that little ride there. I was like, wait, how do I get across? Oh boy, guys. I'm terrible at these. I'm terrible at these. Yes, I actually made it. I'm so proud of myself right now. Uh-oh. I saved, right? Because this part looks really hard. Whoa. Jump and jump. And get out of here. Oh, oh SpaghettiOs. Oh, boy, there's a clown. There's a creepy, creepy clown. Look at his eyes. He is terrifying. Don't get me. Don't get me. Ah! <laughs> He's right behind me. He's right behind me. Please, Mr. Evil Clown, leave me be. Ugh. Can he follow me? Did he follow me? No. But neither did my mom. Oh, wait. No, there's my mom. Ugh, mom, that was a creepy clown. It sure was, Molly. Boing, boing. Ooh. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> I was so close on that one. So close, but I didn't win it. Oh, come on! <laughs> it was like, hurry up! Get past me already! Oh boy, that time I just fell in the lava. The next morning. Yes! Oh, I almost fell at the last minute, but I didn't, so that's good news. Uh, what happens if you go in that vent? It's locked, Molly. I already tried it. Ooh, we gotta turn on the power or something. How do we do that? Maybe if we go up in here? Um, guys, what is all that red stuff? Whoa, it's just lava. Tons and tons of lava. Lava, lava, lava. I have got nothing as far as songs go about lava. It's Ooh. so hot, it'll burn your booty. That's the only thing I can think of. Ooh. So instead I said lava, lava, lava. That was so lame. <laughs> Sorry to advance for that, guys. Now we've got to wait for this lava to disappear. Holy macaroni. Am I supposed to be turning these on? Because if I am, I'm not. Oops. Ow, I hit my head on that. Gravity coil, great price. Do you want to purchase this game pass? Leave me alone. Next, go over here and try not to die in the evil clown's pranky ways. Seriously. He's, he's a prankster, this clown. Whoa. Okay, I don't know where my mom went, but... Whoa, I, did, I missed the train. Ooh. I missed the train, people. <laughs> and then I walked off the edge. What is wrong with me right now? And I'm famous on YouTube? Are you serious? <laughs> Good thing I'm so funny because I'm sneaking in Roblox. Boing, boing. Okay, I turned that on, but now what? Oh, I've got to go back over here. Well, at least I knew how to turn that on, so I don't have to redo that, because I'd be like, what? Okay, now we're gonna jump on some pipes, and we're gonna, I like how it says next. Like, okay, fine, I know where I'm going now. Huh, okay, where's my mom? Whoa, mom, you're way back there, what you doing? And I'm the noob. I'm coming, Molly. <sighs> this was a lot more work than I thought. Great price, do you wanna buy a magic carpet? No! Phew, I made it. Finally, it only took you about 20 years. <laughs> Whoa, uh-oh, laser. Oh, I died already. Oh, this one looks hard, guys. This one looks very difficult. Boy, I'm terrible at these. Whoa, don't hit the lasers. Don't hit them, don't hit them, don't hit them. Actually, that one wasn't so bad once I got up here. Ah! Is that gonna, is that you're gonna hit me at the last, ah, it hit me at the last minute. Are you serious? Molly, you had almost made it. Don't remind me. That last laser is a pain in my nose. Yeah. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, it's like a booger. It's gross and, and, and. Molly, just stop right there. You, you just stop. Okay, fine. Push it in the buttons. Okay, I pushed it. Oh, now I gotta go over here, I guess, to the next button. Oh my gosh. If, whoa, I almost didn't make that one. So guys, how's your summer going? What you doing? Uh, here, it's just been raining nonstop. First, there was no rain. And it was so dry that our ground was cracking. If you went outside, it was like the desert. Uh, now, all it does is rain. Nature is so confused. Uh, but literally, it's just like raining and raining and raining and rain. It won't stop raining. I can't go outside because if I do, I get soaking wet. And it's like really hot and humid. But I'm not complaining because I don't have to go to school. And that's like okay by me. Yes, I think I just made it. Finally, yes. I know, Molly. I think we might be to the end of the game. Not this game goes on and on forever. 
Ooh, now we're gonna jump on balloons. Creepy. So yeah, guys, I can't wait to see how, hear how your summer is going. Um, Some of you guys have even been making us little like fan videos on YouTube. I love that. Make sure you tag Molly and Daisy so I can see them all, okay guys? And jump! And jump! Oh boy. <laughs> Ha, ah, there's a whole line of us here now. Maybe I should buy that magic carpet. I'm rethinking it. This is like a game where you have to like take turns, see? Because if somebody goes more than once, you both die. Can I skip the stage in this or something? Store, products, skip the stage. Guys, the reason why I'm skipping the stage right now is because there's all of us here. And if we keep jumping, um, basically, we're just going to keep all dying. So, sorry, but I skipped the stage. Mom, I'm right here with you. Awesome, Molly. Come on, we've got some balloons to jump on. Boing, boing. These are so bouncy! Okay, I'm gonna wait for that red laser to come out. And then I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. And you gotta go quick! And you gotta go quick! And you gotta go quick and quick and quick! Yes! Stage cleared! Sp stage 55! Holy guacamole, guys! Cheesy macaroni and rice. I... Have done so many stages right now, my eyeballs are starting to melt. Whoa, Trixie Balloon Bridge! Here. Here. Oh, Mom, you guessed right. I'm pretty good at Roblox. Yeah, Mom, you really are. At least we don't see that scary clown anymore. You've got a point, Mom. You've got a point. Just keep running, running, running. Just kidding, Mom. Don't run. It'll kill you. No! <laughs> <laughs> Holy macaroni. Are you serious right now? Yes, finally. Uh, guys, if you haven't played Escape the Evil Clown, just know that this is like the hardest thing you've ever done in your entire life. Maybe not the hardest, but close to it. Yes, finally, stage 60. And uh-oh. Don't look now, Mom, but it's the evil boss clown. Oh, gosh, Molly. This looks too creepy. It does kind of look too creepy, though, doesn't it? What's he doing? Um, He's just like hanging out there. Oh, it wants me to press the button. Okay. Done. What's he gonna do? Oh, boom! Okay. <laughs> okay, one button down. What about now? Oh, maybe we gotta go around these balloons next. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Run, Molly! Oh, you can't outrun it. You have to jump. Just the right moment. This is the way that we gotta do it. This is the way. Ha ha ha! Take that, evil clown. All right, guys, next, I'm gonna go do that other one. All right, Mr. Clown. You going down, Mr. Clown. Boom! I uh, now I've gotta jump across to him. Oh my God. This isn't asking for a lot or anything. Oh, it says victory! Finally, ha! Wait, does that mean we won? Um, It says we have to enter over here. I bet this is gonna take us into another obby. It just feels like that sort of game. Oh, we just got an obby award. Oh, yeah, Mom. That was awesome. Oh, and it just takes us back here to, like, the creepy... Hi, I'm popping out from the circus tent clown. Yeah, I think I'm done with that. I'm gonna go make dinner. Sounds delicious. <laughs> beautiful school day. Now that my bed is made, I have to find my homework. Where did I leave that? Is Molly still in bed? <coughs> By all the snowing, I would say yes. Molly, get out of bed. It's 6.20. You couldn't be late for the school bus. Uh -huh. Go away. You're such an annoying sister. What? That's rude. I was just trying to get you out of bed so you weren't late and got detention again. Go away. Fine. See if I try to help you out ever again. Mm, these pancakes are delicious. Good morning, Mom. Wait, what? Molly? Huh? What? Yeah? What do you want? You can't have any of my pancakes. They're all mine. Molly, you said you weren't going to get out of bed. You were just laying up there. Huh? What? No, I've been sitting here eating my pancakes. What are you talking about, crazy girl? Um, Daisy, do you have a fever? Are you feeling okay? Molly's been sitting here for at least 10 minutes. Well, maybe it did take me a long time to come down the elevator. It gets stuck sometimes. Uh, I'm glad you're up, Molly, because you don't want to get detention. That's absolutely right. I don't. Which means I gotta go brush my teeth. I don't want to be late. La, 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 la,
Ew, Molly, you just brushed your teeth. Why would you want to drink coffee after you brush your teeth? What? What are, you, what are you talking about? I didn't just brush my teeth. Yes, you did. You're lying, Molly. Molly, it's not nice to lie. Who are you calling Molly? I'm not Molly. What are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about right now? La, 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 la. Oh, my gosh. Molly cloned herself. Have you been in my science lab, Molly? What? No. This is my identical twin, Polly. Wait, what? Yeah, um, turns out, uh, Polly likes playing Roblox too, and we met each other online in Roblox. And she's my identical twin. She's grumpy. I don't think she's a good identical twin. Hey, that's not very nice. Is that how you always talk to people who are staying at your house? She lives here? Wait a minute, she lives here? Molly, I didn't authorize this, and I'm the mom. She's only staying for a couple of days, you know, to see how life is with her identical twin. You're not actually twins, though, Molly. Well, we have different parents, but we're this thing called doppelgangers. It's crazy! Basically, we don't have the same parents, but we look exactly the same. What? Say what? Doppelgangers? I have to go get my dictionary and look that up. Wow, your sister's very annoying, Molly. Well, we have that in common. Hey, I heard that. She's kind of a know-it-all. Okay, it says here a doppelganger is an apparition or double of a living person. Oh my gosh. Molly, you really do have a double. Yeah, and I was thinking my double could go to school for me today. What? No. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm taking notes. This is just too crazy. Well, Molly, I mean, I think we should discuss this grumpy version of you staying in our house for a few days. Mom, it's all settled. She can sleep in my room. No, no, no. Okay, well, she can sleep on the couch. No, I want to sleep in Molly's room since we look exactly the same. Well, come on, Polly. I'll show you where the toothbrushes are. You're going to want to brush your teeth. Don't worry, Mom always keeps an extra in case one of my friends stays over and forgets one of theirs. Okay, thanks. Don't worry. My family will come around to liking you, I'm sure. I don't really care. Whatever. <sighs> now, what's for breakfast? Do you have Starbucks around here? Uh, no. This is Brookhaven. There's no actual Starbucks. There's a Starbucks, but not a Starbucks. Whatever. Molly, your doppelganger seems a little grumpy. Even grumpier than Molly. This is too crazy. Uh, Molly, are you wearing that to school today? Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> this is an adorable shirt. Uh-huh. Sure. Molly, don't forget your homework. I don't want you to get detention again. I can't wait till my teacher sees her, like, to see my teacher's face when she realizes there's another one of me. She's probably going to pass out, Molly, from fear of having to deal with two of you at one time. School bus is here. Come on. Polly, the school bus is here. Fine. I guess I'll go, but I don't really want to. Come on, you have to. You gotta be my teacher. We're gonna freak her out. <laughs> what is this? The school bus is like incognito. This Okay, this is weird. Maddie, something is definitely wrong with the school bus today. I know, I can't even get in the seats. Bye, girls. Have a great day. This is like a ghost school bus. It's so weird. It's like almost invisible. Hello, class. Make sure you sit down for the entire ride. Okay, ride's over. Molly, we could probably walk to school. That wasn't a very long bus ride. Walk to school? I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> Definitely just take the bus. Come on, Polly. Here it is. Oh, this school looks lame. It is, but don't worry. We're going to play a fun little trick on my teacher. It's going to be hilarious. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mrs. Noob. Good morning, Mrs. Noob. Today, class, we're doing one of your favorites, word problems. Oh, boy, I love these. Oh, no. And since you love word problems most of all, Molly, I would like you to come up to the board and complete the first one, please. I knew you were going to say that. So if you could read it first, Molly, that would be great. Okay. If Pete has three apples and he gives one to his friend Adam, how many apples does Pete have left? Hmm, gotta think about that for a minute, teacher. That's okay, Molly. I'll be standing right here. Molly, what are you doing? Why are you sitting back down? I told you to stay up at the board until you answer the question. Um, I guess I didn't feel like it. Molly, get up to the board, please. What are you talking about? I am at the board. Wait, but, but, you're, you're, you're sitting over there in, in, in a sea. No, Mrs. Noob, I'm right here. Ah, why is there two of you? 
Because you're going crazy, Mrs. Noob. There's actually only one of us, but you're seeing two. Ha 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 ha! Crazy Mrs. Noob. Oh, stop it, Molly. This is Polly, Molly's doppelganger. You could use my dictionary if you want to look that up. I know what a doppelganger is, but I just can't believe there's two Mollies. Well, actually, I'm not just another Molly. I have a different name, Polly. But they're pretty much alike, except for Polly's a bit more grumpy. Well, I, 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 I need a vacation. <laughs> Polly, this has been the best morning of my life. <laughs> Um, I think for pranking me, you both should have detention. Say what? Uh, and, um, uh, make it start right now. G go into the English class and sit there with m Mr. Dean. Oh, man, Mr. Dean. He smells like cow manure. Aw. Why do we have to come in here? It's called in-school detention. Don't you have that at your school? Uh, we call it in-school suspension at my school. Oh, well, here it's called detention. Well, howdy there, girls. What are you in, in school detention for? Huh, Mr. Dean? Um, whew, you're really stinky today. No offense. Well, that's because I was out spreading cow manure in my fields this morning. Um, yeah, okay. I'm just going to sit way over here. And maybe I'll just put my hand over my nose the entire time. Holy guacamole, this guy smells! Yeah, I know, but he's a pretty nice guy. Does anyone want to hear a story about how I wrestled the cow that got away? Um, not really. I, I, the sign says in school detention, be quiet. But when I'm doing in school detention, I just want to be able to talk to y'all with my cool stories. They're very cool. Um, Mr. Dean, uh, no. I'd just rather sit here quiet. Your school is horrible. You got a stinky teacher and, and, and you got in-school detention? Well, Polly, we did prank the teacher. I don't care. I'm going back to my school. See ya. But Polly, we're like long-lost twins. Come back. Nah, there's only room for one of us in this school. And you can have it. Polly! No! Polly, please! I thought we had a bond. Come back! fun while it lasted but don't worry you still have me you but you're my sister i want my doppelganger back she was amazing polly was annoying and grumpy and rude what no she wasn't okay well yeah but a little bit i loved her she was so cool that's because she looked just like you and sort of acted like you too yeah so that's what made her so cool don't worry molly i'm sure you'll see polly again Maybe someday when you're both grown up. I'll miss her till then. I'll miss her till then! Polly! <laughs> <laughs>